All right. So, look at this. Uh, we're on week 60. We maybe only have 30 weeks left. That means we're 66% of the way through. But we have the hardest 33% left. Um, so we did get this event where we have six more recruits. Uh, it, it's, I think, I don't know. I'm going to do the flesh first. That's what I'm going to do first. And then we'll figure things out from there. I might end up having to do the Baron after the flesh. I've been, I've been trying to wait until we do an apprentice uh, fanatic, but he's just, uh, he's not spawning. We tried to get him to spawn last night. He's just not spawning. And he has a really high chance of spawning. The more, um, cursed heroes you bring to a dungeon. We couldn't get him to spawn still. Uh, so anyway, we're going to do the Unstable Flesh. This is the team I devised last night to do it. There's a little bit of a worry with this team. This team is great at killing the flesh. They're not great about surviving. So, hey Jim, how's it going? How have things been? <laughs> In real life, dungeon, yeah, pretty good. Stream, good. Unique quirks, really good. Uh, unique quirks, do you mean the ones that you can only have one on per roster? Like the, which, those ones are the, um, from the color of madness only. An absolute crap show the company gave 9.8% of the bonus instead of 10. Cut everyone's phone plans and the lowest raise you've ever seen. Going down, so now I'm trying to debate whether, update everything now and wait until the crap job hits the iceberg and get paid out. Gotcha. So you're trying to wait on like severance just in case. The only problem with waiting on severance, I mean, that's great, but if everyone or a ton of people waits and then all of you flood the market at the same time, it might be hard to find an opening, right? There's going to be so much competition. I mean, I don't know, but there's always risk and reward there. Hey, Math, how you doing? That, that's what we're talking, or uh, is that the ones you're talking about, Math? Working out, trying to hash out some things yourself. Well, Jim, hopefully it works out for you also. 2019 has just been... Not a good year. Not a good year at all. Alright, let's make sure these are up to date. Got all their shots and everything. We definitely want to take Hounds Harry to this. Those ones. And Arms has one. They're good. I mean, there's some that are better than others, right? But there are some very good uh, quirks from Color of Madness that are uh, one per roster. I mean, almost every stat in the game, almost, has one of those quirks associated with it. So you can get things like extra damage. Or extra dodge or or minus stress and uh they are very good so um some of them are kind of lackluster but you know within most of them are pretty decent what did the green grape say the purple grape breathe you idiot breathe boo <laughs> i did jeep excessive pain hey pain welcome in so we'll be super bad 90 people have the same title they can't fire everyone because you all have accounts have a big us business gotcha Twilight Dreamer, you can see through stealth. Yeah, that one's okay. That's like one of the... It's not a terrible one. Obviously, it's a positive. It's not like one of the best ones, I don't think. But it's okay. It's okay. Um, yeah. The Darkest Dungeon claims us all. Not this time, it doesn't. Not. Not today. What do we say to the Darkest Dungeon? Not today. Alright. Hopefully. <laughs> Last night... I don't know. Last night uh, kind of goes against that, but... Alright. Um, anything we're going to get rid of before our first dungeon of the night? We're doing a boss right off the bat. This is one of the most RNG bosses of the game, so... Check too soon. Um, this can go really bad. I mean, everything in the Darkest Dungeon can go bad, but uh, some things can go bad more easily than others. And this is one of those instances. The Flesh is a super RNG heavy boss. Um, you can get lucky and it spawns two hearts every round and you just rip through it without taking much damage. You get unlucky and you get two undulating butt parasites with two stunners or pig-faced whatever the crap they are. So anyway, uh, banner focus on to get better at the game. Um, there's a couple things, like, there's a lot to Darkest Dungeon, right? So, everything about Darkest Dungeon, um, the skill ceiling in Darkest Dungeon is just knowledge of the game, and how things work, and what goes well together, what enemies can do what from which position, stuff like that. So, the main thing you can do is just spend time and figure those things out, whether it's reading in the wiki as you play, or figuring out, uh, through hard knocks just by trial and error, which is what I did originally. Um, 
Now, a couple of quick tips is that um, speed is a great stat. If you have a lot of speed, a lot of times you can kill stress casters before they get to do anything. Uh, second thing is characters that can hit... You want a lot of characters that can hit um, any position, especially the back row. So that's why the Hellion is so good. In Darkest Dungeon, it is maybe the most important thing to be able to gang up on whatever enemy is the biggest threat to you at that time. Usually it's a stress caster, and usually those are in the back. So things that can hit all positions, um, or multiple people that can hit all positions, or at least in position three, are very, very strong, or even that can stun the back. You want to be able to control and kill your biggest threat. Sometimes that's going to be the damage dealer, depending on how your team is looking. A lot of times the stress caster. So getting teams together that can do that. Um, the Hellion is a very great one to start with. The Hellion has great moves, and with a with these three, with Wicked Hack, if it bleeds at Iron Swan, she can hit any of the four positions very hard. And then the fourth move can be preference. Um, but yeah, it's all about ganging up on whatever is the biggest threat. Uh, I would say the next thing that people don't do very much when they start the game is they don't recover when they can. And I don't mean like in town. I mean, like in the dungeon, if you have some, uh, uh, you know, you have like one mob left and it's not a super deadly mob, kill it slowly unless you're in, you know, risk of, of it killing you. But kill it slowly, mainly stun it. Kill it slowly. And while you're killing it slowly, stress heal and heal your party back. If you're fighting three mobs and one of them is a stress caster, kill the stress caster and as soon as it's dead, anyone on your team that can heal stress, if you have any stress, even if it's like eight stress, heal that stress. Because that eight can mean the difference between an affliction or a heart attack later. So, I mean, there's a lot of things, Mayor. By the way, Mayor, thank you for coming back. There's a lot of things, like a lot of small things add up uh, to improve at the game, you know, 1% at a time. But I feel like if you take teams that have reach, that can focus fire, gang up on whatever your biggest threat is on that fight, kill it, and then recover as much as you can towards the end of battles, those two things will help you improve like incredibly. Um, those are definitely two things that I did not do early on. Had to learn the hard way. Hey, Phantasma, how you doing? Welcome in. Big time zombie. Zombie, good to see you. Thank you for all the bits again last night, Zombie. Appreciate it. Definitely helps out. Anyway, Bear, hopefully that helped. Vessel Crusader, Hyman, Hyman. Yeah, that used to be better before Color of Madness. It's still pretty good. The only problem with that team, Insatiable, is that it almost kills too quickly. And what I mean by that is you don't get a chance to... Uh, we don't really have that much to get rid of. You don't really have a chance to recover at the end of battles, right? Because... Your highwaymen can't, like, stall. They can't stun uh, and let you recover. So it can be a little bit tricky. Uh, but it's a very good high killing power team. You know what? Maybe we should get some more of our uh, shard mercenaries ready. Because I'm not really seeing anything super bad here. You know? Like, I don't see great things to lock in either. There's one shot of the Baron in a week. Bloody run. Got a death door and two afflictions of the Baron himself. You did it. That was awesome. Congrats, Phantasm. Larkin. Hey, Larkin. Larkin, I feel like you had something to do with last night being terrible. I mean, we didn't die, though, so it wasn't that terrible. Were you were you doing dark rituals to summon those shamblers and, uh, you know, we'll get rid of thin blooded, I suppose. Summon shamblers, death doors. <laughs> We're earthen blooded. Uh, and I guess we'll start getting our shard mercenaries ready. Let me check some of them. Hey, R Square. How's it going to R Square? Abusive. This is going to be a good day. What's this Vestal? Scientific. My escape key wasn't working. All right. We'll, uh, we'll get our shard mercenaries ready to go. Let's see, claustrophobia doesn't really matter in there. Uh, extra stressors and unholy could could be bad. Tone deaf. Uh, we'll get rid of satanophobia. That's all right. That's all right. Let's do it. Two gods who were married to other people cheated on their spouses. 
Got divorced and remarried in a week. Two divorced pawns are freaking miserable. Wait, can that happen in an unmodded game? You can have people cheat on each other? What is the rim world come to? I, ne I never knew anything about that. That sucks. What has the rim world come to? Another scientific. Yeah, scientific bad healer. Cell phone for an hour. I would tap. You did a wow. I wonder why. It's been no shamblers. Oops. <laughs> Abusive. It's always been. Hey, friend. How's it going? Behold my power. It's fortune. How you doing, Miss Fortune? Let's get in here. Let's do it. You think it's part of vanilla? Well, it's not good. The only way that we could get Narth to stop freaking out was to get her to marry Fluffkins. And, and so they can start getting two to five lovins a night. What round? It's not round based. It's how many times you have stalled. So basically how stalling works is if there are two or fewer size one enemies left. Only. Two or fewer size one enemies only left. And you do less than two damaging attacks per round. It counts as a stall. If you do one, it's a partial stall. If you do none, it's a full stall. And you don't want to do a full stall for two rounds, basically. Or they call in reinforcements. So as long as you're... And that, that's one reason why I really like taking the Man at Arms. So what you can do... The Man at Arms has a stun rampart, right? It doesn't hit hard. But it's, got, it's a great stun. So what I can do is I can hit with a rampart. That'll count... You know, that, that'll count as a hit, even though it only does, like, who knows, 0 to 5 damage or something on whatever I'm attacking. Uh, but it still counts. And then you do a weak hit on, like, your Vestal with her stun. And then, um, you know, that's your 2. And then you, on your other characters, you can stress heal or whatever. So it's it's not about what round. You can stall for an infinite amount of rounds as long as they're, as long as you're getting 2 attacks in per round. On And if it's a large enemy, if it's a size 2 enemy, you don't have to worry about that at all. Uh, large enemies will never call in reinforcements um, like the other ones will. Windows key. Why, why isn't that deactivated? It's in vanilla room worlds. I'm finished. Uh, here today. I got stuck on my TV, but Skiro made you a better gamer. Skiro is awesome. I was, I was thinking about it earlier, actually. You know it's like an awesome game when like Nothing is going on about Sekiro or whatever, and it's been like weeks since I completed it. And then earlier today, I was like, man, I really want to play Sekiro again. So we're going to take Overture for the health and the dodge. We're also going to take Mooncloak, dodge protection. Still a third boss. Oh, no worries. Yeah, as long as you're enjoying it. Aren't I tempted to take that goblet? Uh, actually, uh, like, kind of a little bit, but also no. Like, the 20% health and the 8 dodge is incredible. That's a lot of stress. Uh, and we don't want them too grows. fast. Uh, Watkins. SM Watkins. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Alright. So, again. The, the flesh is... Miss Oxygen included. Me too. Uh, the flesh is a very RNG heavy fight. I'll talk about that as we get closer. But basically, we're going to end up killing it mainly through bleeds. So, we want to go a little bit more defensive than normal. Now, of course, we have to get to the flesh... But, you know, we, we want to uh, we want to be relatively defensive when we get there. So I'm going to take uh, Dark Bracer. And we're going to do the same thing here. Dark Bracer and Moon Cloak. So we got three Moon Cloaks. Let me put them in the same position so no one gets, no one gets upset. You're awake. What? It's past your bedtime. It's like 9 p.m. <laughs> Hey, okay, Cam, welcome in. Uh, all right. All right. I mean, do you want me to tell you stuff about the third boss, zombie? If you tell me which boss it is, I, I mean, if you want any tips from what I figured out. I did it all blindly, so I might have not done it the right way, but I, it worked in the end, I suppose. Thursday, PlayStation 4. What have you been playing, Pineapple? 10. 10 for you? <laughs> Let's do it! The final veteran. Let's see up a lot as late. Oh, okay. Yeah, no worries. No worries. Oh, trust me. I died, what, was it 200 something times altogether? Heroes mean they have the Crimson Cor Curse? Yes. Yep. So, speaking of the Crimson Curse, we have a lot of it. That means they have it. Now, once you click on a dungeon, you need to hover over this. Hover over this. This is the only place where you can see it unless you go to individual. And it'll tell you how many heroes you have wasting. 
every hero that you have wasting, if you don't leave a blood behind for them, they have a pretty good chance of dying. Dying in town. So always check this before you go. Take all the food, stack shovels. Uh, we're going to take stuff for the Shambler and the Flesh. All this is for the Shambler and the Flesh. We are not here for loot. We're also going to take the Aegis just in case. Some older games. Still have busy how your memory sucks with the controls from game to game. They can be pretty radically different though. How are you doing, Trees? Welcome back. Today I learned. I was today years old. Yeah, that's awesome. I like it when I uh, uh, say something and like people that don't know them. A rich guy? No way. This isn't a lot of money. This is all going to go away instantly when we do more champions. All right, we got food, we got shovels, we got stuff for shamblers. We, man, hopefully we don't get a shambler here. And if not shambler, then the flesh. Uh, Aegis Scout, we got blood just in case. And I think we're good to go. Um, upgrades. We got our trinkets. Skills. Camping. We'll probably use prey for the little bit of protection there. Uh, upgrades. Trinkets. Uh, harvest. I want to upgrade harvest. Crap. For the fight. For the boss fight. The mantra pays off again. Upgrades, trinkets, skills, and camping. Upgrades, trinkets, skills, and camping. All right, let's do this again. All right. Food, shovels, boss crap, curio stuff. Upgrades, trinkets, skills, camp. Upgrades, trinkets, skills. Camp. Upgrades, trinkets, Welcome back. skills. Your steadfast loyalty is greatly appreciated. Who is this awesome person? It's Rose. Rose has been four months. Uh, Rose, thank you for the resub. Woo. Love and sandwiches in, in chat for Rose, if you guys would. Rose, thank you for the continued support. I appreciate you. I do. Upgrades, trinkets, skills, camping. Thank you, Rose. Grades, trinkets, skills, and camping. Alright, we're good, guys. Love and Sammy's. Coming home and singing this. <laughs> Were you really? <laughs> that is amazing. Upgrades, trinkets. No coffins, Larkin. You just. Hi, doing, Ginger. Welcome in. Hi, Ben Ginger. Are you doing classes uh, throughout the summer? Feels like I should know an answer to this. Alright, let's go. I could not store such a prodigious amount of coffin. Nor could I rid myself of Rapturous? Yeah, I guess so. Rapturous is just dangerous though. Because they still act afflicted. You get bonuses, but they act afflicted. And if they get to 200 stress, you know, they're hard attacking. Nope. network of aqueducts and tunnels. I knew I had found a solution to the problem of disposal. <laughs> Guys, if, if there's ever a lesson to be learned here, if you are performing... Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, One, two, three, four five. The flesh is right here. Kind of interesting. Uh, if you are ever, like, doing some mad scientist... Favorite place, like Disneyland. If you're ever doing some mad scientist stuff, and let's say, I don't know, you're up in your bedroom, and you're trying to create some kind of giant pig monster, or, you know, whatever. Um, don't throw all of your discarded pig corpses and refuse in one pile. Don't do it, because eventually it will become sentient, and it will become an unstable flesh monster, and start preying on the things that you used to love. Such blockages are unsurprising. Do that, make sure you don't get the, Even the earliest bronze reds. Uh, whatever tickles your fancy, rapturous bloodlust. Tickle your fancy. That always seemed like a thing to me that could, if you say it, like, it's it's like a mild thing to say, but it could also be kind of like, dirty. Tickle your fancy. Well, I'll tickle your fancy. You had me a pig monster. Got that movie ref reference? <laughs> How many movies include something about bras on heads? Probably not many. Now it does. Other chance. 
is imperative without the precise utterance. At proper intervals, the ritual can fail spectacularly. Vomit pig! Why, this is the fault of none other than that meddling Senor Pineapple. For science is classic, that's true. It is. I haven't seen it in a long time, though. We gotta take this pig out. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. The timing of the chance. Oh man, hopefully tonight is better in the dungeon than last night. I mean, yes, we, you know, we survived. No one died, but it was really close. We survived a death's door. We had someone dodge when they were on death's door. Like it was just a. It was the best of times, it was the worst of times. Because that's the Darkest Dungeon. That, that is the tagline for Darkest Dungeon, it should be. Let's go ahead and get some stress healing in. Stun this guy. Blinded me with science. Yeah, I need it. I need it, zombie. Need that good luck, that good RNG. Unforgiving. Um, yeah, we'll heal again. It's fine. It was the summer of our discontents. <laughs> We're just gonna start saying the classics. The wounds of war can be healed. But I am Adam. This is Adam versus everything. But call me Ishmael. As long as it doesn't attack you directly, why not have it become the pig monster? Keeps your other enemies busy as mad scientist. You don't care about villagers. Surviving, but the heroes that show up to stop you have to deal with the other crap, too <laughs> But he's hired us to stop it. That's the thing. He did all this crap And then he was like at the end. He was like, oh, I might have made a mistake <laughs> I never really thought about it that way like he he did all this terrible stuff and then right at the end he was like oh, I'm gonna write a letter. It's that like end-of-life repentance thing I'm not gonna get into any religious thing at all, but it's 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 definitely that like I was terrible my whole life. I'm on my death's bed. Forgive me for everything I've done. Hey everyone, I apologize. Dead. No harm, no foul. <laughs> like that's the ancestor. Oh god, that's a big one. <laughs> that's a big quote. Which quote is pretty great? Testicle Idol or Granny Smith? Do you prefer testicles or grannies? Grunt work, let me know. <laughs> Except, no, yeah, no apology to the Miller. Gray Smith. Sweden. Welcome. Did he really? Your steadfast loyalty. Are you serious? Greatly appreciated. You changed the question. <laughs> fatty, welcome back. Fatty, it's a year. A year with this fatty. Fatty can't fly. Thank you for the year of support. Guys, if you're a subscriber, please. Drop some love and sandwiches for Fatty. Nothing Fatty likes better than a sandwich and some love. Fatty, seriously though. Thank you for the year of support. And man, so many gift subs. And just a lot of time spent, Fatty. Thank you again. What? Wayne June tweeted us? We've made it. We've made it. Wayne June tweeted the channel. We have a custom mute, like custom song, I think they're called. <laughs> we had a custom intro song tonight. That was awesome. Yeah, if you want to link it, I'll click it. To lure you the air into his plots of having the heart awaken. Cares not about redemption. Just putting up a show. Seem to be enjoying until Dark Souls 4. I'm a big kid now. Good dodge, bad dodge. Gently. I'm gonna look at this tweet. Life is taken. <laughs> that is awesome. Thanks, Wayne. For all I know, Wayne is here now. Wayne, appreciate you. Darkest Dungeon wouldn't be the same without you, honestly. I'm not saying that because you're retweeted. I, I've been saying that for 18 months. Uh, all right. We definitely need to kill the Corpse Eater. This is veteran, so the Corpse Eater can cause disease. Uh, we don't have a lot of stress either, so I think I'm just going to try to take him out. Hey, Scorpios. How's it going? 
How you doing, by the way, Rwanti? Are you pretty much fully recovered? I mean, I know you said it was going to take a while, but I don't know Maintain how much a while is. If you're not here now, nah, Wayne, you're the best. Thanks, buddy. Wayne's bro. Seriously, though, like, uh, we talked about it before. Way before I ever knew that uh, Wayne was going to be lurking in the channel or anything. Like, I can't imagine anyone else doing the voice line at this point. Like, to me, that voice is the ancestor now, you know? Um, and, I, I mean, I know uh, they're a voice actor, right? They do all kinds of stuff. And if you go to his website, he has samples of, like, commercials and things. Like, most voice actors do lots of voice acting work for various different things. And to me, though, like, when I hear Wayne um, doing a commercial for, like, beer, I just, I, it, for me, it's the ancestor, right? There is a commercial on Wayne's website where he's voicing over for a beer commercial, right? And I'm just thinking... Why is the ancestor trying to sell me beer? Like, <laughs> it's pretty awesome though. Check it out. Cover most of the time now. Can't stay sitting for long periods. Backseat's up. Gotcha. Superstars. Superstar. Oh god, you guys remember that movie? That Superstar movie? It's Eldritch Beer. Probably is. Oh no, I forgot about that. Oh no, why am I reminded of this movie suddenly? She smells her armpits and stuff? Cast in this household. <laughs> ah. No hall battles? No hall battles, alright. Uh, well, the boss is there. That's the furthest room from our starting location, so we're gonna camp. Um, again. Finally a flagellant. I've been using a flagellant. He's almost level 5. <laughs> we didn't recruit him at level 4. Huddled together. Furtive and vulnerable. Did the fax machine for you. Rats in a maze. <laughs> oh no. Alright, we're gonna feast. Because we have 5 stress. Boys screaming pigs in the wardens. Last veteran boss. Yep. Yep, yep. So, prey isn't a great move. Usually. But the thing about the flesh is we're mainly going to kill the flesh through bleeds. So we're mainly worried about defense, right? So Prey is going to give 5% protection to these two and 15 to our flagellant because the flagellant is religious. So I am going to use that. We do have Tiger's Eye, which will help us not miss. So I might end up using that. Um, and that's pretty much all we really have that will help us in this, this fight. So let's use Tiger's Eye. Uh, we'll use it on the Hound Master because he's going to be doing... Uh, he's going to be hitting all four with Hound's Harry. We don't want any of those to miss. And then we'll prevent Night Team Ambush. And that's pretty much all we have. Um, who's our most likely to die? Our Hound Master. So what I'm going to do... Uh, enemies, if you don't know, most stress casting enemies in this game are programmed to be more likely to stress someone that's already stressed. Like whoever's the most stressed. Now it's not a guarantee, but it's more likely to happen. So, what you can do is, like, if you have someone that's the lowest health, you can make you can try to make sure they're never the most stressed, whether it's through stress healing or it's through using pep talk on them. And that'll make the enemies that do stress less likely to hit them, including, like, skull toss and stuff, right? So, you, you want that damage going into your higher health, higher protection people anyway. So, it's just a little trick. It doesn't always, like I said, it, they don't 100% attack it, but... A blazing star. Fluffkin's dead. How you doing, Fluffkin's? Welcome in. Uh, hey, Oogie Boogie, welcome back. How you doing, Oogie Boogie? Larry, it's good to see you, by the way. PJ, how you doing? How you doing, PJ? Now, I gotta make sure I change moves. For anyone that doesn't know, you can change out moves in the dungeon. As long... You could dodge. As long as you're not in a battle or camping. Alright, so we want to bring Hounds Harry for this. We're not gonna use the stun. Uh, we're going to trade out... Um, we're not going to use Inspiring 2. So I'm going to put the Double Bleed in instead. And we're good to go. Last night till Tuesday. Oh, you mean... Wait, what do you mean? What you talking about, Fluffkins? Hey, Raider. Welcome back, Raider. How's it going? Um, Alright, it's Flesh Time. It's Flesh Time. We got to make sure we use um, Holy Waters. So, like I was telling you guys, uh, certain fights in the game are more RNG than others. Any game that has, like, anything randomized, like number ranges or whatever, 
It's going to have some randomness to it, some RNG, but this is one of the big ones. Camp, have snuff the torch, vestal, flame and stick from the fire. There's a hide to light the way. Comes out of nowhere and smacks into the crowd. <laughs> it's a good image. Going on a small holiday. Gotcha. Hey, Arleon. Thank you for stopping in. I appreciate it. I need all the best and all the luck I can get. So, the reason why this fight is so RNG is it's four different enemies that share one health bar, but they all get to act. And some of these are much deadlier than other ones. Hey, Orchestra, how's it going? Welcome in. So, these are more deadly than others, right? So, there's a, a big damage bleed pig. There's a undulating butt parasite, which does big damage and, and blights. There's the heart, which is very susceptible to damage. All it does is heal. And then there's another one that's not here right now that stuns. So, depending on what roll, what four you get, it can be very hard or very easy. Uh, we're going to, because they all share a health bar, it is an amazing fight for AoE bleeds. I almost always bring AoE bleed to this. But probes you. And two other variants of each other, yes. Yeah, the ribcage one is the one that stuns. Oh, good dodge. There was that butt parasite. So, the the too long didn't read version of this boss's lore is that the ancestor was ex doing a bunch of uh, crazy experiments, you know, as he does. Basically, we'll say. He was doing some bad stuff, of course. And then all the failures, all the like pig parts and stuff that didn't work, that he didn't need, that didn't end up doing what he thought was going to do. This is not a good one. Uh, basically, he threw he threw all those down the sewer, right? He just it's like ah oh, screw these, and uh, over time it somehow melded together and became sentient, as things tend to do. It's Doctor Moreau. Oh man, I remember that movie. So far, we're okay. Like. Things aren't going great, but it's not like... Wait, did the stun already go? Oh, why aren't I paying attention? We jumped it. Yeah, I guess that's true. Healer and destroy, bleed the front line. Yeah, I think I'm going to guard her. So this will get his dodge up. And the turn markers, yeah. Spawning blood. <laughs> Rain trailer channel looks promising. I'm actually going to AoE heal. It's a little bit risky because she has a health deficit, but he's guarding her. Although some of these can hit two people at a time, and they could also stun the guard off. I'm still going to do it though. Power, Dark Eldritch Power. Truth. Fused together weirdly. What happens when you stack cereal full of McDonald's burgers? Uh, that, was, that was good. Alright, crit. Good thing we resisted there. Please don't hit him. Christ. An eight. Uh, Alright, this is still not good, but a little bit better. Okay, the heart has went. I need to keep track of this. The heart is gone. We gotta output damage. Decisive Dark Dungeon themed game. I need to check it out. Okay. So we're going to use Exanguinate. We can only use this three times around. Um, Exanguinate is, is sometimes scary. So here's the thing. If you are ever... If you have a flagellant that needs to heal itself, and you're like, oh, Exanguinate, yeah. Make sure it's a 95% chance to hit. If it's a 95%, it's a guarantee in Darkest Dungeon. But, like, if it's under, if you miss, it doesn't heal you. So... Uh, the heart's already gone, so I'm going to attack this to put the bleed on it. Oh boy. Let's see you again. Let's see what this round holds. No more crits, please. An eight, good. She did get blinded, which sucks, though. Seven. Awesome. 
Who are you gonna stun? That's fine. Whoa! I think you do still get the debuff. I'm pretty sure. Uh, I don't remember 100%, but I'm like 90% sure you still get the debuff. Okay, this is really good. Uh, both hearts. And so, what I'm gonna do, since these the hearts have already gone, we're gonna try to, instead of using Hound's Harry, we're gonna hit one of these with Hound's Rush. So five to 10. So we, we should be good, this should be the rounds. Okay. <sighs> Shouldn't say anything like that. This one hasn't gone, the rest have. It's only two damage though. Uh, I'm gonna buff our speed. Hmm, actually, let's see. Six to 11, yeah, we can just hit a heart, that's fine. Healed less, like three rounds, yep. Yep, this is fine, he's dead. <laughs> a small Given How much health, yeah, it had like 10 and a two point bleed, so. We did it! That's too bad. That's too bad. A dizzying fall. Um. I'm not gonna risk anything. We get we have like no loot. I mean, the problem is she's at 15 health, right? We're in good shape aside from that. Let's peek in, see if we see a curio. It's easy. Just always Try the headbutt. And always dodge. <laughs> simple. It is simple. Always good, always dodge. After a murderous fairy. What? These are all names of people in the channel. Every single character is named after a member of the community. Not necessarily a subscriber, uh, but these are all names. Yeah, Irish Red Cap is someone on the channel, Extremeling, BK, Hoopa, they're all channel regulars. You are a Houndmaster, yeah. All right, let's peek in here. All regulars of the channel. Finding the stuff is only the first test. Now it must be carried home. We'll grab that in case there's a curio that uses the torch. I'm sorry, but still have a master. master. More deaths, no more deaths. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna risk. I'm not gonna risk. I mean, what we can do is we can go back here. Fairy, Goblin, Murder, Hobos. The cube is a conveyor belt of death. Good luck. So that battle, because we're in zero light, is an 8% chance of a Shambler. This team is good against Shamblers, but we're, we would start it out um, with a, you know, hurting. So I'm, I'm just going to go. No reason to risk the run on it. Not this far in. Now we can also sell the Vintage. Look at this, th 3,500 gold. Well, this sells for 3,500, so, you know, it was, it was okay. Can we can we just shuffle this on down? Go, go say hi. We we have I've had enough shamblers for a while. Poverty loots, fear of beast, the yips, manslayer. So this all kind of sucks. All right, let's see a wolf spawn. A little shambles shy. I just spoke to the shambler last night. He was doing just fine. So useful on him. Yeah, a little bit. Could have been a worse uh, trinket, obviously. All right, sell the dodge stone. We won't be using that. And we'll sell the vintage. Covers the stitches. Official run enter. <laughs> hey, coach. Boss kills at, like how many left? I have nine bosses left. Uh, we have champion profit, champion hag, champion uh, pounder, champion swine god, champion flesh, uh, champion crew, Brigand, if he spawns, that's seven. And then we have the Sleeper, which is eight. Oh, and we have uh, Crimson Court, which I'm going to do. Oh, we already got him. We got the Camo Cloaks, man. Last night, we got two or three of them. It's crazy. Crazy night. But killed the poor Miller, yes. Yes. Sun Cloak. Hmm. Champion Pounder. The poor Miller. Bottle of Wine Rice. Carvisca day. Oh, the run almost ended multiple times last night. We had a shambler. <clears throat> last night was eventful. Last night was eventful to say the least. 
How many weeks left? Uh, 29, I think, or something. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. 39, my bad. I was counting to... to it's the wrong number. 39 weeks. Too bad. Can't ever lose anyone. Right. Right. Uh, I think we're gonna go try to spawn the, uh... I mean, it depends on how we're doing on blood, but I think we're gonna go try to spawn the fanatic. Yeah, I did. For some math. Let's see how we're doing in the curse. I might have to go do the Baron tonight. Fanatic is scary, but I want to kill it. It's not on the boss list, but it feels like I just need to. If we're gonna do the Fanatic, the Baron's easy. Like the Baron will be no problem. Most, I mean, it can go wrong, obviously, but we've one shot the Baron, God, so many times. Uh, but if I'm gonna fight the fanatic, I don't want to kill the Baron yet. Uh, let's check our blood situation here. Two people are wasting. Far, far worse than the Baron. Well, yeah, but we won't have any problems with her either. I'm sure. I already know what to do against her. All right, let's see if we get a fanatic. Nine weeks long. Well, the reason why I said 29 is because earlier I said we'll probably beat it around 90 if we don't have a death. And so we'll probably beat it in about 29, but we have 39 to do so. Try one Jester finale. What do you think? Uh, I don't really like using Finale unless it's like a boss ender. Because it leaves them with so much extra stress. And yeah, if you kill the stress caster, it's not quite as bad. But you still get the double stress from crits and stuff. Overconfidence? I'm not overconfident. I'm just talking. Game over ten weeks earlier. <laughs> Everyone else? That would be terrible. How you doing, Puzzle? Welcome in, by the way. I don't really like... I mean, Finale's okay as a boss ender. But there's usually a better option in that slot. And quick draw, I don't really like on... The Jester's already fast. I don't know. Finale was the best opener. That was before my time. But I've been told... Never come back from... Copperhead Road. Oh, by the way, guys. There was a bounty offered to me today that I passed up. Do you guys want to know what it was? <laughs> passed up a bounty today. Passed up basically free money. No, there was two options. I chose a different one, but I did the one I didn't choose. Twitch sings. Twitch sings. Kill the sleeper quickly. I can see that. Fortnite. Twitch sings. <laughs> Karaoke. Karaoke game. Twitch sings. Should have sung. Yeah, right. A meanie. All right. Uh. Fnatic is scary, but I think we'll be okay. And we gotta do Baron next week. So clippable. Rascal Game Tournament. Would've been epic. Pay you anyway to do that. Oh, guys, I don't even know. Lesson for someone. <laughs> Jester to the Siren. Ugh. Should I twitch things? No, I picked a different one. Danny Trejo karate fight. Use your karate. Alright, do we have any diseases we want to get rid of this week? Spasm? No, that's fine. Um, I think we're just going to keep getting our shard mercenaries ready. Uh, plus two speed. What does our other shard mercenary have? Ruin scrounger. Yeah, okay. What do I use them for? We're going to use them for Endless to go kill the Sleeper. Uh, I like to use... Yeah, I do. I do like to use it. I like to use him in general. I think he's a really good character. I just don't think he's great for most bosses, but he is really good in Endless. Oh, my lord. I just don't know. Those don't matter. I don't know if claustrophobia counts in the courtyard, or not courtyard. Uh, claustrophobia is 20% additional stress in all hallways from all stress sources. Now, I don't know if the battles in Endless count as a hallway, 
I think they probably do, though, so it's probably just safer to get rid of. <clears throat> I mean, I could just use our own heroes, I suppose. Twitch things. Oh, I know, Mixie. How you doing, Mixie? <clears throat> Someone got the yips, yeah. That's true. Let's look at those first. Uh, they actually leveled up to five, so it's going to be more expensive to get rid of it. <clears throat> Fear of Beast is also kind of bad, because we are going to use Hoopa against the Champion Flesh. Probably against the Swine God, too. So we might go ahead and get rid of that. And then... Yeah, we'll get rid of the Yips. That's fine. Minus five accuracy. Have to sing for on Twitch Sings an hour. <laughs> Game as a bounty. It's like Rimworld meets Squids from Space. Uh, I don't think I did. Wait, are you talking about? Oh, you mean the one that we actually played? The like, um, what was it? Squids from Space. That's what it was called. No, you're talking about something that's like that meets Rimworld. No, I haven't seen that offered yet. Chadson. <laughs> All right, let's do it. So we have about like, what is it? Like 70% chance or something for, let's see. A little bit lower. It's a Christmas miracle. Twin men say you should have done it. That for an hour is too much. Yeah, I'm glad you agree. I think I'm glad you agree. Sacred Scroll, Junior's Head. Um. Hey everybody, my name's Cletus. Anybody want some cornbread? <laughs> Thank you for summoning Cletus. Hat seen in a little while. Dark bracer. Surgical gloves. Hmm. Let's do dark bracer here too. Or I mean surgical gloves here too. Seeing as Cletus, oh my lord. I'd had to turn the camera off. My face would be like beet red doing that. More calm bread. Quotes and they follow. It's like an addiction. <laughs> uh, so the Fanatic is a really scary boss. Like, um, it's another one of those bosses that you can go really badly, really quickly, depending on who he takes. Um... There is some merit to taking a man at arms and, and treating it very similarly to how you do um, the siren. How the man at arms guard the person you don't want taken. So in this case, if a man at arms guards our Hellion the entire time, our Hellion is never the one on the pyre and she can just destroy stuff. But we don't have a man at arms. A boy named Sue. I referenced that song just the other day. All right, let's go. Everyone's a subscriber. Yeah, it's been a while. Let's see. The last non-sub I see in the channel is Himmel, which is fine. It's completely fine. You, I'm just non-fanatic. No, I don't have any uh, man at arms this level. I have man at arms that are higher level. We have we have two. No, Himmel, I wasn't calling you out. Someone asked. Someone asked. How you doing, uh, Amber? By the way, welcome on in. All the food. Stack shovels. Um, it's fine. I want to take one stack of each of these in case you run into a shambler. It's not likely, but... It's only 1%. I'm going to take Aegis. Absolutely. We need to leave at least two blood behind. I'm going to take three with us. Are any of them already craving? Oh, they are. Take four with us. Five. Partially of that is Randall. Oh man. No, thank you guys for subscribing. Using you know, a Twitch Prime, gift subbing. But if you're not, if you can't, no worries, no worries. You're supporting the stream by being here. Uh, food, shovels, <sighs> curio interaction, stuff for the fanatic. So we got our upgrades, our trinkets, skills, camp, upgrades, trinkets, skills, camp. Grades, trinkets, skills, camp, upgrades, trinkets, skills, and camping. 
Do I have a bad joke to bring? Hemuel, you alright? <laughs> Sorry, Hemuel. What am I, we, are we on 61? Thank you, Snowblind. How you doing, Swanky? Alright, guys, let's see if the Fanatic spawns. There he is! Am I sure I want this? As man's belief in a mythology of his own making. A world view uh, let's get in the friggin' run. Easily. Invariably leads to single-minded fanaticism <sighs> and a need to do terrible things. You called down the thunder. Now reap the whirlwind. This man is an animal. Rabid, destructive, and incapable of nuanced understanding. <sighs> Fanatic is scary. Must be. Put down. Man. I like that. I like that opening monologue for him. This man is an animal. He must be put down. A generous Sparge and what can go wrong? Sparge just think you're the bits balls to the wall. So no one can doubt you. Ugh. Alright. So the big thing, I should not say this, but because I'm streaming, I'm gonna say it, I'm gonna ruin my life. The big thing is, I hope he's not in the first hallway. That way, at least we have a camp. So we can get buffs. <laughs> I do a kamikaze. <sighs> the, pot, the pyre, shitting up in the graveyard. Maybe memorial. Curse first hallway. <laughs> Friggin' fish. Friggin' fish. Bad shuffle, but uh, it's alright overall. Good luck. Thank you, Payne. Hey, Sokar. It's going alright. We're about to fight the Fanatic. Uh, what's the best strategy for Catan? Like, Settlers of Catan? Don't know. I've never played. Is that, is that what you're talking about? 239? Sheep Island. Get lucky. If he's trying to scare you. No. <laughs> All right. We're gonna stress heal this whole fight with our Crusader. It's not gonna stress heal a lot, but he dodges. Need roads as soon as possible. I do, Mike. I've actually never played Sellers of Catan. I've seen it played once. The ground quakes. Catan, really? Pineapple. Pineapple. You know, you have known and been in the midst of a lot of interesting stuff and people. Govor! Govor, thank you for the 100 bits. Appreciate it, Govor. I need that good luck. I need that good luck. As the fiend falls, As the fanatic, shh. Faint hope blossoms. <laughs> um, Alright. Stress healing. Start his own tabletop gaming company now. That's pretty cool. Uh, do you know what game he started, or is this a more recent kind of thing? Confidence surges as the enemy. I should have stunned this one instead. That would have been smarter. So if I would have stunned this one and then I killed that fish with a flagellant, we could have gotten an extra stress heal in next round. Now we can't. I mean, it's probably like what four stress or something that I could have got rid of. It, it's it's not a huge deal, but it could be the difference between an affliction or. Or not. Packs laden with loot. Often laden with loot. The thing is, too, like, it might not just be the, the fanatic, right? So, it could be the fanatic. We can get a collector. We get a shambler. We can get all three. The other thing about... So, he's not in this hallway. The other thing about the fanatic is if you run away with someone on the pyre, they die. It's instant death. So, once we fight them, even if things are going badly, we can't really... Put our place... Point appropriate resource with a high roll chance. Hey, thank you, Aracoon. Is it Ara or Aracoon? Aracoon. Welcome in. All three? You could. It could be anything, even a fanatic. He can only spawn in a hallway, at least. We know the fanatic is here. He, you only get that intro if the fanatic is in that dungeon. So, he is here. Uh, we surprise them again, which is great. Colossal Gaming. It's pretty cool. Think of the stars. Think of the stars can't be here, luckily. But yeah, now we're talking. Great crit. Welcome back. Mike. Your steadfast loyalty is Plus, greatly gotcha. appreciated. Counts as beating the dungeon, right? Uh, no. 
Mike, thank you for the resub. Four months, four months already. Guys, if you could drop some love and sandwiches for Mike, appreciate it. Thank you, Mike, for the continued support. This is run nine against the champion hag. Did he? Did he really? This run nine has been going super well as far as I've seen. How are you doing, Raider? How come we couldn't send a taunting message? I don't know. It's a good question. <laughs> So, for the rest of this fight, our Crusader will stress heal. Uh, and then we're going to camp after this. Compassion it's not a long dungeon again. It was the only... There are two reasons. One, uh, it was an apprentice dungeon. It was the only apprentice dungeon. Um, and, and we made this apprentice team specifically for the Fnatic. Uh, two, we need to push meter. And long dungeons push meter by 40%. And the cove isn't maxed yet. So we're going to get uh, a lot of meter pushed out of this and hopefully get a fanatic kill out of it. All right, even though he's going to die, I'm going to kill him with a hit. That way we don't uh, kill this one too fast. So in Apprentice especially, the Plagic Guardian has a low crit chance compared to most mobs in the cove. So we're going to kill him slow-ish. We need to hit him twice per round. As long as we hit him twice per round, he can't call in reinforcements, and we should be able to get some stress down. Now, he can crit. Two time you're no chicken champ right here. <laughs> he can crit, but, uh... It's, pretty, it's a lo low chance in Apprentice. Now, if he does crit twice, he's probably gonna... He's basically gonna undo... Never mind. Seeker says, no, we're not killing slowly. I'm sorry. Alright, we're gonna camp here. So here's the thing. Which it was? I don't know. Uh, here's the thing. This could be the Fnatic, but usually... So the Fnatic is an extra hall battle. So a lot of times... When you're in this situation, you see a double hall battle, it's the Fnatic. I mean, not always, but it's a pretty good guideline. Uh, we're gonna camp. A moment of respite. A chance to steal one. We're gonna buff our Hellion's crit. We're gonna buff her damage. And we are going to pray. And might actually chant as well. Yeah, we'll do that. Drops cure, he does. Shambler, not a fanatic. Hellion does not kill slowly. That is a that is a truth. As the light gains purchase. Alright, I'm gonna grab this on the Vestal. I don't know, actually. This can be multiple things. So it, it, it kind of sucks because we don't know what it's going to give, right? I'm going to get on the Hellion. Alright, she got damage and speed. Perfect. Perfect. Are you there, Fnatic? It's me. It's not him yet. I want to find him with camp buffs. I really want to find him with our camp buffs. So kill the thrall first because it can do a lot of stress, a lot of damage if you leave it unchecked for a couple rounds. Every round that he is alive, it increases his chance to explode. He usually explodes in round two. Hey Gar, welcome in. How you doing Gar? P.O'd lady. Shambler love. No, no, no. Ooh, good crit. Give them no quarter. Good crit. No, you can't. So the, the Fnatic doesn't spawn that way. The Fnatic spawns as a hall battle placed in the dungeon when you go in. Spawns a little bit differently than uh, like the Shambler. Basically spawns the same sort of way that uh, Thing from the Stars spawns. Decimated. All right. Okay, on we go. Good Dark Dungeon life advice. Um, 
waiting to be spent. Thought I just gave some good advice. Hmm. If only treasure could start hmm. the flow of otherworldly. I don't know. I'll think in the next battle. We'll get we'll get something. How you doing, Aryan? Welcome in. I got two stress casters again. Shaman is the most important out of these two to kill because the Acolyte, well, I mean, they're both kind of equal, I guess. It feels to me the fish is better to kill because not only can it stress, it can buff, whereas this one's other one is that it pulls. Now, in Veteran and Champion, Eldritch Pull and Push causes stress, but not in Apprentice. Where are you? There is the thing from the stars. It's behold, the Lady of the Stars. That's Shambler. I don't remember actually, Orchestra. Oh, another good crit. Maintain the offensive. Wanna eat yellow snow? Go with Phoenix's advice there. As soon as the logic. All possible results. This encounter have been calculated. I don't think that one's I don't think that one's it. Yeah, food diet is not really the best thing for you. You'll live. You can crit. Stars collector and fanatic, I know. Best dungeon. Crit. So, we don't have a lot of stress. But, as I always tell people, no matter how much stress you have, if you can cure it safely, do it. Because this three stress... Could be the difference between us getting an affliction or not, having a heart attack or not. So, I am going to just stress you with a Crusader. I'm not going to move him up or anything. Um, we'll just zero out. Helped you out. Fought baddies. That'd be nice. That'd be nice. A share of alien malignity. Like he says. Hmm. Our yellow is not in the Dark Stinger World's palette. What's this then? A trifling victory. The gold is kind of yellowy. Victory nonetheless. Color the milk green, the cafeteria for St. Patrick's Day. The milk wasn't the only thing that ended up being dyed. Oh, I know. We had a conversation here a week or two ago about uh, Captain Crunch oops all berries and what it does to a person. The Aegis, yeah, that's kind of yellowy green. There's yellow. Look at that buff yellow. Shard. Oh, I gotcha. That makes a little bit more sense. So it's just after like four fights, yeah. But we did have a camp. Chopped out a lot. We feasted. Uh, one downside of this team is we don't have great traps aren't 80% in the world. What about the tree branch smackdown giant? He's he's yellow. It's like a yellowy green, right? I want to check this fish. Yeah, screw it. Let's check this fish. AFK for the camp. Yeah, that was a big part of it. <laughs> Not much of any color in the dark. That's true. How many days do you have left? <laughs> uh, they are good, but it will die your poop. It will die your poop. So again, the Drowned Thrall, we have to kill first. Um, now, the Sea Maggot, we need to kill quickly or keep it stunned. Um, I'm actually going to try to stun it. Because it can cause disease. Measuring in days is generous. Oh, he's dead. Perfect. Oh, unless this heals it. Don't do it! Why do I always do that? Almost 2,000 hours. <laughs> I always forget about the heal. Good dodge. Hey, forever. How's it going? Welcome in forever. I know it's a snail. It bothers me too. You know what would be good if it gave us uh, Grey Rot on our Hellion right there? Or not Hellion, excuse me. Ooh, you, my friend, better. are rated E for excellent. 18 months! So where's our immune? Yeah. That's true, she has the curse. Never mind, she can't get Grey Rot. Tina George, thank you for the resub. 18 months, tier 2. Guys, if you could drop some love and sandwiches in chat for Tina George. Appreciate it. Thank you for the continued support. You know I appreciate it. 
18 months is a very long time. Thank you, thank you. Did you know that's possible? One of the longest subscriptions this channel has. Real man, I get the same way. A sea cucumber isn't really a cucumber. Through Crimson Curse, yeah, yeah. This is the one that has out of Crimson Curse. That was my bad. Oh, I should have killed there. That was a mistake. I could have gotten a stress heal in. We gotta stop making these little mistakes because they can add up. Earlier I was talking about improving uh, at the dungeon like 1% at a time, you know, and figuring things out, learning little by little. Um, we don't want to do the opposite of that. So we have our buffs for one more battle, which is good. Oh, gee. All right. See if this is the fanatic. Are you here, fanatic? Use a key, get a key. I know. We did that a lot with shovels one night. Like, every time I used a shovel, we'd get a shovel. I actually think these are deadlier. These guys obviously do AoE damage. We have a great AoE heal. So, let's take the guys out that can bleed us. Cut the tension with a knife. Boo. It's not here again. Alright, that one's dead. Are we going to kill three of these before they get to go? Impressive. Are these brigands? Yeah. That's a good question, too. Maybe they did. Imagine how many brigands were here before the fish. Crit fest, yeah. She's got a lot of crit. She has a 45% chance to crit. Trinkets and buffs. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can do, be do, 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 do. Let's See what's on this fish? Fish. Glittering gold. Glittering gold. I don't see any trinkets, Wayne. Paid for in blood. Paid for in medicinal herb. I would say. Ooh, another buff. So I don't think the jellyfish can give disease an apprentice, but I'm still not 100%. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to keep an eye out to see if it, they do. Uh, in veteran and champion, I absolutely know that both moves can give a disease. Um, but I, I'm not sure about apprentice. Canada's northern Minnesota. Minnesota's southern Canada. Oh, I remember that quote. I remember that one. Northern Mexico. Not sure any of these are accurate. You live in it? <laughs> All good? All good. Guess we're not going to be testing that disease thing. It's done. There's no reason to kill it slowly this time. Uh, we'll get this last little bit of stress off. So an unfortunate thing is that if we camp, we lose the buffs from these. Um, but I would like to camp so that we can renew our camp buffs, which are probably more important overall. And our camp buffs are going to last for four battles. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. So the thing is, if, if we don't camp here, and this is the Fnatic, we are fighting the Fnatic without our camp buffs. We're fighting uh, without every advantage we can have. But the Fnatic might be here, you know? We might end up getting through all of our camp buffs. So it, it's just a, a shart in the dark, as we say. <laughs> so, uh... Yeah, I'll just go ahead and camp for buffs. That's what they say, right? Get those pimp boots? No, we'll leave those for the fishes. Calculated. Alright, so we'll do uh, crit, damage, uh, protection. I mean, I don't know. There's not really... There's nothing really else to use that as preventative.
God, he only has 26 HP. It's terrifying. He doesn't even have the curse. Favorite class, lore-wise? Lore and not aesthetic? Like, which ones I... Uh, I don't know. Lore-wise. I'm not gonna... Definitely not the Vestal. Her salacious diary. Um... Hmm. I like the Crusader there, too. I don't know. They're all pretty good. Abomination. I like his fairly well. They're all pretty, pretty decent lore. Not... The Hellions, I don't know. I mean, I understand the Hellions, but, uh, hers is okay. Man arms, old vet who still has some battles left in him. Yeah. That's a, that's a decent trope in general, too. I can agree on that one. Alright. So when she get, would get a double, so... Oh, he's dead. Never mind. Basically got a double. It's a flags lore. Um... God, what is his comic? What is the Flagellant's comic? Why can't I remember it all of a sudden? A lot of them don't really tell you a whole lot, but I'm trying to remember his comic, and I'm having trouble doing it. Uh, we're going to see if she gets the buff again, the damage buff. Sim getting beat up. She got the minus stress. That's unfortunate. Favorite enemy, non-boss enemy, or including bosses. I'm not gonna loot these until we come back. Just realize it's kinky. Oh no, I didn't mean to loot it. Joins the Fight Club. Dead ones. You know, I actually do like the Shambler as a enemy. Uh, favorite boss. I mean, th there's a lot of really well-designed bosses. I like. The Countess a lot. I like that fight. Um, it's not a uniquely designed fight. So Countess is one of my favorite ones. Uh, the crew has a really awesome uh, artwork. Their mechanics okay. I don't know. I guess I would say that my favorite boss is probably the Countess. Crimson Court in general is really awesome. Really well done. Um, favorite basic enemy. Not counting like mini bosses like the Shambler. Hmm. I don't know. That's a good question. I'm gonna think about it. Favorite basic enemy. Alright. Fanatic, are you there? Bone Scrub, just do an honest monster. Who's your favorite Vomit Pig? The Prentice ones, Swine Hookers. Not him, Quad Grouper. Surprised him. Good. So uh, the front two groupers can only attack our front line. Back two can only attack back two. Uh, and a, an apprentice they can't pull. So basically, we want to divide them up. Which we've done. The cultists. Which one? The or orgiastic ones or whatever? The wacky inflatable arm flailing tube zombies? Or the Ren for the new gods? Or the Ren for the old gods? Um. I'm going to stun this one. The Vestals. I like the Cold Spree. I mean, they're all so good. That's the problem, right? There's not... Like, the designs in the game are really good. Not just, like, the quality of the artwork, but, like, the design decisions. Like, the bosses have very small details about them that relate to the moves that they use or vice versa. For instance, like, the Hag has her uh, ladle that she uses on you. She has that uh, herb pouch that she uses on you on her model. Like, it's... It's all done really well. Old God's one fits really well. Yeah, it definitely has a Lovecraftian um, a vibe. Abatement. The bomb. So basically you want to rip their heads off and one hits. So that's so even better. So clearly we'll divide them from themselves. Or is it merely a trick of the light? Divide them from themselves. Okay, so this has about a 60% chance of giving you something positive. Um, but it does have a slight chance to give a negative. So, I mean, I think I'm okay doing it with the Vestal because, like, if she gets a negative, what negative is she going to get that's going to make the 
Fanatic Harder. Bad Healer, Scientific, that's about it. Um, Alright, let's try it. It's a negative. Don't get one of those two. Oh, it was one she already had. <laughs> Scattering. <laughs> Never punished. Ah. Uh, uh, I think one of those is him. Two battles left, too. I might go do these two battles and then backtrack. Is that a new chair? No. I've had this for like two years. Same one I've always used. Same chair. Um, From Beyond? Hooray! <laughs> hey, one, one piece of advice really quick math about From Beyond. When they come back, they don't have any of their upgrades. Make sure you upgrade them again before you take them to a dungeon. Go down the backtrack. There are more fights. Because of the buffs. Uh, we've scouted all the way here. So we know there, there's a very good chance that one of these two is a fanatic, right? And we have two battle buffs. So if I go down here first, then we lose our battle buffs. So even though we're going to have to backtrack all the way here and then go back. Or do you mean like do this one and then go all the way back here? By the way, I'm going to do these two hall battles first. Hey, J Ham. Welcome back, J Ham. Jam, how have you been? Alright, that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, I have no idea. You want to get back to life? Oh, yeah, I remember that for me, too. And they don't have upgrades. Sandwich of banana bread with lettuce and mayo. Ugh. Wizardry game Discord. Might find it fun. Yeah, I'll check it out. I think we're posting it, Gar. So, one of these two are probably Fanatic. Not this one. Surprising, though. Hey! Seeker, take it easy! Bleeding out of fish. Bleeding out of fish. I'm gonna get a stress healing. I'm gonna do it. Fnatic is very... He's one of the toughest um, things in the game, really. Really is. And I'll talk about what he does a little bit more when, when we fight him, but... There are several things that make him very difficult. Very RNG. God rakes that sandwich. Lettuce? I mean, the meat is one thing, right? Like, I, I might could, like, stomach that part of it. Because I, I, you know... <laughs> but... To put lettuce in, like, condiments, lettuce and mayo on banana bread, I just, just don't know, Rix. I'm, I just, just don't know. Dies when face the fanatic. I mean, it's, you never really know, it's just, like, a lot can go wrong. I'll talk about the things that can go wrong in the fanatic when we're there, and hopefully I don't cause him to do those things, you know? But, uh, sounds weird on paper, it does. Exactly. And driven into the mud. Sounds nice. Larkin! <laughs> you would like Rick's sandwich. Anyway, yeah, same thing. Uh, we have to come back, so we'll eat that. Sashios that you have? Too busy to fight? <laughs> Wrong with race sandwich, too. <laughs> so this should be the Fanatic. Please, RNG gods. Allow us to crit this Fanatic into oblivion without being crit ourselves. Thy kingdom come. Wait. <laughs> hey, Jeanette. Welcome back. How you doing, Jeanette? I'm gonna get, eat another. Oh, he wants me to eat that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He wants me to. It's easy. Just always crit and always Oh, look at this god-awful shuffle. Simple. 
So here's the Fnatic. The Fnatic is a wandering boss in the Crimson Court DLC. I won't talk about how he spawns, but I'll talk about his pyre really quick. So his pyre works similarly to um, the Hag's Pot, with a little bit of an exception. The pyre does not respawn. You can break people down from it. They take constant damage when they're out, up there. But as you attack the pyre, it buffs the Fnatic's damage. But you have to attack it, right? The other thing about the pyre is if you destroy it, you can completely destroy it. If you destroy it, he starts acting pretty similarly to like the Swine God. He does a huge AoE hit at the beginning of every round. Never seen the Fnatic own or your runs. I usually avoid him. That's why you've not seen him here. Yes. Good crit. I'm actually going to move her back so the flagellant can hit here. Extra protection. That's why we brought the bleed. Good crit. So, remarked now, he does have a move that deals additional damage to mark targets. Did I kill the Fnatic in four? No, I didn't. Got her down in two hits. Alright, so it's down to 66. He's gonna take someone again. Our Vestal. It's fine. These are disturbing. You notice most of them are women that it shows, too. Witches. Same people do the pigs, probably. Random people do horror screams. Dodges. It's dark, full of Adam. Cadet party members, yeah. I wish you could see their health. Come on, crit. Crit, 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 crit. Guess I'm going to start putting uh, holy water on. Fnatic is very tall. <sighs> the abyss returns even the boldest gaze. Crit. Fight is trivial. <laughs> no. God, I wish I could see your health. Might be best just to race him at this point almost. Eh, now we'll do it. Now we'll just kill. Or uh, get them out, I mean. The Q is a conveyor belt of death. I doing hidden, by the way? The Q? Hopefully it's not a conveyor belt of death right now. Okay. 10 to 11. Please take our flagellant. I don't think Aegis protects. I don't think Aegis protects. I'm going to buff him here doing this. Make our flagellant, please. Thank you. Thank you. Warwick Davis, you just wear stilts. Uh. Fifty percent protection. I'm gonna hit him a couple times. Uh I don't know. No, nah, I'm gonna break it. I'm gonna hit him with the fly or the Hellion though. Got the block in, that's alright. Davis's. Really? 
I would I would venture a lot of people here know. Oh, he resist the bleed. There we go. He's dead. He's dead this round. He did it. He did it. Can't remember his aim. Yeah. Flitwick. That's it. Enjoy the fire. <laughs> Burns so good. Leprechaun. He played a lot of things. Ah, fanatic down. <laughs> Wasn't super scary. We got a dead rat. Two things of the cure. Not too bad. Not too bad. Could have been much worse. I don't even really need the cure, though. Cure cures the disease entirely. Cures the disease entirely. So. 24 crests. I might just use... I mean... I don't know. I guess we can use it on someone that's, like, wasting next week or something. Do you want to take the crest? Yeah, we'll do that. Hmm. Game Control are working on Dolphin. I play Wind Waker Randomizer. I didn't even know Wind, Wind Waker was randomized. Use up food. Well, the thing is, we have backtracking. We have to backtrack all the way here, and then we have to go back through here. So I might need all that food. Let's see. One immune. Uh, let's see. One immune. No, no, no. Immune one. Immune. Two, immune three, immune four, immune five. We need 20 pieces of food, worst case scenario. <sighs> but we are low, too. Like, I, I don't think I can enter a fight with this low of health. Yeah. I'm actually going to backtrack so that we don't get hunger procs. This is going to get us more stress, but we're low on food. Get rid of bandages. Eh, I don't know. Maybe. We'll see. I mean, there's still bleed in here. There's still a chance in a shambler, you know? We'll open that on the way back through. I think the rat works in town, too. It does. It does. We tested it. Uh, I put it on someone that... We had one person with a curse for a while that was that was wasting. And I put it on them in town, and it did work. Oh, what if it's a random spawn shambler? You want a Windmaker remake? I thought they were doing... Or, like, a remaster. I don't know about it. I'll use it. Yeah. True. Which... Are you going to post that in the Discord, too? Get rid of the flagellant and lighten your load. Are you Samwise Gamgee? Lighten the load. This for Wii U. Not sure if it's on Switch yet. Oh, okay. Grievous injury. Crit. Palpable I mean... Fear. Dodge. Only these two can give the... No, they can all give the curse. Only these two have inherent stress. So we need to take them out first. A momentary abatement. Speed of 5, speed of 10. Problem is, this guy will run away if we don't kill him fast enough. He'll so if he ran away right now, he would spawn two mosquitoes. One in his spot and one in the other empty spot. And cause a bunch of stress. Okay, that's fine. Curse anyway. Yeah. Truth. Filthy tricksy hobbitses. You already did. I'll check it out. How you doing, Tet? By the way. By the way, Tet. How you doing? Just got a secret room. That's always good. Make sure you use a key. Make sure you use a key. Dang oh, man. You're here. The horror. Told you it could happen. 
just demonstrating, you know? I want you guys to see what can happen. <laughs> Make sure I'm telling the truth and whatnot. It's alright, we're gonna get a uh, virtue. Right? We have the kids' school tonight. Oh, please don't kill her after we finish the fanatic. I mean, ever. Don't kill her ever, but. They're saying they're now so old. Point tastes like sawdust. Big heel, big heel, big heel. Hey, Miss Lady Goat. How you doing, Miss Lady Goat? How have you been? Good, good. Do I want to stress you again? How high can these guys crit? Let's find out. Check the food discord. Uh, <laughs> yeah, attack our crusader. Thanks. You know what? We need like five Pelagic Guardian fights in a row. That's what I need. <laughs> if you could ban him, you would. <laughs> yeah. Learn skills and such. Go home tomorrow. I was going to ask about that. Have you been enjoying it, though? I mean, are, do you think you will enjoy it when you get back and get to do... You know. Job, job. Job, job. Threatening mod abuse. Uh, it's alright, I'll allow it. In this case, I'll allow it. Slowly, gently. I'll, uh... Not only allow it, encourage it. Rude. <laughs> this expedition like I said, there's still a chance of a shambler. There are enemies that bleed in here too. That bleed us. Uh, these are the provisions we have left. Eh. Throw that down for now. For now, as if I can come back and pick it up. Flag it for a few fights. Uh, yeah, I mean, I could do that. Overall, it lowers the stress total on the party. Hmm. Guess we might as well. It's a net gain. Or a net decrease, I guess you'd say. In zero light, it's not quite as great, though. But we'll, we'll test it out. We're looking for Plagic Guardians. Or is it a super stressful? We have a ton to learn still. Hey, hey everybody, my name is Cletus. Streams going well overall, I would say. Life... That's what I've been saying lately about IRL, but... Stream? Pretty good. <laughs> hey, Cletus, welcome back. Oh, we missed this stun. Is there like stress dreams? Yeah, that's what I'm curious about. Virtue, virtue, virtue. I've been a good boy. Give me a virtue. No! <laughs> Can we finish this dungeon? Even if we don't finish the dungeon, we've we've done our goal. Partially. Into madness. Oh boy. Well, the background giggles. <laughs> Eldritch push. That's good. If you just do our healing job, yeah, she just might. Just might. And we don't have a jester, so the, the odds of our, her... Getting back down. Excuse me, her getting back down to uh, zero stress this run is pretty low. Mission abort. We'll see. I mean, if we run into a couple of Pelagic Guardian fights, we can recover enough, probably, to make it alright, but we'll see. You crit, too. Where are you gonna hit? Right there. I guess I need to start using the bandages. Because we're going to end up throwing them down soon. So our Crusader will go into uh, stress heal bot mode. Pretty much. Got to try the roast beef sandwich. Can do it without mayo. God. God. Ooh, good crit. Good crit. <laughs> We'll just crit every, our stress all the way down. No problem. So let's see how much this pulls versus how much it heals. 
So it's going to do a minus 11. 15! <laughs> Zero light, blood moon, plus extra stress trinket. Get that away! <laughs> no! We're just getting more stress. I mean, it's divided up a little bit. Hmm. Carl. It's Carl. Uh. I guess let's try to get rid of scattering or entophobia. What? Did you guys see that? That was weird. She didn't auto react with it. Get rid of it all. There's no camp. She didn't automatically get... It's That's really weird. So usually on force interactions, they do the whole thing themselves when you approach it. She didn't do it until I clicked on it. That's pretty interesting. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever had that happen. What? Silly Adam. Actually move first. What? You're talking about using suffer first and then using it? Usually it heals uh, more stress than it causes, though, just baseline. But with all these debuffs and stuff, it's the opposite at the moment. Did Quirk get removed? No, because she didn't use Holy Water or, or um, Medicinal Herb. You think I moved closer when I clicked it? I don't know. We were pretty close to it, but maybe. Hmm. Hey, it's Plagic Guardian. The Rational's gonna make it extremely hard to stress heal all the way down, but we're gonna stress heal as much as we can. She's dead. How many before? Well, yeah, I mean, getting barely closer, I've had it, but I thought we were close enough to activate it. Maybe I was just like a one little step off without realizing it. Uh, click here, I'll move me to it. Could have been. Hey, Wonko. Wonko the Sane. Wonko doesn't sound like a sane person. No, Wonko. Welcome in. How you doing tonight? Past her turn. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Especially with this going on. Now, the grouper can't hit her at least, so we got that going on. Or going for us. Which is good. We do have the Pelagic Guardian, so we should be able to recover a little bit in this fight. Not a crap load, though, because we don't have a Jester, but... Heal, so it's more efficient. You like 6 stress or 12 relief. Yeah, it takes two rounds to do it, unfortunately, but it does... I mean, with all of our debuffs, it might end up still not being super worth. Like, two rounds, and we will net gain, like, three stress. But it might have been worth, like, against the Guardian fight, at least. Have you tested? <laughs> it's good. Alright, count me out. Crit. Can you chill? The whole party stress. How master a jester? I think the jester overall is still good. Like, well, the thing is, if your um, your how master has max skills and it hits everyone every turn, obviously that's going to be better. But I think the the pinpointing stress down is still better overall because it's better to get one per if they're afflicted it's better to get one person that's uh, afflicted to zero first so it goes away and then the next person i think so the jester is just still more reliable but the how master stress heal uh did get buffed a little bit color madness came out the percent chance but i think i still prefer the jester if i really need if someone's afflicted i prefer the jester for sure Close to being afflicted off the brain too, yeah. And then you have that situation, like I said, where the Hound Master just misses the stress heal and then... So we're gonna move in front of her so she doesn't have to attack. Cause we wanna get one more stress heal in. Don't need any of that. I'm gonna hold on to your other stuff for now. Uh, let's check these two curios. 
stress party, 122793. Yeah, exactly. So we can't get a hunger proc right now on those spots. So I'm not going to loot them. I'm going to go in here. I'm not going to loot them back through. If I had looted them the first time, hunger can actually spawn on a tile where a used curio was. So there was a chance to get a hunger proc there. We might just do this. That's the same Carl from before. Carl. She's so floppy. Smite? Uh, yeah. I actually liked Smite. Got this. Hope so, man. We almost lost last night. Mm -hmm. Several times, like... Absolutely... Brink of losing. Tonight's been a lot better so far. blood I'm just gonna keep the crest I think do you want to get rid of the bandages I mean not yet I don't think <sighs> it's only 1% out of shambler yeah screw it not even a what what's up Jeanette how does a run get without torches uh, Exclamation Torchless will tell you the stat difference. Uh, it gets a lot harder, but also one of the things that makes it even worse... Did I miss something you said, Jeanette? One of the things that makes it even worse is... Uh, the fact that every hall battle has a chance to spawn a Shambler. If you're in zero light, every hall battle... It's your birthday? It's not your birthday here. I didn't know. Did you say that earlier? I must have missed. Well, happy birthday. Birthday where you are. Not here, though. Here, it's early. Happy birthday, Jeanette. Seven years older. Exactly, you are. Happy birthday, Mayor. <laughs> Jeanette, Mayor, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Have a birthday thing. Have a birthday uh, alert somewhere. Maybe I'll dig it out. Group of groupers, group of my, group of my group. Yes, that's like Sally sells seashells by the seashore. I've never understood that. You guys know that tongue twister? Sally sells seashells by the seashore. That doesn't seem smart, does it? Like uh, she's she's at the seashore, and so like someone could just go get their own seashells. That's not a very good business move from Sally. Location, location, location. Exactly. Now, if she sold seashells... I don't know, in Iowa. Next to a cornfield or something. Maybe she'll make some money. Catering to the lazy. <laughs> She's actually a real person, really. Detroit. She sold actually fossils, gotcha. Super great saleswoman. Cut from the same cloth as one pineapple. Shelly sells seashells down by the seashore. Stav, you could just pick up off the ground next to her. That would take an amazing salesperson. Uh, it's kind of, you know, so the Walmarts here, I don't know if it's that way everywhere, but when you go to the Walmarts here, Um, there's always, there's always two guys in there that are trying to sell Comcast to you. Like, even if you already have Comcast, they're like, oh, I can make your Comcast deal better. Right? These salespeople. And they push really hard. But now, for like the last six months, I've had uh, fiber through a different company. And it's a one gig fiber for like $30 less than Comcast internet. So now when I go in there and they come up to me and I'm, they're like, hey, can I ask you, what, who do you have for internet? And I'm like... I have so and so with one the one gig fiber and they just look defeated and they're like, oh okay. But you know what? Sally could probably sell me Comcast. Surprise Shambler? No, that would not be nice. One percent shambler. We haven't had any one percent shamblers this run. We've had um how many shamblers have we had this run? Three? Three? Plus ten dodge the cove. 
Carl. Direct TV and yours, pork. How do you pork? Okay, let's try this again. I am close enough. <laughs> Scattering gone. And now we're gonna we're gonna click on this. She's gonna get Hippocratic. You're the devil. Conversations. Who do you have for internet? I'm the devil. <laughs> A negative again. <laughs> we're getting so lucky. It's. Uh, she got thanatophobia again. Shovel it? No, I don't want all that free stress. It's free stress. Drown Thrall, gotta kill it first. That might work in some other channels, but not here. Okay, he's dead. Oh yes, the bloodlust. So, did anyone? She worked at a sewing machine vacuum repair shop. The store came in, Ron convinced him he needed a new sewing machine. So much so that he carried it home. I'm got his car. What? <laughs> I don't know how to feel about this. I mean, I believe you, obviously. That's not what I mean, but... Um, it almost feels like... <laughs> it almost feels cruel. Frontier Fiber. Service sucks. I don't have Frontier. I have um, Metronet. Metronet. One gig download like 250 upload or something like $30 less than Comcast that's good I mean, don't worry about it Exposed to a killing blow. we got crit oh she still resisted still resisted zombie thing with a lurk how you doing by the way Acer welcome on in version involves really loud death metal lots of diluted ketchup big heads <laughs> where do I sign up for your plan second thought never mind all right that'll do I suppose I was gonna stress heal her but in his blood lusted state he decided to stress heal her, which will do which will do <laughs> all right so, so angry I'm gonna lift this flag into the sky twice. Just see the Crusader doing like drills or something. <laughs> In his bloodlust rage, he picks up like the ribbon, starts doing the ribbon dances through the fields. I'm a stress healer. Uh, anything I'm, I mean, uh, it's okay. Wave flags at angry. <laughs> Trout and saloon left. Eh, that's where that works. That works. So glad I wasn't drinking something. <laughs> this version of giving the finger. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> just see that. The finger is not allowed in this game, so he's waving it. Is he pointed at anyone he wants to say it to? F you and F you, F you, <laughs> like. I don't know, Sid. Scream. What do you want? Knife in the other. What? <laughs> Banners around the house. Masochistic. Those who say ones, cool injury. ones. Find it in no shorts. Waving in an obscene manner. Uh, this isn't good. Uh, maybe this is the last room battle. Maybe we're going to have a Christmas miracle and this is the last room battle. It could happen. Just make your own flag. Do any of you guys have a family emblem? I've always looked at those and there's things that revolve around your name. But of course, you can make your own custom ones. Kind of neat. Some of them are kind of neat. No, I read it. I read the other part too. I read the ketchup and and severed pig head and death metal and Jehovah's Witness. I got it all. I think I read three messages. 
Fairy Crest, O'Leary. Uh, not a good time to be crit. It's never a good time, but this is one of the worst times. Hey, to Neobium. Failure Blooms or whatever. Everything back to, like I said, as it was on MASH. Cringing chicken. Cringing chicken. Oh, man. I haven't seen anything from MASH in forever. Black dice laptop on a field of red. Can we make it out of here? To the tempest's winds. A momentary abatement. Mash is so good. Say every episode by line as it airs. So. That is impressive, for real. Cringing baby. Okay, I was gonna bleed. Flagellant virtue. <laughs> He always gets rapturous. For those of you that don't know, Flagellant always gets rapturous. Which has positives and also negatives. Mashed potatoes over mash. One thing of Faded. Faded, I mean, it's a positive, right? But the problem with Faded is... It doesn't trigger very often. It's a 10% on a miss. A 10% on a miss, and you shouldn't be missing very often. You should be taking accuracy trinkets. So I don't think that Faded is lock-in material. I mean, it's a positive, so it's good when you get it, but realistically, it's probably going to work for you less than 1% of the time. How dare you? What do you mean? I would... Give me the option. Which one of these things ceases to exist? The show Mash or Mash Potatoes? Goodbye, Mash show. Fairly well. Eighty? Per no, she's down to sixty-five because of the affliction. Oh my lord! Sack of wine. Don't do that, to Ellen. <laughs> yeah, there's a side effect. Maybe you didn't think about. Chance trinkets on the flagellant? No, he can never revert you. It's impossible for him to revert you. If you got flagellant input, how you did input? Hopefully, we only have one more battle. There could be a hall battle here. We really don't want to see a hall battle right now. Oh god, a shambler we'd have to we'd have to run. Oh no hall battles. Well crap. <laughs> I thought that was the last tile. I was completely wrong about no hall battles. He might... Oh, don't be a stress fight. He might actually have a heart attack, and that would be very bad. Is those a call and answer fight? No, I've never tried that. Single stress caster. Oh, crappy shuffle. Not the worst, though. Yeah, hit, hit our crusader. Thank you. We're pretty much going to dismiss all these after this fight, so. Dazed. Reeling. About to break. Alright, uh, we absolutely need this heal. 95% chance to hit, so we'll go with that one since it's a guarantee. Miss the Fanatic, yes. We killed the Fanatic earlier in this dungeon. Just one of the reasons why we're in such bad shape. Crit. Thank you, Phoenix. Okay, that one's dead. Uh, spear fishing, that's really good to see. Really good. How you doing, Delta? Welcome back, by the way. Yeah, we're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. We did it! <laughs> we did it. Fanatic dead, and we managed to finish this long dungeon. Ah. Uh, feels good. Feels good. Name to Mike versus Crying Babies. Two kids just want to cry about everything today. I've never had to deal with two at once, but I've definitely dealt with one. 
Feel free, pounds. Well, welcome in, pounds. Uh, we don't have a holy water for that altar, so goodbye. Is it wolf time? <laughs> trinkets and the trinkets go to your bag. I don't remember. So used to, Dylan, they didn't. Used to, you could delete your trinkets on accident. Um, but I haven't done that in a long time. So I don't know if they ever changed it. You go to your bag now. Thank you. Good. P.O. you missed the fight, though. Flashback from the movie Meatballs. <laughs> Everything's a movie reference tonight if you try hard enough. Unquiet Mind doesn't matter. Quick Reflexes is great. Weak Grip really sucks. Mercurial doesn't matter at all. He can't hurt you. Kind of crest. Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do with him. We're probably going to do the Baron. The walls between the oh, the Baron. It's going to take forever. I'm not worried about the fight at all, but... Yeah, we're gonna do the Baron. Dismiss them all. I might. I might. Baron time. The Baron is the last veteran thing we need to do in the game. <sighs> Gonna take forever. I'm trying to like hour and a half, two hours. Was that a fanatic hunt? Yeah, it was. Uh, well, it had a couple of purposes. One was to hunt the fanatic. One was a it was a long dungeon to push meter on the cove. Do a take a break and do some Twitch thing stuff. <laughs> uh, all right, let's get ready for the fanatic. Or off, oh, God, the Baron. Okay, we're gonna take uh seventeen, I believe it was right. Seventeen, yeah, seventeen. Or was it Fluffkins? Let's look. Natural Swing, Tough, Fairweather Fighter, Precise Striker, Photomania. Precise Striker is 5% crit versus Accuracy. I want to take Fluffkins. I think I want to take Fluffkins. 5% crit is amazing. Sing for us. You've killed the fanatic. Is he gone for good or does he come back? He'll come back. He'll come back um, after the Baron. Another fanatic, I suppose. How you doing, sir? How you doing, Jer? All right, Fluffkins is going in. Uh, was Skid the one we were going to take as well? I feel like it was Skid. Take Fluffkins. I was gonna take a Hound Master. Yokaz has quick draw on guard, early riser. Holy crap. Quick draw on guard, early riser. He has 16 speed on round one. <laughs> Yokaz has 16 speed on round one. That's insane with no trinkets. Let's see, Ginger, hard skin is good. Tat evasive is good. Thing is, I need to level up Yokas. I need to level him up. Hard skin is probably the most helpful. Because with hard skin, I mean, that helps us against the croc. And the croc is one of the main things we need to get out of in great shape. So. If I take Ginger here, though... We are going to have to do at least one more veteran dungeon sometime in this playthrough. Which is okay. We need to push meter still too. That's fine. Overall, I think. And then a Vestal. Which is Cat Hippocratic, yeah. Very well. Semester's over. For a birthday weekend starts today. How many of you are having birthdays today? And this weekend? Holy cow. Well, happy birthday, Jer. It's at least three of you now. How you doing, Snap? Welcome in. Look at all those hours. Thank you, Snap, for the hours. Jared, thank you for the hours. You are not. It's my unbirthday. Which was last week. Happy belated birthday, Pineapple. Pineapple, is that why you had the spa treatment? Dude, how you doing, Muck? Muck, it's good to see you. This was last week. 
All these summer babies. Happy belated birthday, Miss Lady Goat. Very merry on birthday to to me? To shout out. Oh I know, right, Muck? So I was I was very stoned by that too. <laughs> yeah. That's why. Now it makes sense. Well pineapple, happy birthday. Lady Goat, happy birthday. Let's see. Why are there so many people being born in the summertime? What was nine months ago? The start of cold weather? Don't- oh, my bad. <laughs> so she'll be gonna enjoy decompressing. Alright guys. We're gonna go do it. Um, this can actually be a really good move if we're super stressed and we have the herbs. What about 9.5 months after your parents' wedding? Hmm, honeymoon style. That's what I was thinking, Halloween. <laughs> Alright, uh, any stress we need to get rid of this week? Am I going to keep these? I mean, I, I guess I need to keep Lolek if we're going to do one, at least one more veteran. I think I'll probably just miss Garth. I actually need to go through this a bit now. Valentine's babies. Yeah, it's a weird thing to think back on. It's kind of a thing you probably don't want to think back on, but... Hmm. I might just miss a bit of heroes here. Come to think of it. Um, well, let's think about this a little bit. So, basically, the safest way to push meter is by doing long apprentice dungeons. But we, have a, we don't have very many uh, apprentice level people left. So if we want to safely push meter, we need a lot more green characters. And so... Do we have any green vestals? We don't. Dungeon for a long time. Never get finished. She's still working on it. She tweets about it almost every day. Claire hasn't been to our channel, though, for like a couple months. No hard feelings to Claire. I know she's super busy, but... Claire was was always around. It's always it's always odd when someone's here for a long time and they're gone. I just always hope they're all right, which I guess they, they are. But uh, yeah, she she tweeted about Moonlit Dungeon earlier today. Uh, the beta for it is coming up soon. All right. So we don't. We need Doc. We don't need Garthfields. Alright, so let's dismiss Garthfields. Oh, I need to uh, rename someone. Mm, Mowbray. Mowbray. <clears throat> Garthfields. Okay. <clears throat> Whoops. Dismiss Garthfields. Send this one to Jones Bring in Garthfields. Well, we have need of uh, Seeker. Chaliet. I think I might just keep them. Um, we're going to do at least one more veteran. So I can just miss one of these two. Tet, you might become a level zero again. Or one. Sorry, Tet. <clears throat> it's for the greater good of the run. I don't know though. Tet has evasive. Yokas has Eldritch Hater. Hmm. Hmm. Sorry, Tet. Psy Striker. Bye, Tet. Hello, Tet. 
Turn yourself now to the condition of those poor devils who remain. Am I going to use Kaz anymore? I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe not. We're also not going to use all three of these. We're going to use Senor Low. We're going to use Gurg. We're not going to use Frag. We've sent gold on Frag, though. So it kind of feels bad, but... Six afflictions in a row. Man, abusive rational. Oh, there's powerful, powerful car. How do you grow lucky? No. Frag. I'm going to drop you. I'm sorry, Frag. I'm not going to use you in the darkest dungeons or any of the boss fights, so... Uh, we need to spawn more green dungeons. Fragalax. It's like Shambalam. Whoa, Black Betty. Fragalax. Whoa, Black Betty. Shambalam. No more Shambalams. Please. Horse, nor the broken man. We could probably get rid of one of our high level Vestals also. We got plenty of them. Let's see, Irish. Snap. Get rid of Snap. Nothing good on him. We haven't spent their level 5 stuff. Snap. Replacing you. Sorry, Snap. Sham lamps. So the reason we're doing this, for anyone that's wondering, is we're trying to spawn more green dungeons so we can more easily push meter. That's the strategy. Another soul In fact, I might even extend this. Cast aside Let me go check the um, districts before we go into the Baron. Baron dungeons going to be long, so we got to make sure we're prepared to it, for it. Uh, puppet theater, don't really care about. Um, Altar of the Light. I might start prioritizing um, deeds because Altar of the Light's really good. We're going to use a Vestal in three of the four Darkest Dungeons. Extra Stun Resist and Healing are both really good there. Uh, the extra health here is pretty good too. We're going to use a Houndmaster in all four. Man at Arms in two of them. So, 300 Crests. So we might save it for the training room next, actually. It's a lot of deeds. Dirty deeds. Alright. I think we're good, guys. I think we're good. Uh, any diseases we want to get rid of this week? Don't think so. Nope. Any stress? I mean, if we're keeping those, I guess we need to get rid of their stress. So Seeker... And Jaliet. Jaliet's a flagellant and will only flagellate. What's UCC? Well, that's the game of Urinal Chicken, of course. Urinal Chicken Champion. Dirty deeds. Done dirt cheap with sheep. Alright. Any uh, any negative quirks we gotta get rid of this week? Let's double check. Uh, He has quite a bit, actually. Obsessive killing can be... Can be bad. So I'm going to say, uh, it's been okay. I mean, we haven't had any deaths, but it's... Welcome back. We've had Your some kind of... We killed a fanatic. <laughs> How you doing, Dogma? Coder's block. Coder, thank you for the resub. Three months. Guys, if you would drop some love and sandwiches in the chat for Coder. Coder's block. How have you been? Thank you for the resub. Oh, uh, none of these are, like, super bad. Really. Bloodthirsty. We can get rid of Bloodthirsty. I mean, that's, that's a maybe. It's a force interaction quirk. And most of the stuff it force interacts with cause some uh, some problems. The harder bosses. Yeah, I think it is. It's one of the RNG RNG bosses. Alright, we'll get rid of this. Bloodthirsty. Nothing to lock in. And... I guess we'll get rid of one of these banded arms problems now I usually wouldn't put this here with someone that isn't uh, cursed but since we're doing a one shot of the Baron hopefully uh, it shouldn't matter everyone's gonna get cured hey Captain Kane welcome back how you doing Kane started a new job it's been a stranger prime sub is ready oh no worries coder it's good to see you again congrats on the new job hopefully you're liking it Thank you again for the prime. I mean, it financially supports me and my family and the stream. Congrats, Coder. And thank you again. Alrighty. It's time. Very, very, very long dungeon. Use Houndmaster on Dark Dungeon 1. 
Uh, I usually do, yeah. But I might use a... I'm not sure yet. I might use Jester this time, but I usually use Houndmaster. <sighs> Alright. So, since the Crimson Court counts as Radiant Light, we can't use our uh, Moon Cloaks and things like that. Now, our healer is still going to use Sacred Scroll, Junia's Head. Um, let's take a look here. Welcome back. Your steadfast loyalty is greatly appreciated. Trucks. Big trucks, thank you for the resub. Seven months with the big trucks. Big trucks, thank you for the continued support also. Love the sandwiches to trucks. Thank you, trucks. So, we're probably going to use Overture Box. We're probably going to use Surgical Gloves. We're probably going to maybe use Camo Cloaks. Possibility. Sun Cloaks is a possibility. Feather Crystal. Feather Crystal is a little bit scary here. I like the speed and dodge, but the minus stun is really scary against Chevaliers. So, Bearston's Head I often take on the Jester when we go here. Probably won't take the Book of Sanity. We might take the Focus Ring. So that's our main options. All these trinkets. So on our Jester, we definitely want to take Overture. The extra health and the dodge. Uh, on our Hellion, we do have uh, Heaven's Hairpin, which gives her plus 10 accuracy and extra uh, stress reduction. And both of those do work in the Crimson Court. No, we looked it up, Pwned. We looked it up. It's pronounced both ways. We've we've looked up on stream all the pronunciations of everything in the Crimson Court. And that one is also pronounced Chevalier. Because I used to call the Viscount the Viscount. Because I had only ever read the name. But we looked him up. It was a whole big ordeal one night. Like a year ago. Less than a year ago. Um, I don't know if I need all that extra accuracy. Just the five will probably be fine. Let's do Focus Ring and Surgical Glove. Now the problem is, she's going to probably end up with the, the curse. And she's going to have her health reduced to, what, 37? Shav it's Chevy. We started calling them Chevys that night. Even after looking up the pronunciations, some people were still not happy with it. So we started calling them Chevys. Dragon, how you doing, Dragon? in the Dark Dungeon universe taste. Uh, the only ones I know about is the pigs and the fish. Our Chevy community. Lantern, Lantern, thank you for the follow. So I'm either going to take Camo Cloak, Barristan's, or Sun Cloak on our Jester. For a Houndmaster, I usually take Camo Cloak. You own a Chevy? Dead, apparently. British versus American, yeah. Or uh, French versus American. Something like that. Uh, I think I'm going to go full dodge on him. Man, he just won't be able... He will get stunned every time is the only problem. Which the past, none of which are still running. Camo Cloak. Sun Cloak. He's wearing two cloaks. Pronounce Colonel as colon L for years. Yeah, I mean, I, I deal I deal with having to be gra grammar Nazi ish in in my normal work, but when it comes to like chat and things like that, if you or hearing someone, if you get something wrong, it doesn't matter at all to me as long as I know what you mean. Another thing, uh, and I, I don't mind being corrected on things, but uh, no shame about mispronouncing. Usually, when you mispronounce something, it's because you learned it through reading, right? And there's no shame in that. I really don't know what I want to put on him. I'm leaning towards Barristan's head. If we put Barristan's head on him, we pretty much don't have to worry about uh, them dying. Do you neglect? Years gone, I've just stopped caring about be proper. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no. The only reason I, like, replied is because we we did... There was a big thing about it. We did it on stream. Because I didn't know either. And that's when I uh, started pronouncing the Viscount correctly. All right. Bearson's head it is. This is pretty important because we're going to be in this dungeon a very long time. And we're only doing one invite. Hey, Mendez. How's it going? 
It's a word you butchered the pronunciation of You're in high school. Sound like yeah, that's true too. It's posthumous, right? Instead of posthumous. Uh, Sacred Scroll, Junior's Head, Overture, Barristans. Same way, same thing for me. Facade, facade. What about fox and foe? So many, so many. What a whore's divorce was. <laughs> well, that's what you call it when a prostitute gets divorced. Where I'm from. <laughs> no, no one. Didn't. Anyway. Double cloak, camo cloak, sun cloak. Rendezvous. Rendezvous. Hollow Knight? Yeah. Hollow Knight is an awesome game. Fox Leather? Earlier this week? <laughs> Alright, I think we're as prepared as we can be. No more beating around the bush. No, I told you, I don't mind at all. Do it. Let's do it. Uh, so for anyone that doesn't know about the courtyard, so to go to the Baron, it takes one invite, one Baron invite, uh, but it's a different kind of dungeon than the rest of the game. So the prog it's a huge dungeon, but your progress is saved unlike elsewhere. So you go as far as you can go, and then you can retreat, and you don't get stressed from retreating, and you can go back in and start from the exact spot you left off as long as you have another invite. We are going to try to do the whole thing in one invite. Bad clipping skills. Are gold or heirlooms worth more? It depends. It depends on what you need to upgrade at that point in the game. I can talk a little bit more about that if you remind me while we're in the dungeon. Hey, Strike. Welcome in. How you doing, Strike? You, my friend, are rated E for excellent. Chair a year. <laughs> Guys, please drop some love and sandwiches in chat. You will join us for Jer, or die. For Tri Paladin. Chair tier two, the, the Carbonite Sub Club. Uh, who's wasting? Let's go use the cure on them, actually. Thank you, Jer, for the 12 months, an entire year, tier 2. Appreciate it. Wasting, there we go. Wait, can I use it on them in town? I don't, I can't. I can't. No, yeah, I remember how that works now. Mod pay? Yeah, double your pay rakes. <coughs> thank you, Jer, and Tribe Helen, thank you for the, um... The Cubics Rube gift sub. Thank you, Paladin. <coughs> Wait, what did it say about still embarking? Oh, yeah, invite. All right. Double pay. Yeah, no problem, Rick. Don't tell the other mods. Still got nothing. <laughs> Okay, we got all the food. So we're not here for, um, not here for loot. Uh, is that goal? Oh, I didn't check. Let me look. Nope, not yet. Eight of ten. Eight of ten. Close. Food, we got shovels. Uh, I got some starting blood. I think we're good. All right, we got upgrades, we got trinkets, skills, camping, upgrades, trinkets, skills, camping, upgrades, trinkets, skills, camping, upgrades. You can camp here, believe it or not. I'll show that too. Trinkets. Camping. Alright, guys. This is a very long dungeon. It is a massive dungeon. I'm going to use the restroom really quick before we get started. Because this might take a couple hours to do. Uh, I think we have everything though. We got all the food. We got a stack of shovels, which should be enough. We should find a couple when we're in there. Two time mirror, no chicken champ right here. 
yeah, I think we're good. All right, back guys. Uh, well, this loads in the Baron, the Baron. Oh, I was looking at uh, VODs today. Uh, the last time we fought the Baron was almost two months ago. Run four, Baron was almost two months ago. All right, be right back. Two months, yeah, can you believe it? Can you believe it? Chair is stoic gaze. The green screen is faintly visible. Is it really right now? Oh. <laughs> I forgot to turn one of the lights on. The green screen lights. There we go. It should be good now. Uh, clean bladder. Your in drops in the jeans. You're ready to roll. Thank you, Phoenix. Crime Lord's molars? I don't really use it. I mean... I don't know. I'll, there's not a ton of the Crimson uh, Court Trinkets that I use. Um, it's okay. I don't really use it. Alright, let's do this. Uh, there was a couple questions that I said I would talk about while we're in here. I don't remember what they were, so... If you want to... Say them again. My epidermis! No, no, there's more of it! Hey, Chibuddy. Chibuddy G, how you doing? Welcome in. Aliens is gold, thank you. So it depends. It depends on what you uh, need back in the dungeon. So, um, basically, how I look at it is if I'm not going to be doing the next tier of dungeon for a while, I generally um, will get gold over heirlooms, especially because of the bank and I get interest off the bank. Uh, but basically, as long as you have the heirlooms that you are you are upgraded for the current level of gear, uh, generally bringing gold in is is better. Just a rough kind of idea, but uh, I just I basically look at what we're going to be doing soon, and then try to see what we need in town. Whether that is actually doing the upgrades themselves, buying trinkets, or if we need to upgrade like the blacksmith and guild. So. Not a great answer, maybe, but honestly, it just depends. Like in the beginning of the game, I will usually uh, prioritize heirlooms until we get um, the blacksmith in the guild to level two for weapons, armor, and skill upgrades. And then, there's Crimson Curse already. And then after that, I'll prioritize gold for a while. And then when we start getting to the point where it's getting close to time to do veteran dungeons, I'll start doing uh, prioritizing portraits and deeds again in order to get the, uh, the upgrades for those or for veteran dungeons. So it kind of goes back and forth, depending on what you need. Basically. As the fiend falls, I'm just getting a skeleton hidden deep inside. Shieldbreaker is so good for the croc. The problem with Shieldbreaker on the croc is that she has low health, right? And the croc can hit really hard. So, I mean, she does have the block, but if she's blocking, you're not doing damage. You can probably put her block up, I guess, when he submerges. You get four of those. She's fine for it. I prefer the Hellion over the Shieldbreaker in most scenarios, including the croc, but she's fine for it. It's not like she's bad. On it, she's better than a lot of heroes for it, but I prefer the Hellion on it. I didn't boon, by the way. We're not here for loot. At least not here for loot. We're here to kill the Baron in one invite. Traps really suck here. Uh, they deal damage, and they have a chance to uh, spawn a battle. Torches here give you an accuracy buff for your next battle. Now this map is enormous. It is huge. But there's a lot of dead ends. There's a lot of places you don't have to go. Uh, if you're going through blindly and you are going completely blindly and not going to use a map. Wow. In his bloodlust, he hugged his puppy. Let's go ahead and buff. God. Denied the buff. So if you're not going to use a map, you might stumble around for a very long time. That's how I did it the first time. And it took forever. It took like three or four times to go in here. But I've done this place now like, I don't know, 12 times or something. So, at this point, 
basically I know the layout of the dungeon and we can just go straight to the Baron. Even knowing the exact layout, this is still going to take us probably a couple hours. You take the second, the second way down. That's the first thing you do. Uh, we'll do some damage. <clears throat> you can actually skip the first key too, unless you want to go to the secret, secret area. Turning the blue key. It just depends. <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know if I want to do all keys or not. But yeah, that's what I was gonna mention. You don't have to take one of them. Blue yellow key, and you pick a direction, and you pick the opposite that direction, because you're always wrong. Um, Death waits. I think you go down first, right? Do you go down first? <clears throat> Got a crit plus the curse. Would you tweeting this stream? What happens if you're, you as a character? Are you expecting to be able to first try this? Well, this is our 20th attempt. Uh, so, Turkles, if we lose a character at any point, for any reason, at any point in the game, whether it's on the old road or the final dungeon, we start over. Now, first off, Turkles, thank you for coming into the stream, I appreciate it. But, uh, we have done this challenge before, minus all bosses. And it took 31 attempts and almost 3 months to do. So we absolutely won't do it on the first attempt. Uh, I mean, we already have failed that. We're on attempt 20. On this exact one. So we did Torchless Deathless Blood Moon before, but it wasn't all bosses. It was an any percent version, so to say. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious. First right key. Yeah, I guess you don't need the first one. Um, because the first one only unlocks the gate here, like right here. Die to thirst. Uh, I should have already used that. That was my bad. Masochism? Yep. You have to be a little bit masochistic to stream almost 2,000 hours of Darkest Dungeon, right? Uh, I am going to use... I'm going to save one of these for the, for the croc. I might save them both, actually. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, so I like killing Cortezon first because she's going to buff everyone else. And... That's a good thing to do. She'll bleed out next round, unless she does the thirst, yeah. I say that all the time. A lot of people do. <laughs> hey, Troy, welcome in. How you doing, Troy? Good crit from Fluffkins. Good dodge. Oh, that was a 92% chance to hit. 92 isn't 100. Boy, don't we know that one. Uh, we might as well get rid of some stress. We don't need the buff. Even though we're not super stressed, we might as well get rid of it anytime we can for free. Always do that. Bottom right, Crimson Court, Trinket Room. Yeah, I know, but why not just get the second key? Community grows. I don't know. I'll 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 think about it. Turkles, Turkles, leave her the follow. Croc always builds a ton of stress. Eh, I don't know. It can, yeah. It just, I mean, it, it's a very, it's another one of those really heavy RNG fights, right? Because if Apex Predator hits three people over and over, especially if it crits over and over, the Croc can just flat out kill you. If he teeth rakes the Vestal to position one over and over, you're just, you're just screwed. But we have definitely had Croc fights that went super, super easy. Back from the Dark Dungeons and then approaching the town, someone comes running to you. Tell you someone choked to death on a chicken bone in the tavern. Run ruins. <laughs> Bring finale on the Jester. Um, I didn't for this. Sometimes I'll bring it for the Baron. I ended up not doing it this time, though. For the Baron and the Croc. My should have. The Croc, yeah. The Croc is one of those fights where it usually either goes really well or it destroys you. There's no in-between, hardly. <laughs> I'm glad that can't happen, Larkin. Alright, so use a torch on the mist. Blockage. 
Judas Head and Sacred Scroll. It's my combo. I mean, it's the combo I use on her. So you go down at the... F so this is a dead end. This is a dead end. This eventually is a very long group of dead ends. So you go down Our first. Community grows. Jiang Shi. Jiang Shi, thank you for the follow. Hopefully I'm not butchering your name. But I appreciate it. I don't know if I'll get this first red key. I mean... Hmm. I'm gonna buff. So... Surprisingly, the large corpse eater is actually one of the most deadly uh, <laughs> fights in uh, in here, even though it's not really a Crimson Court mob. The, the large corpse eater can crit anyone to death's door if they're marked. If you don't have stacked protection. Is it you must pay royalties? Uh, it's right. Okay. Uh, I'm going to buff again. This gives us speed, accuracy, and crit. I'm going to try to stun here so it doesn't get a mark on anyone. Got it. Crit. We'll stun it every single round we can. It shouldn't be able to kill us by itself. The The problem is, like, if it crits us to death's door, we'll have death's door recovery for the entire rest of this dungeon. It's a long dungeon. Done, yay. Got him. Didn't even get to attack. Didn't get to do damage. Good, good. Alright, he's back normal. No longer bloodlusting, so we don't have his 20% additional uh, damage, but also he's not going to act afflicted anymore. So, you can use a torch on that. We're not going to. Don't need to. Don't need to. Oh, we actually got a real scout. None of those fake scouts. Wait, it's down and over, right? My, where you can kill the cosmic emptiness things. And the reeds. Cattails. Uh, Double Chevalier is scary. We did get the uh, surprise on them though. I'm going to stun one of them. Or am I? I think I'm actually just going to go for the kill on the back one. But what if our Vestal doesn't get the stun here? Nah, we'll stun. Masochistic. Irrational. We'll try to kill the back one. It's un unlikely unless she gets a massive crit. Double dagger to make a positive. Oh, she's going to be bloodlusting for this attack, which is actually pretty good. A nine. She rolled low end and didn't crit. All right, here comes the big one. Oh, <laughs> the double dodge. Take it. <clears throat> Guy on the stream. Hey, Doc. How's it going? Doc, I was using your character like last night and I thought about you. How you been, Doc? How have things been going? <clears throat> Excuse me. Crit. One down. <clears throat> All these are basically not stunnable this round. Just buff our speed, accuracy, and crit. And we'll heal while we can. I should have probably checked and seen if Judgment was a guaranteed hit. I also went to a home on Tuesday and gotcha. How's your wife wife doing about it? Kind of bittersweet for her, especially. Add about it being butchered. Things are tricky. Gotcha. Uh well, if you want if you know how to like type it phonetically, I'll try to get it right in the future. But no worries. Thank you again for being here and for the follow. Jing um, again, we're going to stun this any chance we can. We just can't afford for it to crit us, you know. Uh, we have our buffs well enough, so I'm going to start stress healing. We're not super stressed, but anytime we can get rid of stress for free, we do it. Okay. Yeah. Sorry that had to happen, but I know it's been... It's one of those tough things, right, where it's it's a burden, but a lot of times it's hard to say it's a burden because, you know, it's family sort of thing. Of course, you're married into it, but you know what I mean. 
We've talked about it. You know what I mean. But in that, it's just getting better. Lost because your life has been all about looking after other people for so long. Well yeah. Doc. Uh, hopefully it's for the better for everyone. Like you said, you know. That was a lot quicker though, huh? Well, I mean, you did say it was going to be months instead of years. But that was quicker than I thought you were going to have it. But anyway... Hopefully it's better for everyone in the long run. You know, I'm sure um, them being with professionals, she should be a, 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 be taken care of more closely. Less of a danger to herself and stuff. And then you guys can actually have your own lives again. But sorry, Doc, that had to come to that, obviously. But not fun. We're all happy. It's a good situation, yeah. Well, it's good to see you, Doc. Good to see you. Not to bring all that stuff up, I mean, unless you want to talk about it. You know the whole deal. You've been here long enough. If you want to talk about it, by all means. If you don't and you want to just be distracted and chill, that's cool too. But always good to see a duck. Good crit. A death by inches. Yeah, okay. I'm going the right way. Do I want to get this key? Do you want to get this key for the extra Crimson Court trinket? He will join us or die, Master. Doc. Doc. Thank you for the gift sub. To strike. Doc. Thank you. I appreciate it. Love and sandwiches to Doc Xavier. Strike. Welcome to the sub club. No more ads for you. Plus, you get to use all these love and sandwich emotes and gasms and hypes. Anywhere on Twitch. Much love. Must say, much sandwich to Doc. Um, that's dead end, right? The key is down here. Yeah, and this goes up and splits behind the door. The door is here. Croc, triple chevalier. Yep. Kindness merits, right? Of kindness in return. Hate this fight. Hate this fight. Much sandwich. It's, uh, Jiang Shi. Chinese for Hopping Vampire. Jiang Shi. Thank you. Basically arguing about facts. It's RBK. Sometimes it's hard not to get dragged in, but you know what they say about arguing on the internet or in general. There are no winners. <laughs> keep it, keep it short. Um, yeah, we'll just take this out. Thing is, this can't cause stress outside of a crit, but it could stun us and ruin our lives. We're gonna try to keep the ghoul stunned as much as we can. It's a loser here. Sorry, BK. An XKCD link, huh? What is that, Himmel? How tight are you for weeks on this run? How many retreats can you afford? So if we do everything perfectly, uh, you finish on about week 88. So, and that's doing long dungeons every time they're up, and medium dungeons if you can't do long dungeons, um, and doing, you know, all the bosses as soon as you can sort of thing. Um... So it's not super tight, right? But you don't have a lot of leeway. So we will probably finish in the low 90s if we... Or when, when we finish this fighting on the internet. <laughs> so roll bottom end. This one on the internet is wrong. I think I've seen it. Saw it at Virgin Bowling. We were pretty lucky. <laughs> I mean, not tonight as a whole, but in the Crimson Court, we've been pretty lucky so far. It helps that we're keeping things stunned a lot. So yeah, Turgle's not super tight, but... But we try to uh, do long dungeons when we can to help give us a little bit of leeway. Hmm... I don't want to kill him too fast, so I'm going to do this. So this is going to bleed out before he gets to do an attack. 
That will allow us to get like two stress seals in probably. Same arms and legs, completely stiff. Their knees are elbows. They hop everywhere. <laughs> nah, she's gonna have to. No, well, maybe no, no. She's gonna kill. <clears throat> oh well, we got one extra stress seal in. I guess they just hop with their feet and toes. I don't know. And let's see. Let's get May from Overwatch. Is she the one that uh, has made the ice one? Inconvenient. Told you guys about that fat vampire story, right? There's a uh, there's a series of books. I think it's called Fat Vampire. And in that universe, however you are when you get turned into an immortal, when you get turned into a vampire, uh, we need to, well, disease isn't a really big deal on this team, but however you, you, you're, you are when you get turned into a vampire, including your ailments and everything and how you look and your size and everything, those stay forever. So you're not cured of all that. So Fat Vampire is about this vampire who is late, or this guy who's lazy and obese and has asthma and things. And he gets turned into a vampire. So you know how like vampires are super fast and stuff? Not this guy. Not this guy. Let's link about it. Uh, isn't there a character based off the hopping vampire in Darkstalkers? I don't know. Another how you doing, Padapon? Welcome in. Courtney's. Good morning. How you doing, Courtney's? The mummy walk. Hop instead of a trudge. Stating it was your own fault for getting involved and opposed requires research, reading the actual laws. For better now. <laughs> um, I'm gonna stress you. Today I learned. I was today years old. No crit on Skull Toss again. I mean, I completed. She didn't get stunned either. We stun it now. <laughs> Everything's coming up Millhouse. Should they marry spin your mortal life's constantly wasting time, no consequence? Ah, the the dream. Hey, that's not a bad immortality. Don't say so myself. So what T I L stands for today? Today I learned T I L. Just a lot of random stuff like Mr. Vampire films. It's dead. Get a heal in first. Shows. Monsters. And all that. Yeah, imagine all the games you could play. Merit, unless inordinate yeah. I could stream 24 hours. As long as I had some blood nearby. Uh, Keys down here. You just learned. Today I learned TIO. I think it's more inter or threatening the Miller or the Sleeper. In this place. I think the Sleeper over... I mean, I don't know. I don't think either of them are super bad. But the thing about the Sleeper is that it's a lot... I mean, it hits really hard AoE over and over. And it, it goes two actions, right? The thing about the Miller is you can kind of keep him from uh, using Double Reap. As long as you make it so he doesn't have, or he has like an open slot to summon or to cast something on one of his allies, he usually doesn't use double reap. So you get a breather where you can heal people back up. It's also less stress overall. I mean, they both have a, a similar danger to them, but yeah, I mean, I think this, the sleeper is more likely to kill you than the... It depends on your team too, though. Let's go ahead and buff speed accuracy crit. This is a very high stress team. Like, if you have a shield breaker, the Miller is like. Oftentimes, Miller is super easy. Shield breaker. Let's see if we can stun this. Getting excited over something that can't happen. Oh, good dodges. Go to play every significant video game. Yeah. Read all the books. God, it would be amazing. Interested in the occult mythical creatures? Uh. Jing Shi just happens to be your favorite. Gotcha. Yeah, I, I like that kind of stuff too. Mythical creatures or even like uh, cryptids. 
cryptids are pretty interesting. I mean, I guess that can be considered the same thing. The difference, I suppose, is that cryptids, some of them are argued that they might still exist or might exist in general. Cryptids are a lot of fun, yeah. We'll get crit. Hey, Lovey, welcome in. How you doing, Lovey? Donations would be blood donations, Paladin? <laughs> Crimson Court end it? I don't think it. I mean, there's a chance, right? But you can't make the zero light, so. Hey, Don, how you doing? Welcome back. Actually, young, get excited. Don't want to end up like the knight when you have Jones. Eh, that's true. Nine's not bad. Is this. Um, I think I'm going to go into stress healing now that we got a buff or two. Cryptids are, and cryptozoology is basically creatures that are argued might exist or might still exist or once existed, but there's no proof, uh, conclusive scientific proof at the moment. So Bigfoot, Loch Ness Monster, stuff like that. Never see. It's legal. Have the Warriors game. What'd you miss? Um... Not too much. I mean, we killed... Let's see. We killed the Fanatic. I'm going to guard here just in case. We killed the Fanatic. We killed the Flesh. Now we're on for the to the Baron. Welcome back, Mayor. Happy birthday again. Jersey Devil. Mothman, yeah. Uh, 95%, so we'll do this. Crit. Dead. Wait. Does it possibly exist? Does it really wishes? Yeah. I didn't know if you heard me earlier, so I decided to do it again. Dodges. Decimated. Great crit. You can do doll on Steam. A new doll? What do you mean? Good stun. Confluence of skill and purpose. He will join us or die, Master. Doc! Thank you for gifting Mayher a subscription to the stream. I believe that's goal! Or were we already at goal? Guys, we'll do a Steam Key giveaway after this dungeon. So stick around, you don't have to be a subscriber. As long as you're a follower, uh, you can enter to win a Steam Key. Up to $60 Steam Key. Doc, thank you for the gift sub. More love, more sandwiches to Doc. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna take this. Mayor, no more ads for you at this channel. No more ads, and uh, you can now use the emotes everywhere on Twitch. So uh, more than one doll. But on Steam, what do you mean by doll on Steam? To the good luck pig. Oh, they're still here. Um, my wife just hasn't been feeling very well, so she hasn't been coming in. We get, we need to get more blood. Holy crap! Hey, Nindo, welcome in. We already used all our blood. Just the time. Not yet. After this. Need more blood. Need more blood. Big time. Big time. It's almost croc time, huh? Almost croc time. Um. I think we're okay. Is this the one that connects up, or do, do I need to go that way? Oh, crap. That's the key. Oh. I just forgot this area really quick. I think... Yeah. Okay. I think we're right. Oh, no. He's craving. We don't have blood. We took all the blood we had, too. What can you use on this? Why can't I remember? Why can't I remember what you use on this? Does anyone else remember? Strange bones. Is it holy water? There's something negative, and there's a... Is it holy water? That's what I was thinking. It's been a couple months since we've been here. I remember the map, though, but I can't remember this. 
It's bandaged for this. Glittering gold. Thank you. Trinkets and baubles. Paid for in Bandage, blood. thank you. And then it's er it's blood on these, but we don't have any blood. It's herbs on the dinner cart. It's shovels on the wine crate. How you doing, fiddles? 64 hours. Thank you, fiddles. Croc time. Up ahead. Bandages, thank you. No worries, Phoenix. That's what I, I couldn't remember either. Please give us blood. Please give us blood. Been very interested in Dark Dungeon for quite a while. I saw it on sale. Looking forward to learning more about it via streams. Well, if you have any questions, um, Jiang, let me know. I've streamed it for almost 2,000 hours. We, we do crazy challenges here on the channel. Um, yeah, if you have any questions at all about the game, by all means, let me know. Hey there, killer. <laughs> I do North. Coming to punch some things tonight. Stress you. We don't need the buff against her. We gotta really hope they drop blood. <laughs> Heal, this isn't stunnable. No punch class, Dark's Dungeon. Man at arms with his shield. Well, oh, there's an uppercut. Bounty hunter. There you go. Good crit. She marked him. What's she thinking? Bounty hunter is a thing. Good dodge. It's back every night. It brings you great joy. <laughs> Thank you, Mayor. Man, oh man. Uh, we don't need to heal. Let's go ahead and try to stun her. Missed that. I probably should have stress healed her. Our Hellion's more likely to crit stress off herself. No bounty tonight, no. No bounty tonight. Uh, we're going to do this Baron, <coughs> Baron dungeon. Excuse me. And then... When we're done with that... Depending on how late it is, either we'll do another dungeon or we'll switch over to RimWorld for a little bit. Well, it's seeing for you. Where am I on the challenge? We're on like week 62. <clears throat> and this is our last veteran thing. And we've also killed a couple of champion bosses. So we're we're pretty far into it. I would say we're like 70% through the challenge on this run. No blood. Come on. I'd hate to have to abandon this dungeon because we don't have blood. Should have brought those curse or cures, I guess. Hopefully, he doesn't refuse to do stuff on this fight. Slay the Spire. Yeah, I streamed it a, uh, a little bit. It's been a while since I streamed it, but yeah, I, I really like Slay the Spire too, Alex. Welcome back, Alex. It's Wolf. No, Wolf hasn't showed up. The Croc. Unnatural. So, again, the Croc can be like very easy fight or completely destroy you fight. One of the major things that determines how hard this fight is, is how many people he hits with um, uh, with Apex Predator. Ooh, quad dodge. How many people he hits with Apex Predator? So he can hit a single target, he can hit three targets. So if he chooses a single target every time, we're in really good shape. Uh, the other thing is Teeth Rake. That's the other thing that's really scary. We'll use a dog treat. Teeth Rake is a hard hitting move. But aside from it just being a hard-hitting move, I'm going to try to stun him, actually, every chance we can. Aside from it just being a hard-hitting move, it pulls forward and it bleeds. So, and he tends to use it on your back line. So, he'll end up um, hitting the Vestal with a strong attack plus bleed. I mean, there's some merit, probably, in just guarding her. So that doesn't happen. Hmm. Blood did you bring in? We only had six to bring, I think. Not enough, though. I might just guard her. He's not stunnable. You know what? I'm going to do that. Just in case he uses Teeth Rake. Iron Jesus blesses me. Yeah, we need blood badly. Okay. 
Okay. Two dodges. Pretty good overall. Um, he is stunnable again, so we'll go into doing that, I think. I don't know. I might just guard tinker still. T3 is like the real thing that can screw this up. Submerge. We're going to look for an Apex Predator, most likely. We'll buff again. Speed actually crit. Come on, Croc. Hey, careful. I'm going to kill you in Rimworlds. Hey, we heal, get his talk back up. Let's see what happens. Apex. One person. Who has 84 dodge. <laughs> Come on, Adam. <laughs> there we go. That's better. Stun him. Buff again. Good crit. Really good shape. Almost got him to half. Oh! Dodge! Stop again. Cheer me for dodging. Thank you. Welcome back. Hey, noob! Past loyalty is greatly appreciated. Crunch, no, no, no. Just came by to share my resub. Now I should go. Peace out, guys. Noob, thank you for the 10 months, man. 10 months, almost a year. It's crazy. Noob, thank you for continuing to use the Twitch Prime here. It financially supports me, stream, my family. Appreciate you, noob. Thank you for stopping in. Have a good night. This is run number 20. Good. Make a dinner now. See the run coming along. Let's go, Croc. Move the queue. Man, last night was scary enough, you know? Last night was scary enough. We can we can deal with a night that's okay. We almost lost twice last night. Soothed. Sedated. It's easy. Going to bleeding a little bit. Every other round. Crit and always dodge. Always crit, always dodge. It's a strategy. We're not getting very many crits with her right now. Such a terrible there it is. Okay, she didn't get... We used a Holy Water, so she didn't get the bleed. And she didn't go all the way to position one. So, we're alright. We're alright. Is that answer on Lurk? Starts with the Xbox One. Just played that pretty much all night. Oh, no worries. Yeah, last night was scary. Last night was scary. Just buff again. Two think only pulls two, yep. Ooh, triple apex. No crits, though, thank God. He will join us or die, Master. Count me out. Okay, I think you really give sub to Phoenix. Thank you, count me out. Much love, much sandwich. Count me out. Phoenix, you get back in here. <laughs> thank you, count me out. Percent no one bleeding. Yeah, I mean, I've been using holy waters, which is... I kind of didn't want to use holy waters. I want to save them. But, uh... It's pretty good. Oh, pretty good place. Okay, subs. Members of the sub club. Aside from that, no other no other specific name. Much sandwich. Yeah, things can count me out. Another resist. Just die. Uh I'm actually gonna stress heal her one. Did Mark work for this boss? Dark Dungeon for okay, high speed. Are you asking if Mark's teams are good against the Croc, Lovey? Is that what you're asking? 
Natural is great early game, and then it falls off hard. Like, natural is incredible early game, we don't have trinkets. But after that, yeah, it's kind of pointless. Marks is okay against this team. He has two act. Well, here's the thing. He has two actions per round, right? So marks do fall off a little bit faster. And the other problem is that he submerges and has uh, a lot of dodge when he submerged. So a lot of times when he submerged, you don't end up being able to take advantage uh, of that mark anyway. So, I mean, marks aren't... They're not the worst thing against this boss, but they're also not super great. They're okay. I think bleed is better on him. Bleed and accuracy. Dodge tanking with a how master works. Hey, look at that. It's a very good croc fight. Blood, blood, blood. GG! As victories mount, <sighs> will resistance. I'll know about dodge. Shameful lock is actually pretty decent. Salacious diary. <laughs> Chicken burger on banana bread. <sighs> Glad you enjoyed it, Rakes. <laughs> Her dodge was bad. There's no way to buy blood. Yeah, I mean, there's the sing Sanguine Vintner, but it only gives you two. Chitin and the Rat? I don't know. Like, maybe I should have brought the Rat or something. Dodge is great for the last run. Oh, you said it's not good. Oh, it's not good. My bad. For some reason, I completely read the knot as it was. Okay, the next fight is Triple Chevalier, which can be deadlier than the Croc if you get unlucky. He's still only craving at the moment. Ah, uh, wasting already. <clears throat> Man. It's unfortunate. So he has about 60 rounds till he just dies. What are the stages? This, uh, so there's the baseline, there's craving, and there's wasting. If they don't get blood at wasting, they die in like 60 rounds or something like that. <clears throat> uh, if you use blood on wasting, they'll go back to baseline. Yeah, so basically if you if you don't get blood to him, it'll eventually just die. Throw down a jute tapestry. Uh, I can leave the dungeon and we have cure at home, but <clears throat> it really sucked to lose the week. <clears throat> Is abandoning a quest? No, it's not considered failing. As long as no one's up in the graveyard. Triple Chevalier. Basically, we have to get blood either from this fight or the next one, or we have to leave. Dodge accuracy crit. It's really unfortunate. They're not too far off, you remember. Yeah, it's gonna cut it really close. Like, we could lose the whole run. We need more coffee? <laughs> Alrighty, Phoenix. Dodges. Sucks is going so well, minus that blood. Have I lost a hero? Yes, I have on stream. Chitin, as Kaz mentioned, died from it. So before they die, wasting? No, I don't think so. I don't think so. Problem is, well, we actually don't need Ginger for the Darkest Dungeons either. Good crit. Phoenix does both. Hey, k -Pack, how's it going? Welcome in, k -Pack. Ah. <sighs> 
Oh, I saw that there was a rumor for a new Left 4 Dead game. Did you see that count me out? <clears throat> Is that what you guys are talking about? Oh, no. We're talking about World Z. But uh, there's a rumor that there's a <clears throat> Left 4 Dead 3 that's coming. I wonder who in chat will play that. Do you love it? That's the rumor. Who knows? Guacamelee, really? Seven years now, no the official. Hmm. We have to leave if we don't get blood here. Oh, goodness gracious, please give us blood. The problem is we have like 15 people cursed back home because we were trying to bait out the fanatic, which we ended up doing. But now that's going to mean a lot of blood's needed back in town if we don't do this this week. We lose a week, which is the worst thing, but... Yeah, Jester MVP. And then there's Craving again. Can dismiss them? Yeah, but it's like over it's like half our roster or more. So I'm not gonna dismiss that MIDI. I mean I guess I could if it would save the run, but I'm scared. I'm scared. Don't hit them, please. Thanks. Slightly tired already, though. Uh, I'm really far from the Baron. We can't make it to the Baron with a wasting. Super far from the Baron. What does the curse do? It has different levels. So the baseline curse makes it so they need blood um, eventually. But it gives them some buffs and debuffs. So they, with the baseline, they get um, minus stun resist, minus blight resist, minus bleed resist, minus maximum health. But they get plus one speed. Now when they're craving blood, the debuffs intensify. They get an extra speed. And if you give them blood, they'll go to bloodlusted. And bloodlusted actually gives them extra damage, um, extra stun resist, and extra speed. But if hey, if they go to Cletus. hey Cletus, anybody wants some cold. If they go to wasting and you don't give them blood, they'll eventually die. No blood. Wow, that really sucks. When did he start wasting? He started wasting before the croc fight. Yeah, we gotta go. We gotta go. I should have thrown down the jute. Ten tiles ago, yeah, but all the rounds from the the two fights too. Shaping up in two, if I'll see how they can do a continuation to the story. Well, I don't know. It's all uh, it, it's it's a cycle, right? So I don't know. I don't know if it'll be a prequel or a Deering Witch or the cycle has been broken, but something new comes. He wasn't wasting Croc was before. Okay. That fight was what? Five rounds or something? Six rounds? I think we just have to leave. We can't end the run on it. Three or four tiles into the hallway. And they go for 60. So let's say let's just say he was wasting the whole hallway. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Waste one feet on others, no. You know, gallows, how you do it on site? 
No, it's not the not ending the run to push it. If I leave, we might have the run end because we don't have any blood back home, but we have like 20 heroes that have the curse. So it might end the run to leave. Like we can't come back either. We we have to get blood. Twenty one plus, doesn't it kill you at turn sixty or sixty one? Sixty one. Call for blood delivery. I wish. Just missed all the wasters. No, no vintners yet. Blood Uber. Last fight. We get we gotta get through this fast. Rick, we go hunt frozen waste for the entrance to the Dark's Dungeon. Start all this. Well, I mean, this one tells you the the origin of the the evil, and it wasn't in a mountain. It was under the manor, but. Hold secret to kill the creature. Dead husk on the earth. Yeah, maybe. Or like I said, maybe we break the cycle this time, and that's a continuation. But it says we're gonna see what the rest of the world or how the rest of the world's tainted, so I don't know. Guess only Red Hook knows. Does my secret secret not sleep? Just be tired all the time. Don't More perform at your optim optimal single strike. I don't know. It's not fun not to get enough sleep. It's not like I want I want to not sleep. Cocaine? <laughs> no. <laughs> Break the cycle, kill the reapers, check. Just to make enough. Knowing Thanks, Phoenix. True. The birthplace of dread. I mean, how do you know prices? Great. We're still on round one. Being realistic. I mean, different place. It's just fine. To keep the cycle. Some dude. Dark ruins. We'll find out, I suppose. Please drop blood. Please, please, please drop blood. Keep you on a budget. <laughs> oh, Lord. On prices, people does it seem to be upper middle class types? Makes sense. Blah blah blah. I know what that's from. Oh, why she pass her turn? God, those are terrifying. Where is all the blood? There's a fountain of it right there. Low and driven into the mud. That's it, guys. That's it. Just lap that up. Lap it up. Man, this is the first time I haven't one-shot the Baron in, like, the last ten times I've killed the Baron. It's unfortunate. Ignorance of your enemy? And of yourself <sighs> will invariably lead to defeat. Keep going? No, absolutely not. We dug for months, years. It's unfortunate, eternity. big time. And we were rewarded. Big time. How many uh how many people do we have that are wasting? Let's go look. Two. And we have no blood. We have two cures. Who are the two wasting people? Do we have a rat still? We do. One's right here. Who's the other that's wasting? I might actually have to go here. I 
quite bloody enough. What they're wasting is. We have to go through the list. All of this is because I wanted to spawn a fanatic. It's senior low. Another level five. Terrible into the run, yeah. It would have. So what we can do is we can drop Hmm. We can drop our Hellion. We can bring Senor Low. And we... Oh, what? I don't know, actually. That's really risky, too. Do you have Wasting the Party? That's a good question. Yeah, yeah, I'm just... I'm just... No, it is three. So who's the other wasting? We got... Uh, we're going to be really careful here. We got Ginger, who's wasting at level four. We have... Uh, Senior Low, who's level five. And who's the other one? Wasting. We can dismiss Kaz. We don't need her for anything. Give the other one the rat. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking. Poor Kaz. Uh, we can we can transform her to a different character. Kaz, you're becoming someone else, someone better. What were you on? Sixty-two, I believe. Sixty-two or sixty-three. I'll double check. How are you doing, Celica? Welcome in. I'll double check. No, not rename, remove. Remove. Suffer not the lame horse. Who's the vintner? I'm gonna check that to you, thank you. Yeah, I need to remember that. Do I play Don't Starve? I played it a little bit on stream. Maybe like three streams of it. Played blinding. How did I manage to get this much? This is nothing. <laughs> Blood Moon has double the gold cost, right? So we need 1.5 million gold throughout this run. Uh, the different ways I got it. One, Zero Light gives more gold. Two, we had the bank since week 10, which is the earliest you can get it. And three, I try to get rid of, of as much stuff in the dungeon as I can as far as like stress and negative quirks and things. Sell any trinkets we're not going to use. Alright. So I think I'm going to have to go get blood. Hopefully we come out with a lot and then we can go back. Cheat engine? No, I did not. Uh, all this has been on the stream. Craving. Craving. Ah, uh, man. Man, oh man. It's like Irish. Alfarm said, no, we still need to do the sleeper. But that shouldn't be a big deal. Shouldn't be too big of a deal. Do the giveaway. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Thank you. Last dungeon resets. Otherwise, you might enter the dungeon. Guy from the last dungeon, die. Five steps. No, I'm going to take the cure so that doesn't happen. But, yeah. Cheat. Game Shark, Fat Hacks, they call him. <laughs> I wish. After I get this team ready, we'll do the giveaway. Um, I don't know about taking Hoopa, because we're going to have to upgrade his... Uh, we're going to have to upgrade all, all this. Oh, oh, there was a bunch of golds. Yeah. 
Ecobania. Tough, deadly. <sighs> yeah, I think it's Rafa. <laughs> All right, so we'll take the cure for Sinulo, and uh, our person that's wasting in town, we need to give them the rat. That was Ginger. So unequip all trinkets. Equip Ginger with the rat carcass. Immune to death by the Crimson Curse. Uh, don't waste all your money. Minor removes level restrictions in dungeons. You can just remove that anyway. Well, I mean, it depends. If you're playing on Radiant, you can remove some of it. I don't know. I mean, I don't mind. I'm not going to use it, but I'm very much like live and let live, play and let play. So it's a single player game. If you want to use mods to make it easier, you know, go for it. Uh, if you want to use mods to make it harder, go for it. Don't want to use any mods ever. It's fine too. Sanguine Vintners. I hate to do this, but we might have to to save the run. I don't even think we have enough to trade in, though, right? Let's see. That puts it at 13. All because I wanted to do the Fnatic. 13. Uh, that last one doesn't do anything, so... I'm looking at... 5. So how many more do we need? That would put us at 25 altogether. Yeah, we're not going to have enough. Koribon. Not enough for the Sigmund Vintners this week. If you like the Kori, it would be okay if it wasn't hopping around all the time. Never seen me play with the Antiquarian. Not on this challenge. But I've, I've played with the Antiquarian a lot. Not on this challenge, though. Too risky. The Fnatic is a mini-boss uh, that comes with the Crimson Court. That can be very, um, very scary RNG. There's the link to it if you want to check it out, Celica. You mean annoying? All right, let's go. Uh, I'm gonna sell a Salacious Diary. And I'm actually gonna sell the Shameful Locket. So we need the gold. So much gold. So much gold. So much gold. Here comes the big pain, though. Oh, Christ. A sharper sword, a stronger shield. Anything. Hey, look at all that gold we had. Life. Gone. 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 Only two of those are going to the darkest dungeon, so. So it unfollowed, so. Just next query, though, your economy looks a bit weak. The stage of the playthrough? I don't think so. I don't, I don't think so. I mean, if you look, though, we already have, like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11. We have 11 people already upgraded to champion level gear, and we only need four, four, eight, 14. So I think we're doing okay, and we haven't even gone into champion dungeons yet. I think we'll be fine. All right. Let's go. I hate that I have to do this. All right, double healing trinket. Did I unequip the rat? Where's Ginger? Oh, that would have been so bad. Woo. Boy, wouldn't that have been bad. All right, Overture and... Uh... Suncloak? Yeah, it's fine. Here we'll go. Actually, I think I'm gonna put the sun cloak on our high woman. So sun cloak, surgical gloves. And we'll use surgical gloves and hmm. feather crystal. I guess. Been so bad. Yeah, I would have. Adam the rat. 
So young. Morph's dead. Can't believe we were we didn't one shot the Baron that time. Better safe than sorry, though. All right. Bring the cure. Thanks. <laughs> what? You're actually helping? Giveaway. Thank you. Let me set up the giveaway while we're going into this last dungeon. Uh, guys, we do a giveaway every time we get to uh, any multiple of 10 subscribers. We're over 10 now. If we get to 20, we'll do a second one. This is a Steam key giveaway. We have t keys all the way from $5 keys to $60 keys. Uh, you don't have to be a subscriber. So if you haven't followed already, make sure you follow so you can see what I'm live and also so you can enter these giveaways. Um, what? There's no numbers in chat? That's surprising. Twenty-five, way too low. Three fifty-three or three fifteen. Three fifty-three. Um. <laughs> All right. This is a sixty-dollar key, but it's a PlayStation Four exclusive. So I don't know. I might wait. Let's wait on that one until I do another PlayStation stream. Uh, what was the next one? Three fifteen. All right, we'll give this one away. It's a $20 Steam key. Let me post the link to it. This is the game we're going to give away while I'm getting ready for the dungeon. The Baron. No, I did not. Uh, we ran out of blood. We went through maybe like six plus... No, probably more like eight fights. Curios didn't get blood. We had to stop. What's the game anyway? It was the MLB. Another copy of that MLB game. So this is what we're giving away. Uh, Fury, I believe it's called. It's a $20 Steam key. And how you enter is... You have three minutes. No, you know what? Let's make it two since I'm not going AFK. Uh, you got two... Our modest fellowship expands. Two minutes to time Adam versus RNG. Adam versus RNG, no exclamation. The white Linguini. The other Linguini. Uh, Linguini, thank you for the subscription. Thank you for using the Twitch Prime here. Financially supports me and the channel and my family. Thank you, Linguini. Much love and sandwiches to Linguini. Uh, if you want to enter to win that game, Adam vs. RNG. That's all you gotta do. This is a little bit overkill. That's alright. We wanna make sure we don't lose. We have the goal to do it. Adam vs RNG, all one word. All right, so we got upgrades, trinkets, skills, camp, upgrades, trinkets, uh, skills, camping, upgrades, trinkets. That's fine. Skills. We don't need camp. Upgrades, trinkets, skills. Cure. The rat's not in here, right? I did not equip it. Okay. Our community grew. Yuri, Yuri, thank you for the follow. If you win, you have to do a capture test. By the way. So we know that you're not a bot. And in Fox Vest, Shift, welcome in. Sky Sentinels, welcome back. Potatoes, welcome in. Minch, Metal Thug. Metal Thug, how you guys doing? No, they won't. He has a rat. Don't lie to me. Hey, Chagrita, thank you for the lurk. Scary message. How much more time we got on the giveaway? Yeah, 10 seconds. 10 seconds to enter. That's what it feels. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Look at that. Uh, the rat makes it so the person can't die from the Crimson Curse. The winner of this $20 Steam key is... It's Narthasus. Narth, you've won. Narth, you've won as long as you're not a bot this whole time. Narth, who's that Pokemon? I'll accept anything in any language. 
Honestly. As long as it's not WoW or Yee. Jack Nicholson, yes. Jigglypuff, yes. <laughs> Congrats, Narth. Narth, I will uh, send you the Steam key through Twitch Whisper. Before my next stream. Just reply to me so that I know that you got the key. Guys, if we hit 20 subs, we'll do another giveaway. And who knows what it'll be. Uh, it was Fury. It was Gengar, yeah, that was the real Pokemon. Real Fury. Sorry. We got more keys, though. Got we more giveaways. Ho hopefully. Alright, cured. Cured. God, I hate that I have to do this. General Zod. <laughs> the best OSTs in recent memory. I haven't heard it, I don't think. It's on your Spotify. Alright, this is a champion dungeon. Now, we are in the Crimson Court, so a Shambler can't spawn. Um, but it is a champion dungeon, so it still has champion dungeon risks. Lots of damage, lots of crit. Uh, we need to take out the sick of it first. Was cursed death even in town? Yes. Unless it was changed without my knowledge, yeah. Dead Jimmy Puff is the best. I don't know about that theory. Survive death blows in non games. Told me you were cool and that I should hang out here for sure. Hey! Miss Crash, I don't know who Vince is. But that sounds like a great person. Uh, Crash, welcome in. How you doing, Crash? Overwatch League All Access Badge. Welcome on in. If you have any questions about Darkest Dungeon, let me know. Streaming for almost 2,000 hours. I still learn things, though. But, uh, yeah. Let me know if you have any questions. Go ahead and heal. RNG just cost you a challenge. It's, oh, it's happened community. lots of times. I'd just start it. I'd start a new run. I would start a new run. No hits. You're back. Uh, Doom Gooey. Doom, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Yeah, I mean, we did another uh, really long challenge that took 31 attempts in three months. Guy, now let's hold. Don't know. So never mind. Oh, well, sounds pretty awesome. No worries, Crash. Welcome in, though. Do the rest of the Baron dungeon. Depends on how much blood we get. Depends on how much blood. If we get enough blood, we will definitely go back. But I would need quite a bit. I would need quite a bit. All right, he's gonna bleed out. The slow death. Unforeseen. No blood. No blood. Unforgiving. Herbs on the dinner. No blood. What is going on? <laughs> no, no. Thirty-one attempts. Three months. I don't think I said forty. Maximum level reached. It took us thirty-one attempts in three months. Tet. <laughs> What? <laughs> Tap thing with a resub. Tier 3. A new member of the Golden Sub Club. <laughs> Tet, I know you mentioned it. I know you mentioned... Well, you didn't mention gold. Tet, thank you so much for the resub. Five blood, yes. Yes. It's a big, big haul. Guys, if you could drop some love and sandwiches in chat for Tet. To echo my appreciation. 15 months, Golden Sub. Tet, I appreciate it. Thank you for the support, Tet. Time spent, subs, all of it. 12, she'll ask me enough. Usually a stack of six does. Friday, technically Friday. <laughs> or buckets of blood and you're... S send me some blood, Ibex. This game, you never put time into it, know enough. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I love playing it, obviously, and streaming it. Um, but it, it can be a very time-intensive game in general. Like, a, a normal playthrough for a first playthrough is probably, like, 60 to 100 hours. Why is blood required for the next Crimson Court boss? For the Baron? Just because we are going to have the curse through most of the dungeon. And people will get to where they'll die without the blood. Which has already happened. It's true. Screen. Finally, some blood. 
If you just say hi, it wants me to ask what mod you use for the speed up. You can do Exclamation Mods uh, if you are playing on PC. If you're playing on Steam, you can go to Exclamation Mods and you can download. Uh, we're not using all of those ones right now, but the speed ones are on there. I think it's just called Faster, whoops, Faster Combat and Faster Walking. Um, and it increases the speed on all combat aside from crits. Ever played Magic? Yes. I played Magic Gathering Arena on stream a few times, actually. Paper Magic I haven't played since, like, middle school, but... Played Magic Arena. Uh, if you are playing on PC but you're not on Steam, like GOG or something like that, you can get the mods on the Nexus. Uh, Nexus mods. Getting the Red Plague. Fair Court. Look at those golden subs. Thank you again, Tet. Oh, that's the one we already clicked on, yeah. What time is it? Oh, it's almost one. What? What? Pineapple, sixteen fifty. Thank you, Pineapple. To our friend, thank you for not because of that. No, no worries. Uh, takes a takes a lot. Cause me to like hate anyone. I'm shower buddy. Uh, so this can be a really deadly fight. Uh, the large flesh eater can crit anyone to death's door that has a mark on them. And we don't have a guard this time. So we need to kill it, obviously, before that happens. Hopefully we'll be able to stun it here. Crit gives us a 20% extra chance of stunning. We still missed it. Like watching the game we played. Two dodges. The abyss returns. So it used Tentacle Devour instead of Weakened Prey, which is really what we want. Past Elite Hours? Good crit. Well I didn't get a new account, so... Uh, so again, we just need to try to kill this before it crits someone. I'll try to stun it. Crit Skull Toss. We don't have a guard. Man, oh man. Impressive. Hey, big ol' welcome back. Oh, it's gonna bleed out. It's good. I mean... Alone does not the blade. It could actually turn out that because we didn't have enough blood... Because I hunted the Fanatic and we didn't have enough blood to go to the Baron... That we could absolutely... Uh, lose the entire run because we had to come here and get blood and then that crit and improvement. just depends on what he uses here hopefully he hits someone besides her anything delicious crit down to four she's not gonna die at least Bad. Time for some. A brilliant confluence of skill. Lurk strikes even the lurk. Have a good night. Thank you for hanging out. Oh, 30 crit heal. Oh, that was the best time for a crit heal. Would you stop skull tossing our vestal? Holy Christ. Three in a row. <laughs> that heal. Clutch heals. Ah, the point blank only did eight. Forty percent. Forty percent. And we roll bottom in, I think. Okay, it's dead. Turkeyed your vessel. <laughs> Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. Uh, all right. What all provisions do we have? We have a lot. Uh, sorry. All right, coming better. Phrasing, skull bowling. Bandage on this. See what it has. Skull to the hero. <laughs> How many of them does he have? Saw bowling average. Yeah. Skull toss crit is really crazy. 
It's from the ghouls, that's very true. Pros. Or maybe. <laughs> Why the torches? So torches in here, if you use them, will give an accuracy buff to your entire party. So I try to use them between battles, or especially on battles that uh, things have higher dodge. Do I want to try this? Is that holy water? Yeah, so it's a, it's a flat plus three accuracy to your whole team. All skulls borrowed from the collector. Bully guy for almost six years. Skilled skull. Chuck, when you see one. There we go. 30 stress heal on the Vestal. Use on the Vestal. Yeah. Yep, yep. Garage 2.0. Uh, let's go. Why the cord is bright despite the zero light. Herbs on this for guaranteed loot. Wealth beyond measure. Awarded to the brave and Man. the foolhardy alike. It's going pretty well. I mean, aside from that skull crit. So traps in this can, uh, they do damage, obviously, but they can also spawn a battle. That one didn't. The Crimson Court counts as Radiant Light, so you don't get the bonuses. So it's not actually full light, but it counts for Radiant Light as far as quirks and trinkets are concerned. But you don't get the bonus dodge and scouting and stuff like that as you do in 100 Light or Radiant Light from the normal dungeons. But as far as uh, trinkets and things are concerned, yes, it counts as Radiant. Same thing for the Farmstead. Same thing for Darkest Dungeon uh, 4. Run Ruins. Yeah, you can't do that in here. Sorry. Quickens. Huh. Alright. It's a 90% chance to stun regardless of when I try. This is a pretty deadly team too. Hopefully it hits here and we're repose kill. Munch isn't a big deal. Good dodge. Good, good dodge. Okay, that one's already dead. We don't have anyone else that can really hit the mosquitoes, so I'm still gonna do that. Um, it's a Christmas miracle. The crit? It is a Christmas miracle. If it goes next, it's dead anyway to bleed next rounds. Uh. We have to roll top. Well, we don't have to roll topping as long as we get a bleed in too. All right, that one's dead. Can we stun this? Light trinkets work in the court. Uh, the court counts as radiant light. So uh, don't know. Uh, the crimson court, the uh, fourth darkest. You're no chicken champ right here. Crimson court, the farmstead, and the fourth darkest dungeon. All three count. As radiant light as far as trinkets and quirks are concerned. I do dono welcome by the way. No mark still. Not complaining though. God Tet. Friday. Friday. It's a Twitch things time? Rapturous Affliction. So Rapturous is specifically for the uh, uh, Flagellant. It does, he still acts, um, it's, it's still an Affliction. So he still acts Afflicted, right? But it also gives him a damage boost. Uh, he, he actually gets buffs from it and some negatives. So it's kind of a tricky thing. And he can still get a heart attack at 200 stress with it. So it is like any other Affliction. We can only get one more Hunger proc. So I'm going to throw down a stack of food. Use a torch, toss the other one down. Uh, we don't need know if we're going to need some of this. Oh, I should have used the antivenom. Whoops. Swiftly undermine his honor. Could staunch the flow of oh. Otherworldly corruption. Still wowing. Jute Tapestry, 4,500 golds. All right, on we go. Sack of wine. Do low light trinkets also work? No. 
It counts as radiant light. So things that say that it works in radiant light or above 75 will work. But zero light or uh, low light trinkets don't. Unfortunately. That would be nice though. Um, so the flesh eater can give disease. These two can give the crimson curse. I'm going to buff the first round. Speed, accuracy, and crit. And I'm going to go ahead and put bleed in the back. Mainly because they hadn't taken their action yet. I really want to kill the sycophant, but... Fifty-five percent stun resist, but yeah, I don't know. Uh, the low light ones don't, but the uh, the full the radiant ones do. Got our post up. Maybe I should have attacked in here. Couldn't have crit killed either way though. Sixteen. Could resist. Uh, we don't have much dungeon left, so I need to start using these. Okay, he's dead. Going to use the holy water just in case it like crit crits him. Hopefully, he won't bleed. Good crit. Pummeling. Critting with a bleed makes it last an additional two rounds. Uh, not that we need it on this one, but slowly, gently. Can be nice, especially on bosses. Twenty-three, twenty-seven. Do we have a ninety-five percent chance? We do. So that guarantees a heal on the back end. Whereas if she misses, she doesn't get the heal. Where I get all that blood from the quest. The quest. Eradicated. Whoa, nice crit. There's the point blank I know. Yeah. So all the quest items, the winemakers reserves, gives you a bunch of. Bunch of blood. Double stun. I kind of don't want to kill him too fast now because of that. So I'm going to actually hit here. Press this advantage. I don't know. Give them no quarter. Would you have a bit of food? Eh. If he hits here, that was the wrong decision. <laughs> if he doesn't, we're fine. Okay. Dodge into a post kill. Take it. Some extra food. Use the torch for accuracy. There's only one more plate, like one more possible hunger proc, so we can eat all the way down to four food. Look, it's a blood. All right, last hallway. Having the Baron, we had to leave because we ran out of blood really fast. It's the fastest, and we had someone that was wasting, so we almost lost the run. Okay, so she was craving blood, so we gave her blood. Now she's blood lusted, so it does give you buffs, right? Twenty-five percent damage, four speed, extra stun resist, extra blight resist, lowers your bleed resist, but she also acts a little bit afflicted. So we're here getting blood. And then we're going back. First time I haven't one shot the Baron in so long. Feels bad. Um Trust eh, you know what, let's heal. Let's heal. Blood. Dark Sage all night, probably. I was going to do Rimworld, but it's almost 1 a.m. So I might just go ahead and do the Baron after this. Let's go ahead and buff for next round. Why else is blood that way? Yeah, I know. I could actually wait until she goes down to uh, wasting and then give her blood. And then she goes baseline, so bloodlust. Should probably do that, especially with the Vestal, since blood bloodlust doesn't really matter for her. Because so they're wasting, you give it, they go baseline instead of lust. That's a good point. Oh, look at all this dodge. <laughs> Five dodges. Grievous she crit us. It's alright. It's alright. Right. Uh, 86% uh, hit. 
We'll go ahead and do that. 91 percent might as well use these things again we know we don't need the herbs or anything so might as well use this stuff okay she's dead double crit from hoopa ja hoopa Good crit, three damage repost. <laughs> Sucks he's only, I mean, it's good he's only two health. He's going to be easy to kill, but um, he could use the thirst to get back up a little bit. <clears throat> it's probably what he'll do. Unless he attacks into the repost. Buzz will stress heal activities still remove afflictions. Uh, they will, but they, they heal for less, so um, that's the only thing. Like, they'll still get rid of afflictions, though. Yep. Even if you, like, stress heal someone and they come out at, like, 60 stress still, they'll still have lost the affliction, yeah. Precision Crit. And power. This one's dead. That one's dead. They're all dead. Stress heal, not that a good deal. Yeah. It also, uh, the other thing it does, for anyone that doesn't know, if you have Town of Buzz, it actually clogs up your, your Town Events, right? So you can still get Town Events that are quest rewards or scripted ones like getting your, um, first blueprint on uh, week 10, but it blocks everything else. Like, if you leave the Town of Buzz for your entire playthrough, for instance, you'll never get uh, Wolf. Wolf will never spawn, uh, which can be a good thing, but also you'll never get, like, the good side of things. The ones that are uh, pea shards to heal everyone, or um, you know, everyone of a certain class levels up. Those things can occur if the town is a buzz. Score random town events. How are you in Shadow? Welcome in, by the way. Glittering gold, trinkets and baubles, paid for in blood. All right, we got some blood. Last gasp was okay. Stress against humans fits kind of sucks. Hard noggin's good though. It's actually a good pickup. Nemic really sucks too. The poor caretaker. I fear his long standing. Houghton, I'm made from dust harvested from the comet. Can work wonders for a price. Speaking of, we're not, I mean, we don't have them anyway, but <clears throat> time for work. Little like thing ringing out. Have a good shift. See you tomorrow, I hope. All right. <sighs> okay, let's see how many wasting we have, and we'll go from there. Let's see, are you wasting? No. So, these are all red. Let's just check in a dungeon really quick. Three. We should be fine. Should be fine to go to the Baron now. Which quote? Naked alien had loot stepped up some orifice and I didn't know. <laughs> Yes. Good times. Scare me to death, Larkin. I thought you saw something I didn't. <laughs> Larkin. So, Skid. 17. No, Fluffkins. Cat. Ginger. Oh, that's kind of interesting. Do you see this? It didn't just prevent the... It, they would have died. But not only did it prevent the death, they're no longer cra or, uh, craving. No longer wasting at all. Cursed, or is that counts only? 
Um, you get cured, yeah. So as soon as we kill the Baron, all the curse goes away. No invite? Oh, I don't. Yeah, yeah. That's true. Forgot about that. I actually threw invites down because uh, I was planning on one-shotting it. So Baron will be next next week. No invite, yeah. That's okay. We got plenty of blood now. <clears throat> so... We could go do this long dungeon. <clears throat> Try another fanatic bait. We already killed the fanatic. I don't I don't think I want to fight it again. <clears throat> it always happens to you. Well the thing is, is I <clears throat> the last like ten times I've killed the Baron, I did it in a one shot, right? So I usually don't use the extra invites. Didn't see it. Could do the farmstead, that's true. We get the sleeper out of the way. I don't know if I feel like doing that tonight. No invites for 10 weeks? No, it'll be easy to get an invite. Alright. Who do we have that doesn't have the curse right now at all? Uh, what veteran heroes do we have remaining? Let's get invites. No, we have three camo cloaks. Got them all last night. Caretaker's... Ugh, convention would be really good to get to. So we can take 17. We can take Lolek. Three, yep. Yeah. It was also supposed to be easy to get blood in the courtyard. It usually is. We had really bad luck. Uh, Ginger will be going. So this will give us six experience. So yeah, Ginger won't level, so we can take Ginger. And Doc. Or Yokuz. We do need to level both of these up, actually. Yeah, that's what I do. Don't want to spawn the Fanatic anyway, so... We do need both of these leveled up, so it ends up working out okay. Bacon or Riot? Baron? Bacon? So, Sacred Scroll, Junior's Head. Uh, Hell's Hairpin, Dark Bracer. Dark Bracer, Surgical Gloves, Overture, and Moon Cloak. How do we go about getting a character, specifically a Houndsman named after them? Join the queue. There's a queue. Uh, as long as you have 10 hours in the channel, you can type exclamation join. It'll get you in line to be a hero. Runs you manage per stream. I don't know. It depends. Because if I'm in a run at like 12 or something, I'll just keep doing it. And tonight we're probably just going to do Dark Dungeon the rest of the stream. So it just depends. Forgot the blood. <laughs> nah. Alright. Who's craving? We'll give them a rat so that uh, they don't take our blood. Hey there. What's up? Bloodlust wasting. There we go. What's going on? The mod wife is here. Hey, McDum, how's it going? Gur, how you doing, by the way? Been sleeping? Yes, sub as well. Nope. Uh, you just have to have 10 hours. We, do, we don't do anything here that's sub only. Not because I don't want subs, because some people can't afford to sub. Some people don't want to. There's other ways to support the channel aside from subscribing. My wife's going to be beating me with something in just a second. God. So, yeah. You don't have to be a sub. You just have to have 10 hours in the channel. I stream about 40 hours a week, so it's easy to get there. As long as you hang around. Can I see this? God. She always hit you in the head? I don't know. That's a good question. She also get headaches. That's that's why I've been getting headaches. Doing pretty good. Just about how many runs you get per stream at this stage? Yeah, I answered. I said it depends. No, don't do that. <laughs> it depends. Because sometimes we stop at midnight. Sometimes we stop at 1. Sometimes we go all night. Uh, it just, and it depends on the run lengths. 
if we're doing bosses. What is this abuse? How you doing, Dizio? Welcome in. I don't know. She just comes in and hits me with things, throws things at me. Assume you deserve it? What, what did I do? What are you doing, Liam? Bye, nice lady. Love you. Oh, no worries, girl. Grumpy monkey, they bring it out for so long. Have a good night. Have a good night. Alrighty, let's go do this. All the food, stack shovels. We have to go prepared for a shambler. Because it's zero light, and zero light can spawn a shambler. 8% chance in this dungeon. Just a piece of your game showing up on your shoulder. Yeah, and on my head. How do you feel about it? Only one of each hero or trinket. Any time challenge? I don't know. Other people have mentioned that too. I, don't, I wouldn't mind trying it. I don't think it'll be as hard as this one, but I'm not sure what would be. Food, shovels. We got stuff for the shambler. We got blood. They're ready to go. Almost 300. Levy 112. Thank you guys for those hours. So we got food, we got shovels, we got a little bit of blood. We have stuff for a shambler. We have some curio interaction. Um, upgrades, trinkets, skills, camp. Upgrades, trinkets, skills, camp. Upgrades, trinkets, skills, camping. Upgrades, trinkets, skills. Camping. All right, let's do it. Just a 4 a.m. or 3 a.m. for you. I know, I know it's going a great time for people that are in... Uh, in Europe or in uh, Western Asia. Our land is remote and unneighbored. Ah, I got three medicines. So this will be a fast dungeon or a very long one. We have no way to know. It's 2 a.m. where you are, Yuri. Here it is 1. Where you at, Yuri? Quite more caffeine. It's not caffeine tonight. Are items that are made for certain enemies. Yeah. We're going to go ahead and use dog treats. Um, the one that's kind of weird, they made it a little bit better, but there is an item in the game that specifically gives you more damage against the Fnatic. It used to only do that. Now it also has the ability to give you a little bit less stress when you're not, no matter what you're facing. Uh, there are trinkets in the game that are for certain enemy types as well. 7 a.m. in Germany. We'll start just coming back from a night out. If we had a good night, Liam. Uh, I'm just gonna put some damage in. I think. Uh, actually, let's go. To, let's try to stun. Oh, the dodge. That had to have been a low percent too, because we do have health hairpin. Let's try to stun. Can we'll get rid of that? Can we take this guy out? 76% chance. Got him. Alright. The dogs can give rabies. I wouldn't mind the rabies on our Hellion. If it's going to be on someone. Because at least she has the hell hairpin to offset that. Uh, I mean, I don't really want it on anyone, but... Their formation is broken. Maintain oh, yeah, the gotcha. Offensive. 2,700 hours. Rikes, they were all the hours. That's a, that's a fair amount. Thank you, Rikes. Oh, another dodge. Destroyed. Crit. Carry us, 17. Our Hellion. Uh, how big is the bleed? Eh, we're fine. Continue we are fine. Destroy them. Larkin 809. Thank you, Larkin. Glittering gold, trinkets and marbles. So, uh, what are the fears about Zero Light? Not only does it... Sorry. There's a hangnail suddenly. Crap did that come from? Got home my shorts. Kind of hurt. Anyway. Not only does Zero Light make the run just harder in general... But uh, it makes it so there's an 8% chance that a hall battle is a shambler. Or every hall battle has an 8% chance to spawn 
a shambler and not an altar, but just a shambler appears. Like this could have been a shambler. We're gonna use our dog treat for end up throwing it down. I'm on it removes the light effect of the vestal. Yeah, I do. Uh, used to, I did these, I would just snuff the torch right after we used it every time. But uh, to make it, to a make absolutely sure. Uh, how are you doing, by the way, Hyrule? To make absolutely sure that I don't accidentally leave even a sliver of light, we have a mod that uh, makes it so those don't don't increase. Oh, that's stun. Ah, uh, we're gonna do this again, huh? So I hit that one so that we can holy lance this one to death, hopefully. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. We gotta guard her just in case. It helps your head. Hopefully, Phoenix. Oh, yeah. There we go. That dodge tanking. That's the stuff. Surges as the enemy crumbles. Let's see if we can stun this guy. Good crit. Good stun. If you crit something, it has a 20% additional chance to apply whatever its effect is, like it's stun. So, since we crit, it's 20% extra chance to stun him there. Decisive so now that she crit, she does extra damage to bleeding on the next round. So we'll get a bleed on him here, hopefully. And we'll squeeze in a stress heal. Have Dark Souls 1 on the PC? Yes, I do. I do. Um, I think, yeah, it was da Davy. Davy Crockett gifted me the remastered version. And two? I don't think I... I don't remember if I have two on PC. I think I might have it. Uh, I don't... I know I have it on console. I don't remember. Have to check Steam on that one. Okay, first quest item. Uh, I'm okay throwing down the side train, so we'll take it. Thought about camping to, you know, alleviate some space, but... We don't need to. We use a shovel to dig that up. There's a lot of blockages here. I'm gonna wait until she's uh wasting to give her blood. Extend the life of our blood supply a little bit. Since this is the Vestal. Bloodlust doesn't really help her too. I mean, you know, it gives her the same buffs as everyone else. But uh actually the extra The extra um stun resist could be good against Skull Toss. Dodge thinking. Step into the path of an attack. Attack someone and then dodge the attack. Continue to where it was originally aimed. So that's a good point. <clears throat> Thank goodness that's not how it works. How do I pronounce Citrine? I pronounce it Citrine. I don't know if that's right or not. I've only ever read the word, so. Um no invite. There's no gatekeeper. Play D&D? No, I haven't. have not yet. Citrine. Gotcha. So, we're gonna kill these two first. Uh, these two are the only ones that cause stress. We don't have a great stress healing team. Um, we'll go ahead and use Breakthrough. I don't want her to be put in the back. Man, she's causing quite a bit of stress. She can also cause stress with bloodlust, though. The other benefit of bloodlust, though, is they can self uh, de stress during it. So I might end up giving her blood, even though I initially wasn't going to. Get shuffled, yep. Yep, yep. Kind of a bad shuffle. Really good dodge. Really good dodge. <laughs> this double dodge trick is coming in super handy. Hate the word. A faint hope Why do you hate the word? A heal. I'm gonna give her the blood. Just on the chance that uh, while bloodlusted, she does the uh, the self stress heal. So you really need it. 
pronounce all the weird names in your head a certain way. Turns out it was way off, yeah. That's the thing, I never fault anyone by mispronouncing things. We were talking about it earlier in the stream because usually that means the person learned it through reading, right? Which is not a bad thing at all. So, it's like I was mispronouncing Viscount my entire life. And then, mispronouncing it, Viscount. But, you two ever read Tolkien? <laughs> Say the movie is wrong. There you go. The wounds of war Stand your ground. But never hidden. Yeah, just keep going after a hound master. It's fine. Just gonna dodge everything. Works for me. Crit him. Good crit. Uh, it's not quite gonna bleed out. So we do have to finish it off. I think our dodge buff is going to go around our way now, yeah? That's alright. Reeves, you've been mostly immune to your pronunciation issues. Never heard that. That's interesting. So, the... Hmm. Brought low and driven into the mud. We didn't get a scout here, so I still have to go that way. Because there could be a quest item there. Um, we can't get a hunger proc in that next hallway, so I'm tempted to just not camp yet. Now, this is one of the highest chances of a um, positive in the game, so I'm gonna I'm gonna risk it. Two seven music. Hmm. Valuables. I was hoping for a map actually. So we're map. Uh, we're we have so much dungeon left. I can't really throw down my provisions because we. I mean, this over here could still could be a shambler, right? Hopefully, it's not. We're not gonna loot that until we come back. Ghoul again. So the maggots can give disease. Um, the ghoul can also give disease. Ghoul can give the worries, the maggots can give any disease outside of Shrieker diseases and, uh, Thing with the Stars diseases. Another one They're dead. Falls. Risk it for the biscuit. A little bit. Starting to tie. <laughs> Voice to text. Okay. Stress you a little bit. Uh, what's the sun chance? I mean, we might as well try it. Let's see, we have a 120. Okay, it's impossible to stun him. So we'll just do damage. We got a 120% chance. He has 120% stun. Resist. Three parts called... Audiation. When you read written music and reproduce it internally. You'd be quite good at it. Rin is what we want to see. Rin is the best move for him to use for us. Uh, even if it crits, really, because a crit Rin would still do less damage, than, or less stress than a uh, a full howl or crit skull toss. So when you try to interrupt people, hmm, it's interesting. Match max dodge is ninety five percent. The enemy will always have a nine or a five percent chance to hit you minimum. So. You can stack dodge into the hundreds, but it doesn't matter. Uh, the enemies will always have at least a 5% chance to hit you. Now, same thing for you. You will always have at least a 5% chance to hit the enemies. Still too early to, to toss that stuff. No scouts. We do have to check this hallway, unfortunately. And there was a hunger proc. Now, I don't want to accidentally spawn another hall battle. So even though it's going to be stressful, I'm going to backtrack. This is also going to be, uh, because we got a hunger proc, this is going to use our hunger immunity for this next hallway. And again, we don't run the risk of 
spawn an extra battle in here by backtracking through it. That high, yeah, that's why dodge is so good. Um, once you get over about 50% dodge, it becomes incredible. And we've had runs where I stack all dodge. Full light is much easier. And you can actually get all your characters to 95% dodge or close to it. And it's almost impossible for the enemies to kill you. Because they have to get lucky multiple times in a row. Right? They have to get lucky and get through your 95% dodge to hit you. And then they have to be lucky and that be a crit to take you low enough. More and the next one has to get lucky and hit you to death's door. And the next one has to get through and get lucky. And, act and then you have your death blow resist. So to... To die with 95% dodge on a whole team is hard. Kitty! Kitty Coyote, thank you for the host. Appreciate it, Kitty. Those of you coming for Kitty's stream, welcome or welcome back. Playing some Darkest Dungeon. Feel free to sit back and relax, lurk. Ask questions if you want. Whatever you want to. Was it the miss option? I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't know how that one factors into that one. But uh, as far as I understand it, you're always guaranteed a 5% no matter what. Same thing with enemies, but I don't know. Okay, we're going to camp. We're going to feast. A goal without hope. I'm going to prevent nighttime ambush with our Crusader because it also lowers his stress. We're going to grab crit on our Hellion. And I think I'm going to get scouting. Leaves us with one. Draven. Draven, thank you for the host as well. Welcome on him. Heard you are amusing to watch. Guy with a face. Most people have faces. <laughs> Sweet demon Fluffy. How you doing, Fluffy? Welcome in. Who told you this? Thank you for the host as well, Fluffy. Appreciate it. Most people have faces. Yeah. Dodge. Shambler Altar. We're not going to touch that. Another dodge trap. I'll take it. Kitty did. Well, thank you, Kitty. He has great taste in streamers. <laughs> Alright. Um, here we go. We're going to get that invite. That's why we came in. So we're going to summon Crimson Court mobs. We got to kill the gatekeeper. That's one reason why we're here. She does. <laughs> Ugh, come on. If we don't kill him soon enough, what he does is he run away. He runs away. He uses elusive exit. When he runs away, he summons mosquitoes in every empty spot, including his own. He dead. Hang out, you're exhausted. Have to work in the morning. Say hi. Hey, kitty. It's good to see you again. Uh, thank you again for the host. Appreciate it as always. Hopefully you're still enjoying the, the newer job. Have a good night, kitty. Kitty's awesome. For sure. Uh, I'm going to squeeze in some stress healing. These guys can't give stress without critting. Uh, they can give the curse, though. Thought I'd be alright. Let's kill this one. Good crit. So, for anyone that doesn't know Darkest Dungeon, feel free to ask questions if you'd like. I know Kitty has played Darkest Dungeon. That's how we found each other. Um, but... It's a really good game. There's a lot to it. Like, I've, I've streamed it for almost 2,000 hours. I still learn things. Hey, Hummer. How's it going? Welcome back in. A uh, if you haven't played it before, it's basically a turn-based combat game with lots of things trying to screw you over at once. And uh, we are currently doing a World First Challenge mode on it, so we're doing a super difficult version of the game. And this might be the run that we complete it. We have tried this for a long time. This and this is attempt 20 on this specific success. challenge. Welcome back in again, Hytal. How do you, Hytal? The cells are 1,100 golds. We're kind of okay on gold at the moment back home. and We're going to get Caretaker's Convention too, so I'm alright dropping it. Quest item. Turn-based masochism. There we go. <laughs> That's a really good... Grows. Um, Stovetop. Stovetop. Thank you for the follow. IWB, does that mean you're willing to buy? I'm willing to buy Stovetop. I don't have one to sell. Stovetop. Sorry I'm saying your name 50 times, but thank you again. 
Uh, yeah. Alright. So you can use a Holy Water on this for a guaranteed positive quirk. Do you try to level all equally? Yeah. I think it's best to do that for a couple reasons. Uh, let me get rid of this. Or, let's see what we want to... Let's try to get Hippocratic on low lec. That would be amazing. There, there's a lot of advantages to leveling a wide roster at the same time. The main one is you never go into the next difficulty dungeon. Unholy Slayer, that's okay. Without uh, having the upgrades for that level, right? So, you... And then you can spend your heirlooms um, on other things while you're not trying to rush to get to the next level of blacksmith and guild. So I try to get a big roster and level them pretty evenly. In this and in normal, yeah. This is definitely not one of those games where you can just take an A team to every single dungeon. Because they're going to need breaks to recover. They're going to need... This is a really terrible fight for this team. Um, bad dodge. And you're going to need upgrades. Effects of them from adventuring. Yeah, especially if things are like this, you know? So, the Tree Ranch Giant can crit either of these two to Death's Door. Uh, and there's not really anything we can do about it. Usually I take a Man at Arms to this so that we can guard. Poison Spore is good. That's what we want to see. Usually I take a man at arms, and man at arms can guard uh, the person in position one or two. Keep them nice and safe. Our modest fellowship expands. Praise the sign. What? <laughs> Sweet demon Fluffy. Man, Kitty does have great taste. Uh, Fluffy, thank you for the subscription. Guys, if you're a subscriber, you can come back and drop some love and sandwiches for Fluffy. Appreciate it. Fluffy, thank you for the subscription. It absolutely helps support me in the stream and my family thank you again no more ads for you on this channel plus you get all these emotes you can use anywhere anywhere what a deal all right let's try to take this dog out uh got it upgrading armor weapons and skills i don't know if that's i don't think that's possible hey everybody my name is cletus you do these emotes anybody want some cornbread hi cletus Whatever your reasoning, it still helps. Thank you again. Uh, we're going to go for the stun here. One in particular. You need the Gasm emote. <laughs> Works through me. Now you can spread Gasms on Twitch. Oh, we hit her again. A lot here, yeah, that's the most used one. All these emotes. Yeah, there's more than that, too. There's more than that, too. Um, alright. It's the only one you have. You still have to use Tree Branch Smackdown. Uh, that's the... Pretty much the worst shuffle we could get. The ground quakes. Uh, alright. We'll be alright, though. I mean, luckily we've already taken care of most of the stuff here. See if we can stun it. That'd be awesome. Crit, though. So many emotes. Chasm <laughs> Preacher. Uh, I guess I'll try to dodge guard this. So we buffed our dodge, and here comes the tree ranch. Oh, God. See what I mean? That wasn't even a crit. It wasn't even a crit. We gotta get out of this, uh, this rut. Make a scene with emotes. Go for it. People like doing that. Let's buff that dodge some more. It's not really going to do anything. Good crit. Poison spores next, please. Death's door. Get hit again. Hit again. We might lose the run.
Seven. Denied. Oh, he's going again? Uh, might be okay. Might actually get an extra heal this way. Because he it does have to... He's going to bleed out anyway. Uh, that's kind of good overall. I mean, the crit sucks, but... You know. It's not going to die. That's what's important. Yeah, here we go. We're all right. This is f oh! <laughs> We've had such clutch heals tonight. You know? Like, every time we have someone on death's door or close to death's door, the Vestal's like... Hold my holy water. Bam! Crit healed full health every time. <laughs> God. You know, the last couple nights have been extreme luck and extreme bad... Well, both both sides. Extreme good luck, extreme bad luck. Twitch actually letting you to watch ads mean more bits for the elimination of the devil's beans. <laughs> R-squared, thank you for the 50 bits. I'm glad... I mean, that's awesome that you're able to watch it. There you are, Squid. Little risky to do that, but I think we're alright. I think we're okay. Let's let's take a look. Nerf Vestal. Hold my salacious diary. No, no, no. Don't hold that. You'll look inside. <laughs> hunger proc, so we're immune to hunger in the next hallway. Hopefully you get a scout here. We do have our uh, extra scouting buff from camping home. still. Curio, 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 curio. It's down there. Oh, man. Let's peek in here for the... Um, for the curios. Some reward. Extra Your food. Well Eat it. We can hear it this one as well. Uh, that means we have at least one more hall battle. Hey, another uh, free positive quora. <laughs> <sighs> Did you use a holy water on this for a guaranteed positive quirk? And I literally just threw our holy, holy waters down. Well, we didn't throw them down. I rubbed them all over our body. But uh, our bodies. But we don't have it anymore. Dog lover OP again. Salacious. Um, doesn't it mean like a. Does it mean like dirty, like arousing? Arousing, like a. Yeah. Arousing, yeah. So it means like a. Uh, a raunchy diary. Fantasy diary. Dog lover? Oh, are you talking about lick wounds? No, that wasn't why I healed him. So, the maggots can cause disease. They can cause any disease other than Shrieker or, um, Thing where the Stars diseases. The Slaver and Ghoul can cause only one disease, the Worries, which is bad. With Hammer conveying undue or inappropriate interest in sexual matters. Yeah. There we go. Thank you. Thank you, Demon Kith. How you doing, Kith? How you doing, by the way, Abenroth? I read your... Giant... Monka S, but I did not, uh, I didn't say hello. Fifty Shades Diary. So Rin is what we want to see. Rin is actually the best move for him to use against us on our side of the battlefield. Uh, it sucks to get crit by it, because, I mean, that's a big bleed. Five round bleed. And, you know, it, it does st cause stress. But I still think it causes less stress than a full howl or a... Crit skull toss for sure. Just chilling. It's cause you're using an ad blocker I don't know about. Really? Hmm. That is weird. We'll go ahead and bandage this off. And we'll get rid of her extra stress debuff. No, not the subscriber thing. Like, ads for bits, you can still watch if you're a subscriber. Like, that's what R-squared was doing. So that is weird. Twitch usually finds a way to give you ads lately. Getting crafty. Let's see if we can stun here. What happened? Oh, I was saying that, uh... You're a subscriber, but you got to watch ads for bits. Ads for bits has nothing to do with subscription or not. 
<laughs> Probably repressed. They were called Vestal Virgins. Oh, you, yeah, did you look at her uh, her comic? What's up, Mir? Gonna have a bounty tonight? Oh, no, there's not. No bounty tonight. They were asking, though. Heavy Dodger and 15 are up a hill. Park complex because they're doing the Slender parking lot. It's running six months. Man's head. Did you buy wait, did you have help? <laughs> At least. Roman priestess mixed with a bit of Catholic nun, yeah. This, yeah, it's a veteran dungeon, level 3. Yep, yep. Hopefully I don't regret throwing in those bandages. Do I want to grab another invite? I mean, maybe. Like, what if we have extreme bad luck again? I guess I should just do it. We do have a lot of stress, but... We're not going to use these next week anyway. Torse strain neck muscle. But it hurts, man. Sorry, Tad. It sucks, man. Well struck. So we're probably going to end up... Yeah. Actually, it used the thirst instead of deafening wine. But it doesn't matter. Fearful. One affliction. Good crit. Uh, we're not going to be able to get her down to zero stress. Like, we don't want her to get to 200. If you get them down to zero stress when they're afflicted, the affliction will fall off, even in a dungeon. But uh, we don't we don't have the... The only way we could do that is if we ran into a slime fight. And it would be like a 40-round fight to do it. So... Not likely. Fearful. You are like the Vestal. Yeah, same one. <laughs> Our... Helene is holding steadfast to be the only one without the curse in this party. So, ads for bits. Um, it's kind of weird. On the PC, I think they were doing away, or they already did away with mobile. But on the PC, it can give you anywhere from 2 bits to 100 for a single ad. Death waits. My wife uh, gets like 50 cent ones pretty often. But again, it seems like you get a lot more. Let's get one stress heal in. It seems like you get a lot more ads if you've put in that you're a, like, 20-something female. The more we're all afflicted, yeah. You were banned from watching them for a while? Do you mean it just wouldn't come up or you were like literally banned from it? So he paused channel the other day. You gave them right to him? Silky, that could have been my dollar. No, I'm just joking, I swear. No. Try again tomorrow, yeah. Does that a lot. Slowly, gently. This hey, two blood. Is taken. And invite. Alrighty. Unavailable to you. Bam, bam. Huh. Weird. So, Tree Ranch, Smackdown, Giant, again. Scariest thing in this dungeon for us. On Veteran. First place badge. Oh, no, no. Silky, Silky is a good streamer. I was just joking. Uh, in fact, Silky is one of the very first people that ever hosted me. And, uh... He hosted me with like, I don't know, 14, 17 people, something like that. No. Good stream. Skill the one we can. Unacceptable. Time here. As much as loved. <laughs> no. No, 
Appreciate Jeff Squid. Next is 20,200. That's a weird number. Let's go ahead and heal. Sedated. Crit. This could be our last battle in the dungeon. Hopefully it is. Hopefully it is. What a night it has been. And after this, we'll be going to the Baron. Unless you know what's gonna happen? Wolf is gonna spawn. <laughs> That's what's gonna happen. Blighted boy. That miss. No, I don't think so. I think it's probably too late to do it. I wanted to, but I feel like it's just probably too late. I know, realistically, we could always switch, but I don't know. I guess it kind of depends on how I've, how long I think the uh, Baron dungeon is going to take to blame the blood. Isn't that right? We're probably fighting the Baron right now. can't believe we found no blood in the Crimson Court. What was that? None on Curios. None anywhere. Good crit. Hundred and twenty percent stun resist. There's only a ten percent chance to stun. I'm just gonna do damage. Just fail, yeah. Come on, poison spore. Fusion spore. Good dodges, what? Quad dodge. Oh, get him out of here. 39 crit because of that buff. Okay, do we get a scout? We did. And it's in that last room. Uh, so oddly. Like, if there's a battle with a curio, it tells you, but it doesn't tell you if there's a battle with a quest location or not. Kind of weird. I've always wondered why they did that. Uh, we don't need the shovel. Unless we dig up a grave going down there. Could be. Could be. Um, don't need the key. Quad dodgy boat. Look like. Just want one. <laughs> I think we have enough invites. We don't need to do this. It's a lot of stress too. Quad dodge. If only treasure could staunch the flow. Quad dodge is rare but awesome. Corruption. Rare but awesome. No battle. No battle. We did it! Alright, let's see if Wolf spawns. These medicines will prevent the outbreak of epidemic at our struggling hamlet. Clumsy. Klepto. Flawed release. That doesn't matter. Quick draw. That's good. Ruminator. That's not, not great rolls. Not great rolls at all. Oh, oh right. Carry day received mention. Never mind. Wolf couldn't spawn. <laughs> Week 65. For the study of something. Week 65. <sighs> All right. All right. Okay. All right, okay. Finally! The friggin' Baron. Uh, it was... Skid, Fluffkins, Cat, Ginger. <sighs> okay. Let's see how many people are wasting. The Bacon Fight. One, right? Let's do this again, and this time we should be fine. This time it should be no problem. Who is wasting? I want to throw a dead rat at him. I mean, I know we're leaving blood behind, but it seems like it makes them not even need to drink the blood. Okay, and these four are already upgraded. We know that. All fours. I mean, this does give me a chance to grab Finale for the final fight, though. Whoops. That's not where you upgrade Finale.
All right, get our trinkets on. Let's get in here. So uh, this counts as radiant lights, as far as trinkets are concerned. So we need to use overture. I think I use Barristan's. On our Hellion, we're gonna use Focus Ring. Surgical Gloves, I suppose. I think that's what we did last time too. Our Hound Master. Uh, I did both cloaks, uh, that's what I did. So we got crit on our Hellion, crit and accuracy. We got a lot of dodge on our Houndmaster, dodge and protection. We got health dodge and protection on our Jester. And we got healing on our Vestal. Okay. Should be okay. Let me double check the uh, trinkets that are being sold. Yeah, nothing good. Just using the head for heal? What do you mean? Sacred Scroll, Junia's head. That's two trinkets. Quit finale? No. You can change skills inside the dungeon, so I'm not gonna use I'm not gonna switch finale until before the Baron. Carryovers, thank you. All right, so this is free this uh, this week, so we want to take full advantage of it. We'll get rid of the fits for free. Hey, Barada. Back in 29. <laughs> How you doing, Barada? Welcome in. It's awfully late for you, Barada. Okay, so let's take a look. Anything we want to lock in? We could lock in Hard Noggin. Switch to Finale for the Baron. Nah, that's a pretty good possibility. <laughs> Hard Noggin, I mean, he's going to Dark Dungeon 2. There's not a whole lot of stuns in Dark Dungeon 2, right? Subscriber, come steal yourself. We are building an army. Fatty Ken Flies building an army. Good lord, there's 58 people in your army. Fatty Ken Fly, thank you for the gift subs to Devil Dog, Leo Casper. G-Man Red, Shif Shif, and Mist. No. Double goal, we do get we do another giveaway after this next dungeon. Fatty, thank you again for the gift subs, for all the support. Much love, much sandwich to Fatty. Thank you, Fatty. How you doing, Lunar, by the way? I read your resolve, and I didn't say anything. So you're on the phone all the time now? Hopefully that's a, that's a good... Didn't see the sub through it. Oh, no worries. It's all good. Golden sub in spirit. It sounds good, Barada. I mean, I'm assuming you wouldn't be on the phone unless it was for a good late into the night. Unless it was a good thing. Unless it's a hotline. Maybe that's a good thing, too. Spiritual would help her heal herself, but... It's captured to prove you're not bot, so... Bots can be subs, that's fine. People even still do that? I don't know. Like, it, 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 it kind of baffles me. Things like that, like, because the internet exists. We get rid of Klepto. It was a good thing to get rid of. There's not really a More shall gather. lock in. More shall enter the fray. Star Bits Incorporated. Star Bits, thank you for the host. Hi, Starbits. Thank you for the host. Appreciate it as always. Those of you coming in for Starbits stream, welcome or welcome back. I'm Adam. This is Adam vs. Everything, and we are playing oh, Darkest Dungeon. Grows. If you have any questions about Darkest Dungeon, let me know, or feel free to sit back, lurk, relax. Thank you, Starbits. What were you playing, I wonder? Wow. <laughs> Leo. Leo, thank you for the... Uh, Leo Casper, thank you for the follow. I guess I'll get rid of the Klepto. So, we'll, we'll get... Hard noggin locked in. We'll get rid of auto mono, uh, automatonophobia. It's Adam vs. Hidtie. MVP today. <laughs> Hysteric, welcome back. Got a visit on the weekend, next weekend, our anniversary. And she's going to send it here too. Can't get much work off. It's good, Brada. Man, oh man. How, how different things are all together. 
from like the early days of you being in the channel. It's crazy. Get crazy though. Stabitz, you looking forward to classic? Or are you one of those that are just like mm, classic, whatever? Nostalgia. Klepto. Uh, do on guard. Never been MVP. What? You're MVP all the time here. MVP healer. Alright, let's go. Classic wow. Dabble classic. Till we're bored for the lulls. Alright, let's do it. You're going up there? <laughs> Alright, we got our healing trinkets, upgrades, camping. Got our defensive trinkets, defensive trinkets, grades, camping. <sighs> All right. For real this time, this will be a long dungeon. All the food, like shovels, bring all the things. Going to work, Liam. Good luck with the Thank you, Liam. I'll probably need it. Have a good shift. Thank you for hanging out. To bring blood. Why not just bring two blood? No, that's a bad idea. What could go wrong? <laughs> that happened last time. All right. So we got all the food. Uh, we have stack shovels. We have stuff for combat. Um. Should we good? Hope you like the 80s. Wait, a new one? Or are you talking about the 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 original, the one before they decided to change it? Hey, mod wife, thank you for the bits. What is the blood for? The so these heroes have the crimson curse, and eventually they'll be craving. And if you don't give them blood, they'll go to wasting. And if you don't give them blood, uh, wasting, they'll just die. You again? Is a West Ham Stomp Wolf ten and zero in soccer? <laughs> yeah, we have someone wasting in town. They do have the rat, but I'm going to leave blood, too. We have the... Um, I mean, I guess I'll... The thing is, like, if we get a blood drop, we won't have anywhere to put it. So, I think we're alright. Alright, we got food, we got shovels. We got everything we need, I do believe. Pretty much vampires, yeah. It, it's... Basically vampires. It's own Darkest Dungeon's own take on vampires. Alright, I'm gonna <laughs> Modwife, thank you for the additional bits. The sixty nine bits. Eighty eight. One to be Christopher Lloyd saying one point twenty one gigawatts. <laughs> Maybe. Alright, I'm gonna uh load in, I'll be right back. And then we'll go kill the Baron. Uh, upgrades, trinkets, skills, camp. Upgrades, trinkets, skills, camp. Upgrades, trinkets, skills, camp. Upgrades, trinkets, skills, camp. And you can camp in here. I'll, sh I'll show you guys how. Hey, Mayor, thank you for hanging out for so long. Appreciate it. Hopefully I'll see you again soon. 9 p.m. tomorrow we start. Easter time. All right.
Thank you. Hey everybody, my name is Cletus. Anybody want some cornbread? Alright, took care of that stupid fingernail. So we're gonna wait. Uh, you know what? I'm. Yeah, I'll wait to give her blood for a little bit. <clears throat> stupid grab now. Sh Shambler summoning dance. For after Baron? Yeah, luckily the Shambler can't spawn here. Um, go down first, right? Yeah, that's good. Yeah, okay. Took it out to dinner to figure it out? No. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Like, I was just sitting here. Uh, we'll loot that on the way back. Actually, you know what? We can do it now. Holy water for the minus stress. 30 minus. 30 DKP minus. I haven't thought about that in a long time. Until earlier today, I suppose. Didn't mention it. We can dig that up for loot, but I'm not gonna save these shovels for a more important purpose. Excuse me. <laughs> Try and work. Yeah, the whelps. Mini whelps, handle it. Um. Anixia. Anixia? Real Sonic trailer. Never asked if you had seen it. Which is it the first? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I saw it. I saw it. Oh, did I put... Hmm. Kill this one first. Said, alright. Took care of that stupid... I figured out what was the finish of that sentence. Bad childhood. <laughs> uh, can't answer that, Tet. Your raids when that came out, really? So we're gonna wait till she's wasting to give her blood, probably. That'll uh, allow our blood supply to stretch a little bit further. Let's shuffle back. We get like one stress healing. Where's this freaking gnat coming from? Every night, when we're like 70% through the stream, a single gnat emerges from wherever gnats go. Not like food in here or anything. Seen cannot be unseen. Yeah, I'm curious what the remake is gonna be. Realistic Crimson Course experience. Do you guys remember when I first upgraded my uh, my lighting and the camera quality? Unforgiving. And like that very first stream, a gnat flew in front of the camera, <laughs> like really close, and it focused on it. People were like, "Oh, I guess that is better." 4D experience. Try cleaning your office. It's not dirty. <laughs> like, no, nothing... It's a stream room. Nothing is really ever in here. Aside from that empty can of Pringles that you guys don't need to know about that. Freaking net. It's because the window has been open all night. But, I mean, there's a screen on it. This guy's squeezed in. Not here for loot. Not here for loot. Should have been here for loot last time. My mind is dirty. Alright, she's wasting, so we'll give her blood. This will put her back to baseline. That's good. Saw about Sprinkles. <laughs> um. Good dodge. Came from the loots. Came for the loots. We'll buff. Speed actually crit. Across the room, your old chicken champions never rest. <laughs> No, I'm retired, man. Retired. Annihilated. Oh, I just remembered something. A brilliant Actually, two things. I just remembered something very terrible and something kind of funny. 
Do you guys want to hear both of them? One of them? One of them is pretty depressing. And the other one is... Not. Your post? Which order? Which order? It's like actual, actually depressing. Alright. Do you guys remember last night? Hey Melso, how's it going? When I was streaming uh, and the window was open, I was like, what was that sound? There was a ton of screeching and the freeway's not that far away. The giveaway? Yeah, so the, the next, second giveaway is going to be after this dungeon. What's up? And I was like, I think there might have been a crash and then I heard sirens. Turns out it was a crash. After the stream, my wife and I looked. There was a news report about it. Um, three people died in it. Just right over there. Three people died in it. Two of which were 19-year-olds from our neighborhood. I live right down the road. So two 19-year-olds and a 20-year-old died. Uh, that's what I heard last night when I was on the stream. It's crazy. And they weren't wearing seatbelts. Um... Two of them were thrown from the vehicle. So. I didn't know them, but I mean, either way, it's it's still very tragic. And I mean, I was thinking about it a lot today. Like, I don't I don't know them at all. I don't know their parents. I don't know. I've never met them that I know of or anything like that. But I was thinking about it a lot today. How, like, you know, when I got up this morning and I got, or when I went and got my daughter up this morning, I was like, man, there are parents down the road who... Our kids aren't getting up this morning. So anyway, I was going to let you guys know what that was that we heard last night. It was a crash on the freeway. The blood quickens. Yeah. Sad, sad. So the other thing uh, that I was going to say is uh, after the stream... After this, while I was working, my wife came and hang, hung out in here. Uh, and she, there's a recliner right off the stream right there in this room for her to sit in. And now that I have this monitor, it's easy to see things from there. So she came in and we uh, we found this new Netflix show. Um, and it's called Flinch. Have you guys watched any of this? It's, it's like... Confidence it's almost like torture. Humbles. It's like, it's a comedy, it's like a game show. But basically, they subject these people. These people signed up for it. That's that's the only way I'm okay with it. These people signed up for it, and they basically subject them to things that can't really hurt them, but that can make them flinch. And if they flinch, they do things to them like uh, shock them with a cattle prod, or like dunk them in water and things. Man, she and I ended up listening to like three episodes of it, and the the hosts. I think the hosts are like. Something's wrong with them. Like, they'll they'll be shocking someone. And the hosts are just, like, dying laughing. But the thing is, uh, whichever host team loses or whatever, they have to be subjected to a worse one at the end. But, I mean, it's not anything that could, like, really harm. But it's, like, it's crazy. It's like one of those Japanese game shows, only it's not Japanese. It's British. It's British. We would watch that. The host is the Baron. Uh, oh, <laughs> no. Our community no, it hurts, rules. but it's not anything permanent. So it's not like they're not having like a finger cut off or, you know, being scarred or something. It absolutely hurts, I'm sure. That's the point of it. Uh, Rizbot. Rizbot, thank you for the follow. Well struck. So called Flinch. New Netflix show. Whole new meaning. Netflix and chill. Flinch was the name of it. Sounds like abuse. Yeah, but they sign up for it. They read it. Fear Factor or something. Yeah, kind of like that. It's like Fear Factor only... And they ask them too. So everything's set up in the beginning before... Um, like all, all the, the things that they're going to do that episode are set up. But uh, they'll ask them in the beginning... Most Extreme Illumination Challenge, yes. Number one. They asked him, like, hey, what's your fear? And this one guy was like, I'm afraid of birds. I'm really scared of birds. And it just turned out, it just happened to be 
that one of the challenges or whatever was that uh, they had to wear this like face protector thing and with like a bird feed thing on the front of it and emus emus would eat from it and this guy has a phobia of birds and they didn't know that beforehand supposedly but I was like oh my god this poor guy right you are kid people suffer emus are evil ostriches are evil cotton candy and puppies <laughs> there, there you go rest of use voluntarily it's kind of no different Relation to people. I mean, it's different than a. I know what you mean, but obviously it's different than like a relationship of that. That means. Not quite as extreme. Sorry, I lost the word at emus. Yeah, I've read about that. Um, we're gonna heal her up this round, but I mean we have plenty of bandages. So. Host by Kenny Blankenship, Vic Romano. Someone told me that all those are on YouTube. I'm gonna have to watch those again. Most Extreme Lodation Challenge. What a great show. Seriously. You can never watch the show. MXC was so good. I mean, the people in that are, like... Not really getting tortured, but they're also not, uh... Not getting treated too well. Their formation is broken. They're all on YouTube? There's something for me to listen to while I work after the stream. Uh, so we're almost out of this battle. I'm going to switch over to stress healing. Don't think you can go that far. No, I, I wouldn't join that show either. That's why I said. You have to be, like... I guess they're trying to get their, you know, 15 minutes of fame... Getting treated in a hospital with the concussions. The giant paper mache boulders crashing into them. <laughs> so I'm not going to kill him this round, I don't think. Uh, so that we can get a heal in. Joining, so... I don't know. I don't know how much they're paid. That's a thing, too. Like, how much would it... How much would you accept to be shocked by a cattle prod? Those are repurposed Jesse's show. Oh, yeah, I know. I know. With, uh... Fake redubbing. 12 beers. <laughs> See here in the USA. Dub people's voices, though. Good. Now we'll take it out. A singular strike. For Calipron. Yeah, I mean, shock me all you want. <laughs> Some people will pay 10k for people to shock them. I mean, I don't know any of that. that. What? Try to get 10. The blue key, we don't even really need it, right? Uh. Oh, well. Up to the yellow key. You've been shot by one before? Really? What? What? Don't want me asking you how that happened, Gur King. Be 200 to shock you once. She's craving. I'm going to wait until we get closer to battle to use the blood on her so that she gets bloodlust during the battle. Stays there. Now, my daughter the other day, speaking of things like this, started doing that would you rather type game you know but it, it's like mild stuff it's way different than when oh we got an extra spawn when like adults talk about it when it's on uh websites and things so it's stuff like would you rather never have ice cream again or never have cake again <laughs> la during the riots in the 90s cake Next question. <laughs> There's lots of questions like that for her the other day. Dirty eye either. Ice cream. Brian, you were a kid because your family used to live. A thing called. What's. Is it socialist community? Hmm. Um, There's a lot of farms near where I grew up. 
Uh, I did do sleepovers with um, some of my friends, and one of them, uh, his dad raised cattle. And I helped with some of it when I would spend the night, which, by the way, wasn't, wasn't very fun. I'm sure you know. But uh, I never... Uh, they they raise calves, right? So they, they would raise calves every season. Tons of them. And then sell them. So they didn't really have a ton of adult. They would, uh, they would buy very young calves. At the, and they'd fatten them up over the year and sell them. In Israel? Does that include cream cheesecake? I don't know. I guess so. Bake your own cakes. Stream is the only thing that keeps you alive during Argentina's summers. <laughs> to do it on purpose. Oh yeah, I know. Roller and it's murder your entire raid over a hundred times. <laughs> How you doing, Dark? Round Walking stick. Taze once working at a horror attraction on a farm. Did penetrate your scarf and sweater. This cream cheesecake is too good. A very young muffalo. Get that meef. Get that meef, boy. Uh, the I've gotten shocked very few times in my life. And one of them was an electric fence, and it's such a weird feeling. And I, it was supposed to be off, and I grabbed it in my hand. I was a kid, and uh, I was told it was off. They thought it was off. And, it, you know, it tenses your muscles up. You can't let go of it. And that's probably not a ton of, you know, power in one of those electric fences, too. I can imagine, like, a big shock. You've been maced before? Ugh. I have not. That's not... It's terrible. Do you mind if I ask why, R-squared? Did I pee on it? No. <laughs> why is that always what people ask? I wonder. Slowly. But you're good? You learned? That's a, yeah, that's an important thing. That's an important thing. You just learned... Two time you're no chicken champ right here. You just learned a hundred ways that, uh, you know, how to not succeed at it. Good maze, too. Shockers have a purpose. You liked how it felt as a kid? No. Well, I mean, I guess it depends on the shock, right? Like, a lot of kids will do the the batteries to the tongue sort of thing. That will get rid of uh, stress if you use a torch on it. This gives items. Pee on the electric fence. Got shot for peeing on a battery. Care what Mythbuster says? It's possible. Hmm. Mythbuster did that. I remember them doing one where they was that peeing on like the. Did they do one about peeing on the third rail of like a, a subway? Back in meniscus at a recreational volleyball game. Or ACL man. How you doing, Sly Cooper? Welcome in. So for the plug outlets. Good lord. <laughs> Bring up a bar fight. Bouncer and Mesa guy. For. Didn't know it. Gotcha. Batteries? No, no, no. <laughs> the cocoon. Our away and it blew up. Yeah. Blue stress. If you use a torch on it. <laughs> yeah, th those came out pretty close together, but no, no, no. It's not. Those weren't intended to be together. So I said it wasn't possible to conduct electricity up the stream, but it's happened. Hmm. We don't really need to use the dog treats yet, so I'm not going to. Yes, the Mythbusters third round. I haven't watched that in a long time. And then they, they had a spinoff show of it that I didn't care for as much. Called what? White Rabbit or something? It was on. It was a Netflix show, and it didn't have uh, Adam and Jamie on it. It had the other three, and I mean they did the same basic stuff, but I don't know. I just didn't care for it as much. It's phone wires and a call came in. Ooh. So it sounded good. Good crit. Was immune, can one shot anyone he's targeting? Two chain guns.
get us back to down to five seconds. Do it all over again. Ah, uh, yes. DPS checks. DPS checks are gear plus rotation, huh? Raid leader days are coming back. Kind of hard. There was a, also a low power electric fin, so they would roam too much. Friends used to do competitions of who could hold it the longest. Man, oh man. Things you do to entertain in rural situations. I grew up in a super rural area and pretty poor. Did a lot of stupid things. Tori and Grant, they were cool. I uh, don't know if they can carry a whole show. Yeah, that's kind of how it was. Carry Tori and Grant. So it's called the White Rabbit Project or something like that. And basically what they do is they all three get a different, like, uh, sort of myth sort of thing in the beginning. And they all do it, do their own, and then they reconverge and talk about it. It was okay, but it just wasn't the same as Mythbusters. If you want to check it out, I think it's still on Netflix. Well, it must be on Netflix, right? It's a Netflix show. This reveal or relieve stress if you use holy water on it. We don't need to do that. Have to use a torch on this. It's a blockage specific to the Crimson Court. Comes great stories, that's true. <laughs> Just take our urinal chicken champion story, right? Croc number two. Alright, let's see how this one goes. Dog treat. The last croc fight here went really well. This one should... Well, I mean, you never know. It can be really RNG. Uh, we're going to go ahead and buff. Accuracy. Speed. Crit. Should use the torch already, but I didn't. Croc number two. Be a leader. Good in it. No, I do too, but it was more, I mean, I don't know. I guess it's probably apparent from the, the channel that I like doing stuff like teaching and leading. Lurking fear. So he can do Apex Predator uh, after submerging to either one or two or three people. That's the main RNG thing of this. Um... Minus accuracy. We still have a 90%. I'm going to go ahead and use Holy Water on her in case she gets teeth raked. And we'll try to stun him. Resist. Good crit. That means that bleed is going to last five rounds instead of three because she crit. Um, We're in okay shape still. I think I'm just going to... While we have the dog treats and he's not lurking. Or submerged rather. I'm going to go ahead and put damage in. You hate him? Here we go. Is he going to hit one, two, or three? Get one shot by Apex. Um, I think it's pretty close. I think Apex crit on Veteran is somewhere around, like, with, with the protection, though. I don't think so. But I think it's in the mid-30s. Low to mid-30s. Buff one more time. The bleed, though. Yeah, that's true. That is true. He heals and gets rid of that crap. It's embarrassing. Oddly, never direct it. Great members. Had the croc in a couple runs. Uh, well, here, here's the, here's the part. Here's where it happens. So. I need to guard her because he can use Teeth Rake and Teeth Rake can get her to death's door even without a crit and bleed her. So we have to guard her just in case. He didn't use it, he used Lurking, but he definitely can use Teeth Rake from the from the front. It's easy. Just always crit <laughs> and always dodge. Simple. We'll get dodge. Dodge tanking. I'm sure you'd have people watch. You might have a familiar lurker there, too. It's all good. Let's do story to Netflix to make a documentary. <laughs> if they contact... If it comes up, they contact me, yeah. 
I'll uh, we'll work something out. We'll keep guard uh, dodge taking for a, a little bit. It's we're back in great shape. Sorry, Blood Moon Deathless Run specifically. So in the early game, Shadow, uh, it is the early part of your game is gonna be one of the hardest parts. So are you trying to do all bosses too, or just finish the game with no deaths? Because it changes a little bit depending on what one of those goals you're trying to do. Because we did a torchless, deathless Blood Moon, but I didn't do all bosses, and it only took 57 weeks. Um, but if you're trying to do all bosses, you're looking at like around 90 weeks, which is a lot. Obviously, it's going to be a lot harder not to get to death in 90 weeks. Um, but, yeah, one of the biggest things is that early game. Early game is going to be a crapshoot. Uh, you don't have trinkets. You don't have... Ooh, triple apex again. Oh, triple dodge. <laughs> you don't have the characters you want. You don't have good trinkets. You know, you don't... Uh, you don't have a wide roster. You have level zeros going in, and they get extra stress just because they're level zeros. Uh, so you're going to get a lot of deaths probably in the first ten weeks. So... Get, you know, get ready for that sort of thing. Get ready to start over quite a bit in those weeks. Um, not all bosses yet. Like the info for the future. Gotcha. There's a, I mean, there's different ways to do it. But basically, if you're using full light, one of the easiest ways to do a deathless run is to dodge cheese. If you want to call it cheese. In Darkest Dungeon, you can get all the way to 95% dodge. And if you have all your characters, or even like two of your characters at 95 dodge it is incredibly difficult for the enemy to kill you and in full light you actually get bonus dodge of the full light so going after things that are like camo cloaks getting those early camo cloaks and sun cloaks um using a lot of man at arms things like that help out a lot but aside from that, it's just doing the normal stuff you do in a playthrough. And, I mean, you can still get unlucky any time. You can run into a quad spider, get surprised, and get just destroyed. But um, if you want to give yourself the best chance of success, I would say try to min-max. Use classes that you know are the best at what they do. So, for instance, using a Hellion in the front line instead of, like, Bounty Hunter. A Bounty Hunter is a good class, but he's not... You know, the hell is just better in, in position one. I don't know if that helps you out too much, Shadow. If you have any, like, specific questions about it, like, you know, oh, what what building should I focus on, or what trinkets, or which heroes do you recommend not using, or anything like that might be easier for me to answer. I'd like to see the dog treat for the Baron. Uh, I don't know. Nah, it's fine. Just being in front's kind of annoying. I didn't equip. Uh, didn't equip finale going into this fight. We can reposition him here though. Let's get that bleed off just in case. We're gonna get a triple apex again. No, single. Single, no crit. Take it. It's a really good croc fight. Stream, don't like them, like, don't want to be. Most of you games make you insane. Never in, in good. Stream, you should stick to PvE games. I mean, there are people that have had their stream become famous because they rage, right? I don't like watching that kind of stream, though. And I used to be that way. I mean, I'm I'm competitive, uh, competitive for sure. But I guess, I don't know. As I've gotten older, I, I don't know. Things don't bother me as much like they used to. Let's buff again. Sweet Demon Fluffy. Sweet Demon Fluffy, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it, Fluffy. Boss to stay away from or anything. I made it to like week 30. Several bosses down. But a spider mob crit into blight insta kill. Yeah. That happened. So. Bosses to stay away from. So when I'm doing a deathless run where I don't have to do all bosses. Basically. I. 
stay out of the wield once the wield gets to veteran. I don't really do the wield anymore. Wield uh, has the... It seems like it has more spiders than the other ones. I'm not sure if that's true. But it has the tree branch smackdown, which can get you to zero very easily. Anyone, unless they're, they have a lot of protection. Uh, but as far as like which heroes I avoid in deathless runs, I'll use the occultist early, but then as we get better trinkets for our, our Vestal, I'll stop using the occultist very much. I don't use the antiquarian. In deathless runs, I don't use... Um, the, the Grave Robber. The Grave Robber has way too long of a, or a wide of a damage range, so sometimes she does low damage, which you don't want. But on top of that, she has one of the lowest healths in the game, and she's one of the fastest. And speed is really good, but the problem with her is because she has low health, she'll get to Death's Door easier than a lot of characters, and then once she's at Death's Door, she might still go first the next round and die to the Bleeder of the Blight. So I stay away from her. I don't really use the Arbalist or Musketeer very much. I don't use the... Um, the Bounty Hunter very much, even though I think he's okay. okay. Week 22. Yeah, I mean, Yong, if you're ready for it. Yeah, I usually don't open it until late 20s, but that's fine. Subbed, but not following. No worries, Fluffy. So as far as bosses... If you're trying to deathless run, you want to minimize as much RNG as you can, right? Like, that's that's the thing that'll kill you, is just bad RNG. So, bosses that are more RNG than others, so, like, the flesh is a very RNG-heavy fight. You probably want to avoid the veteran and champion flesh, unless... I mean... In general, Linus Warpaint. Uh, the Prophet can be a really RNG-heavy fight. The Croc... Do I ever use Antiquarian? Not anymore, really. I mean, I think the Antiquarian's good also, but I mainly only use her for money, and I don't really need her for money in these runs because we get so much ex extra money from the, it being torchless anyway. Uh, I'll also use her for, like, dodge cheesing things, but again, not often. How you doing, Yong, by the way? And so, also, I'll say this. If you're doing a deathless run, one thing that's hard to do, it's still hard for me sometimes, too. If you're trying to do a deathless run, and I'm not even talking about zero light, um, and if you're not doing all bosses, so you still have the time limit, right? If you're doing deathless blood moon, if you have 100 weeks. But if you're not doing all bosses, you have a lot of wiggle room. So don't be afraid to run away. Uh, if you're not doing all bosses, you probably have, like, you could abandon, like, 30 weeks and still end up beating the game. So, even though it's hard, sometimes there will be one room battle left. You know there's only one. You've scouted it. That's the last place, but you have three afflictions. You know, go home. <laughs> She's a blood suit. Yeah, I was waiting until she was wasting. Doing an assignment, taking a break. Seal for now. Thank you, Ted. Yeah. We're actually not that far away from the Baron, huh? We gotta go over here, go up and get the... Uh, go up to this area and then go back down. We're gonna wait to give him blood, too. So, torch on this to relieve stress. Gonna do that. Yeah, chill. You'll get your blood. Uh, okay, over to the yellow door, I believe. Do I want to get the other red key? Fatty Echo Sugar for the Baron, <laughs> yeah. So these three can cause disease, but uh, we have the Crimson Curse on several people, so. They can't get diseased. Now, they do really big damage to marked targets. So, killing her before she marks is really important. So, I'm going to go ahead and use blood. That'll bloodlust us. We'll get 25% extra damage. Go ahead and buff. Speed actually crit. Sango, come get your love. Come and get your blood. Twitch sings. Here we go. Munch, 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 munch. Ooh, good dodge. Good dodge. 
Just need six damage, Fluffkins. That'll do. That'll do. Game, what is the story? So, super long story short, your ancestor made a lot of really bad decisions and screwed a lot of things up, and you're trying to fix things. Uh, to, com to add on to that a bit, basically, you receive a letter. In the beginning of the game, you receive a letter from your ancestor. And the letter basically says, you, you know, you remember where you come from, you, you know the, the seat of our... You, you remember our venerable house. Anyway, I'm not going to go into the monologue. But uh, anyway, uh, it tells you, you know, you remember this house from when you were younger. Um, well, turns out I was really bored one time and there was legends of this area d way down in the catacombs below this. And so I took a bunch of people and we were like, we're going to figure out what's go on, going on down here. They go down there, they end up finding a door, they open the door and it unleashes eldritch evil upon the estate and possibly upon the world. Um... And your ancestor has done a lot of bad things, and he does even more, presumably because of this eldritch evil living below the manor. And you're trying to basically right his wrongs. Long story made medium. And so it was a bad man who got bored and messed up stuff for his own amusement. Now you must pay for it. <laughs> Obliterated. And each... Each area has its own lore behind it, its own story, you know. Success so, so. clearly in view. Or is it merely Do I want to go get the other red key or not? I mean, I don't know. We don't really need it. I mean, what trinket would I want? Save the Hamlet. Yep. Have I read the Mountains of Madness? Yes. Where's my book? I have read it, but it's been a long time. As always. Up everything, Ancestor. That's right. How you doing, Gellin? Hey, Opilius. Thank you for converting from the Twitch Prime to the Tier 1. Thank you for continuing the, uh, the sub, Opilius. Appreciate it. Help support me, stream, my family. So, for anyone that doesn't know, I didn't know this the first time I went through it. I actually didn't know this, like, the first two or three times I did the Crimson Court. But you can use a shovel on the wine crate. And it will give you a camp. So you can camp in these long dungeons. These epic length dungeons. Uh, if you do that. Don't risk the biscuit for the treasure. Oh, yeah, I'm not going to do any risk. I'm just... If we're in great shape out of the Baron, I might go after the extra. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see, we stun this guy. He's the real killer here. I mean, these guys obviously can crit and stuff, but... Uh, we're going to stress heal back down on this one. There's no real big threat to stress in this fight. So... So we can kill him before he gets any stress in. I mean, these guys can crit, obviously, but they don't cause stress on their own. The risk is worth it, right until it isn't anymore. Truer words were never s spoken, fatty. That also goes along with the... It's always the run until it isn't. Uh, yeah, we'll keep doing the stress. Bad stuff. Did more bad stuff. Cursed your family and estate. Bring all the monsters. Set free. Collected loot. Fix all the stupid stuff we did until you eventually destroy the core of it all. Yep, pretty much. Pretty much. Obviously, there are some other specific things with each each part, but for the for the most part, yep. Yep, yep. Hey, there's one of those crits. Dazed, reeling, about to break. Our community grows. Smurfo 420. You know what they say, it's 420 somewhere. Smurfo, thank you for the follow. Pretty sure that's the saying, right? Hey, Korma, welcome in. How you doing, Korma? Hey. Kill it. Hit it with the club until it dies. How master. <laughs> also true. 
the blood pump. Game should you be hoarding cash or spending it? You can never get far because you run out of money. Healing people's afflictions and stress issues. So the biggest thing, there's two big things I'll say about that. So to kind of answer your question in a roundabout way, there's two main things. So one, try to get rid of as much stuff as you can in a dungeon. So if you can, save your camp to do a full stress recovery. In the cove, make sure you bring a lot of medicinal herbs so that you can use the eerie coral to get rid of negative quirks. Uh, bring people that can cure a disease through camping. The more crap you can get off your characters shall gather. Uh, in the dungeon, the, the less you have to spend at home. Let me say hello to Sneaky and then I'll finish answering your question. Be wary. Sneaky Teak, thank you the host. Sneaky Teak, I appreciate it. Welcome on in. <clears throat> Those of you coming from Sneaky Teak's stream, welcome or welcome back. I'm Adam. This is Adam vs. Everything, and we are playing some Darkest Dungeon, a world first challenge in Darkest Dungeon. Feel free to click the now hosting Adam vs. Everything. Send you over to this channel where you can hang out, lurk, participate, whatever you want to do. If you have any questions about Darkest Dungeon, let me know. How you doing, Sneaky Teak? What you up to? Voyage, welcome over. Don't do short missions. That too. Um, that helps too. So the second part of it, I would say, as far as running out of money, is uh, don't be afraid to dismiss your heroes. So if you are playing on... Um, If you, if you are playing on um, Darkest or Radiant. What was I talking about keys anyway? Anyway, if you're playing on Darkest or Radiant, there's no time limit. There's no game over that you can get on those modes. So don't be afraid to dismiss people. So if you have a hero that's gotten a bunch of diseases and a, you know stress and uh, bad quirks that are reinforced and expensive, you get new heroes every week. So one of the tough things to get used to in this game especially early on, is that you aren't the heroes. The heroes aren't your friends. They're not your characters. They are a, a resource. They are a means to the end. Welcome they are a way to reach the final part of the game. So don't be afraid to dismiss them. You'll get new heroes every week until you can get uh, situated, until you get settled. Um, and so that's the long answer. Short answer is, yes, don't spend all your gold on correcting the early heroes. Sneaky Teak, one year. Guys, if you could drop some love and sandwiches to Sneaky Teak, one more rotation around the sun together. You're on Twitch. Why, I remember when Sneaky Teak was a strapping young lad without a checkbox next to his name. <laughs> Sneaky Teak, thank you for the year of support. Appreciate you, Teak. Good evening, how is the challenge? It's going all right. We've had some really rough times in this challenge. We almost lost the run tonight last night but you know what we're still alive a new subscriber on level three without good quirks in the early game yeah we are building an army <laughs> another army member for fatty can fly fatty thank you for the gift sub to uh jiang shi jiang shi welcome to the sub club you now have all the emotes from the channel you won't see ads here anymore fatty thank you for the support and uh oh to ch to Chibuddy G. I missed that one. There was two of them. <laughs> Thank you, Fatty. Do good stuff over here. Yeah, thanks, Teak. Don't use your money. Do you ever use Finale on the Jester? Uh, I use it as a boss finisher. That's about it. Makes a lot of sense. You're the mayor of the town, passing through people. Yeah, pretty much. Like, your job... So, I mean, it's, it's like if you were... Um, Let's say you're like an army general, right? And there's some kind of enemy that is threatening the world or something. And yes, you know, you, you don't want your soldiers to die. But you know it's going to happen. You know you have to sacrifice some people to stop this thing from the greater good. Or to... You have to sacrifice them for the greater good to stop this thing. So, that's one of the things that took me a long time. I, you know, I used to name the character... Now I name the characters after chat members... But I used to name the characters after, like, myself and my wife and stuff. Not anymore. <laughs> Five years. Fatty, thank you again. Does Resurrected Hero still count as a death in Blood Moon? N no. It, it reverses that death. 
So you can only have a resurrection occur if you have three dead heroes, and then it's about a 1% chance to get that, uh, get that event. And if you do, it'll reduce the, the death counter, yeah. It's kind of cool. It's a Christmas miracle. It's miracle. It is. So what were you doing, Sneaky Teak? I missed it when you came in because of all the craziness. This expedition at least no, there aren't any darker dungeons out there. Jaso, as far as I'm aware, this is the darkest we've found. No. How are you doing, Jaso? Risk of rain. I still, it's still weird to me. Like, uh, I know the game is probably good, you know? Our community. But it's so weird for a game to have its first game be a platformer, a 2D platformer, and then its sequel to end up being a 3D, uh, without it being, like, classified as a new game entirely. I don't know. But, uh, I need to try it out. Fire, thank you for the follow, Fire. Appreciate it. It's gonna rain too. Just like Mario. Yeah, that's a good point. I, I prefer the 2D Mario still. Speaking of Mario, I'm so excited about Mario Maker 2. I think I'm gonna stream it. I think I'm gonna stream it some. I don't know if I'm gonna stream it a lot. If it's gonna be a split game only. I don't know. But I'm excited for it. Super... Uh, well... She just went to Craving and then auto-looted that right on that same area. Game 18, the aesthetic of Risk Game 1, also feeling fresh. It's really natural. It's weird, though. You agree, right? To go from one extreme to the other. And in Risk of Rain 1, you were so small. You were like this little bitty dot, almost, right? It was hard to differentiate characters apart. Uh, player characters. There wasn't much difference between that little bitty pixel character. And then now you're this, like, big 3D thing. I've only heard good things about it. It's just a, it's a jarring change sometimes when I look at it. See the thread of the original game? It's a platform to 3D shooter. Yeah. First Risk Rain, can't wait to play the second one. Uh, I am going to buff our speed accuracy and crit. These guys can do a lot of damage. But I am, um, I don't know. Do I care about... We're not as likely to stun one as a mosquito, but you know what? Like, stress is not a big deal right now. Let's try to stun one. Keep darkness fully lit. Oh, you mean like the, the graphics? No. I haven't been. Full color darkness or whatever? Is that the one you're talking about? Something like that? I know Big Joe uses it. I prefer not using it, but uh, if that's the one you're talking about. You think it changes the game? What do you mean? I mean, I'm not, I haven't been using it, but I'm curious what you mean. The difficulty difference seems to be huge. Do you, wait, do you think it actually makes the game still... Oh man, if that's the case, is there any way you can go through the mod files and see if that's the case for that? Like, I haven't used it, which is good. But I'm curious if Big Joe... <laughs> I would feel bad if that was the case for Big Joe, but... Such as no darkness. Yeah. But just in general, the fully lit darkness. Level head. This game with a super concept Mario Maker. Plays viewers levels. No, I haven't heard of it. Find Dark Dungeon. Time to take a look. Yeah, I wonder if we can ask someone. If only Claire still came to our channel. Claire hates us now. <laughs> Just kidding. Claire's really busy. Highlight and pitch black. Ooh, good dodge. Yeah, I mean, the only mods we're using is faster combat animations and the one that makes it so we don't have to uh, click the torch off after, like, the Vestal uses her skill. And I did ask Claire specifically before we started the challenge if she uh, 
look at those ones and let us know and make sure it didn't change anything about the game itself. And she concurred what I do. I don't know. I'm getting more lucky. I've gotten in 30 attempts. Hmm. No, it's kind of interesting that you mentioned that, because that's one of the reasons I stopped using it. It felt like we were having an easier time when I used it, and I was almost like, maybe this fully lit darkness isn't just graphical, maybe it is, um, you know, even though it shows zero torch, it's actually counting as radiant or something, but I don't know, I have no way of knowing unless someone looks through the mod. She hates that corpse. Be worth checking out. It would suck if that was the case, though. Like I said, luckily I haven't been using it, but I... Ooh, another good dodge! Ooh, even with focus ring! Super lucky. It'd really suck for, like, Big Joe and people that use it. Brought low and driven into the mud. Um, we're not here for loot. I gotta remind myself. If only the green key. Could staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption. You're not here for loot. Throw down the gold, Adam. Adam, throw down the gold. All right, we're good. He listened. <laughs> There's a secret room right here. I think. You have to get a critical scout through here, but and it has a, uh, a level five hero. It's level three. No, it's level five. For Baron. Baron's level three. It's all the vampire enemies. Blood dragons. Like, yeah, I like that too. I really like that concept. And it makes a lot of sense, right? In a world where there's this vampirism type thing that can be spread through the transfer of blood in one way or another and bites, uh, it would be much more terrifying if it was carried by mosquitoes. Oh crap, went the wrong way. Go this way. Than it would be if bats had it. In a world. Are you talking about Little Tortilla Boy? This is brilliant. Yeah. Interesting take. I really like that. That version. Alrighty. Three man servants. Surprise them. Because we got an actual scout, not just the normal default game that you would never stream. Hmm. No one has ever asked me that before. Favorite game that I would never stream. That's a good question. Man, I don't know. Boss, you think is the hardest? Countess. Countess. I think the Viscount is the easiest. Countess is the hardest. Fort knife? No, I don't. <laughs> Did you shoot Larry? Any of the hentai games? Yeah, but I don't love them. As far as I know, I haven't played them. I feel like mosquitoes actually drink blood. So you need to make eggs, yeah. Fun fact. Fork knife. I don't know, because I'm trying to think, like, why wouldn't I stream it if I liked it? Like, because the thing is, I know there's a lot of games that I like that aren't good for the stream, you know? And so, but then we could play it on, like, Monday or on Split. This is Adam vs. Sentai. Next, the Currency Court came out. That would be kind of interesting, too. Hmm. What about you, Sneaky Teak? Do you have an answer to that, if you were to ask yourself? Good heal. Sky of Five. Yeah, because, I mean, without Monday night, so we play a story game or whatever, or just, you know, we play through a game on Monday night that's not a good stream game. So if, if it wasn't for that night, my answer might be a lot easier. Like, Dragon Age isn't really something I would have normally streamed, but on Monday nights, you know, I can justify it. Ooh, that sucks. A biomechanic grindfest, JRPGs. Gotcha. Yeah, I don't know. 
Well, I'd, I mean, <laughs> I was offered a bounty today that I denied, but it wasn't something I loved. Twitch Sings offered me a bounty for for an entire hour of singing. Boy, did I I never thought I could get money for singing, that's for sure. Star Wars Rebellion. Sorry, embrace the JRPG. Stream life. Hey. Uh, El Sande, welcome back. How have you been? Get this healing. Why well, deny that one? Because it was a it was an option. I can either choose Hearthstone, which I haven't played in years, but I was good at. I can choose Hearthstone or Twitch Sings. Not only does Hearthstone mean I don't have to sing, but it also paid a lot more money. So, it was an easy decision. Whole hour sounds glorious. Cletus would have been amazing. That's what people said earlier about Cletus. Remind yourself that overconfidence is for Windows slow, 95. Killer. When's Hearthstone? Uh, they're supposed to send me a key for the new story mode of the, ex the new expansion, so I'm waiting on the key. How much are you just sing? Oh my god, I don't know that I could do it. I don't know, Phoenix. It's a dangerous, dangerous game we're playing. Join the return? Yeah, well, we don't always play Darkest Dungeon here anymore. Not only Darkest Dungeon, I guess I should say. Um, but, you can always get your Darkest Dungeon fix here or questions. Glad you, glad you are into the Darkest Dungeon again and back here. We don't need another campsite. I'm not going to worry about it right now. If we have to return, maybe. Stream the full Persona 5 game. If you can't be one, you life it wouldn't play. Uh, how come you're not allowed to play them? Something about music or? Sometimes I sit down and play for an hour. I've never played any other Persona games. All right, let's go ahead and camp. Well, let's go ahead and get it's barren time barren time uh what do we want to get out of this camp we want crit damage probably that's six tiger's eye maybe that's nine and then pray yeah there we go there's our 12. said you were only allowed to play up to a certain date and then streaming past that we get you sued story spoilers it's crazy Play loop that is so engaging, basically weaponized. Uh, is it tends to do all the boss of the time limit? Uh, I mean, yeah, if you do everything perfectly, you can beat the game, including all bosses, all DLC, on about week like 88 or so. Um, so, I mean, you have like a 10 week or so, 10 to 12 week leeway, you know? But it's definitely in your mind, like, okay, I, I can't do short dungeons. If I do a short dungeon, it's going to put us behind, you know? So there is that. Hey, Bombin, how's it going? Bombin, I looked at that deck, but I had no idea exactly what I was looking at. But I did see the Planeswalker that summons dragons, and I knew what you meant about killing someone with dragons when the deck doesn't start with dragons. Okay, so 10% crit, 25% damage. Maybe I actually put this on the Houndmaster. Because Houndmaster doesn't actually have accuracy. Yeah, let's do that. And then pray for the uh, protection. Hey, then, Robert. <laughs> nice sub you got there. I think they stopped that. Yeah, that's weird. Alright, on our way to the Baron. Gotta change out Finale. Let me go ahead and, yeah, let me just do it. Craving, all right. <clears throat> I don't know. Am I going to use Finale, really? What if I need Inspiring Tune? I don't know that I'm going to use Finale here. I mean, I'm definitely going to use the buff. I'm definitely going to use the bleed. Uh, I don't know, actually. Is the finale kind of worthless now? It does a huge hit. Like, uh, if, if we have finale built up, we could actually crit him and not even have to do phase three. 
So it just depends. I might not use Slice Off here very much. Like, Slice Off I would use to open an egg, but the Baron's going to be position one after we've opened all the eggs. So Slice Off won't even hit him. Uh, and then we're going to be buffing anyway. So that will only be for opening eggs, but I can open eggs with Dirk Stab. The problem with opening with Dirk Stab is that it moves us forward. I don't know. I might not worry about Finale. It does a lot of damage, though. We could probably hit him for a Finale crit. For, like, 50s or 60s. That's a big chunk at the end of the, the battle. I usually don't take Finale in here, and I probably shouldn't change things up. Phase 3 worth not having the bleed for phase 1. Yeah, I don't know. The That's not, like, the Baron will only ever be in position 1 unless we pop the eggs. You know, we get unlucky with popping the eggs. I think I'm just going to go how I usually go. You know what? I've beaten the Baron, like, 10 times or more. And I've never needed Finale, so I'm, I'm not going to risk things now. Now, we aren't going to use Breakthrough. So, I'm going to take Adrenaline Rush. That could save us. So freaking Nat is back. All right, let's do it. Let's head to the Baron. The Baron. Tim. The Baron is actually harder than the Viscount, which is kind of interesting. Hey Dan, welcome in. Boss time, yeah. How you been, Dan? So here's how the Baron works. You pop an egg. If there is a mob in there, you kill it. If it's the Baron, you need to keep popping other eggs. Now, your he your healing skills are locked as long as uh, the eggs are up. So, you want to pop one open at a time. Bleeds on the eggs transfer to whatever's inside. Um, that's good. Now, there is... There is some uh, benefit... Okay, she's wasting. You want to use the blood. There is some benefit to uh, not killing all the little mobs before the Baron. The Baron will actually buff them. And he has three actions per turn. So if the Baron spends one of his rounds buffing a mob like this that isn't super strong, it's better than if he's hitting you with a heart attack, you know? Heart attack. Heart attack. Let's pop this one. What's good? How you doing, cameraman? He was in egg number two. <laughs> Usually he's in number four. <laughs> Not always. So we can stun him. Good crit. He's stunned. So our healing is going to be locked until we finish off these eggs. Oh, it resisted. Now the problem... Oh, God. Another resist. One of the problems with having so much speed right now is he's going to take all three of his actions back to back to back. Pretty much. Just going to bust that. Post back. Let's see you on the same run. Last checked. Yeah, just barely. We've almost lost it. What's your opinion on the war paint trinket? I don't like it that much. I, I mean, I have it right here. It's, oh, look at those dodges. <laughs> I don't know. It's one of those trinkets that like, it doesn't work. It doesn't do anything for a long time. Like until she's below 75% health, all it's doing is giving you stress. I don't like that. I don't like trinkets that aren't helping you most of the time or all the time, you know? So I, I don't prefer that one, but uh it's not as bad as some of the trinkets are from the uh, Crimson Court, but I don't care for it a whole lot. It's crit. <laughs> Saying head rather than climb back or covering. Yeah. I, I would agree with that. Uh, let's see if we can get the stun in on him. They're good in the good times, yeah. 
there are definitely some wind more tree. Ooh, good dodge. I'm so glad I stacked dodge, as always. There are definitely a few, like, wind more things that you don't end up banking on, you know, but. You want ways to recover, but things like. So it's like those trinkets that give you death, death blue resist, right? Like, yeah. If the death blue resist works, it's, it's not a guarantee to work. Great. But not just that. Like, there's a. You don't want it to work because you have to be at zero health. Not saying anything What's about what's going on here. <laughs> Just having some good luck. Anyway, you don't want to be at death's door, right? It only gives you that extra damage. It only gives you that death blow resist. Dodge at death's door. So it feels like it's just a wasted stat budget until that point, And you don't even want to be at that point. Same thing for war paint. It's like that trinket that gives you dodge if you're at high health. And then if you get lower, it actually lowers your, lowers your dodge. <laughs> Virtue and death blow, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> this is a lot different than the last time we fought the Baron on run four. Easy for some reason. Yeah, Vi Viscount is super easy. I think it should be reversed. Crap. No, oh, he's not doing it yet. Okay. So we definitely want to get a heal in. Before uh, this next round. Hopefully he goes back. Act 2. That's the second act. The Viscount, we usually kill him in like one and a half rounds. The Viscount, you can just destroy. So, I agree. Viscount's the second boss. He hits pretty hard, but you can, he has such low health. You, I mean, we just... On run four, I think we killed the Viscount in like five actions or something. It's crazy. Viscount is in the second one. Yeah, Countess is the final. Countess is definitely the hardest one. She's really RNG though. I mean, I know a lot of people say the whole game is RNG, but the Countess can be a very RNG heavy fight. Because you sometimes you get... Uh, where she doesn't use the love letter, but maybe like once the entire time. And she only goes into her uh, her final form like a couple times. And then other times you have it where, you know, she's like doing love letter every round. Going to her final phase every round. That was horrifying. Hey, it's Chevalier. Yeah, and we've had countesses where she, like, is super easy, but she is definitely one of those RNG heavy fights. Be Countess Deathless other than dodge stacking? Other than dodge stacking, I don't think so. That's what I do, because it's, it's easy to do and it's consistent. That's what I still do. Uh, bleed teams are okay against her. Like Hellion Flagellant. Hellion Flagellant and then, like, Occultist Vestal is actually decent. But the problem is uh, you're going to end up stressed before the end of it. You're going to end up with some afflictions unless you're lucky. Sway, yeah. Sh shovels a lot. Does the dot bomb thing, yeah. She's rough. So the best thing to do on her is to just dodge cheese, so to say. Just stack dodge, in my opinion. But that's the case on a lot of the game. Dodge is super good. Let's see, speed of 11 versus speed of 9. But I do want to get a, our buff up, so let's go ahead and do that. First time you got butt handed to you seven times. Kind of kept critting on her heels. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's another thing. The very first time I fought the Countess was my first Blood Moon run, blindly. My first blind Blood Moon, I fight the Countess, and we lost. We got a game over. Oh, 
Oh, that was about as good as we could get. Some of the roses. Hey, red apples, what you talking about? The eggs? <laughs> talking about the eggs? It's buff. Oh, the roses. Oh, I gotcha. So anytime there's an egg up, your healing skills are disabled. My bad. Yeah, the ro the they look like roses. So anytime any egg is up on this boss fight, all healing skills are disabled. Should probably do the heal. From Darkest. Lost the lost characters to the Countess dungeon. Yeah, it can be really rough. Do damage. Yeah, all healing. Health healing, not stress healing. It's locked. Yeah, I've never watched them, but I know they voice uh, the Baron, the Viscount, and something else. Gnawing uncertainty. Fnatic, that's the other one. Most traumatic first time encounters, yeah. Fnatic's the other one. Yes, it is. Over oh, a big crit there. We're in great shape, guys. You never once encountered the Fnatic. We fought him tonight. On purpose, though. I was hunting for him. You might ask yourself, why would any sane man hunt the Fnatic? Well, your answer lies within that question. Stay sane. <laughs> I do a Johnson unit. Ooh, good dodge. Who knew dodge was so good, right? Act three. Oh no! He does a 36 healing crit. Ah, no act three yet. Are we winning? Yeah, we're winning. <laughs> We're winning. He hasn't crit us a single time. Shh. <laughs> We've dodged so many moves and kept him stunned fairly well and gone through the axe pretty quickly. He hasn't crit us a single time. But shh, be cool. <laughs> How you doing, stuff? So your counter has killed six of your characters. Man. Uh, yeah, let's get some damage in before he goes away. Healed, so you're good. <laughs> yeah, that's how it works. Oh! <laughs> Do we have a man at arms tucked away somewhere? <laughs> Is there a man at arms under your dress there, Vestal? Third act, it's alright. It's a 66. Don't drink it. Oh, I know, I do. I shouldn't say these things. I know. Whoa there! Chill. Now's when that finale would come in handy, but. Is your post good in this fight? Yeah, it is. It is. Um, I actually like taking the High Woman in place of the Houndmaster a lot, but the reason I didn't is because the Houndmaster makes it easier to stall on the way here to stress heal. Uh, the High Woman also works good because of Reposed, and Bleed opening the eggs is good too. Yeah. Crowd Pleaser is going to trigger uh, it a lot, you know? Esquire. Uh, we'll wait to use the holy water on him. We'll buff again. Solve check coming soon. Eh, maybe. Maybe not. 49 crit. 
Please don't be in this egg. You know what? I'm going to do this. Plus, we should in Flagellant for this mission. Yeah, that one can work too. I prefer... The so now that the Flagellant's punished doesn't hit position 3, I really prefer the Hellion in position 1 over the Flagellant in that party. But that's a good party for it too. Esquire again, huh? Screen store until... Oh, yeah, yeah. Clock of melee. Yeah, I need to grab that. Alright, let's see if we can kill him before he gets uh, his action. Maybe. Maybe. We need a big crit. Not quite. But we'll get him this round. He's out of axe. Good stuff. He's dead. <laughs> Just critting the crap out of him. It's a pretty good fight. It's probably the best Baron fight I've ever had. Uh, on run four, our Houndmaster almost died on the Baron fight. The jig is up. The game is done. The jig is up. The news is out. Sharpened letter opener. Oh, that's good. And too bad I don't use the grave robber. <laughs> that is a good trinket. I really like lunge man. That that makes her destroy things, but she's too fragile. GG. We're actually in good shape, huh? We're actually in good shape. Maybe I should stick around for a little bit. Get some more loot. What could go wrong, right? Holy crap, it's after 3 a.m. Uh. Do I want the other chest? Um, This is just another red key. There's no, there's no reason to loot this. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I tell you what it is, and I do it anyway. Why would that person do that? Oh, it does. It stacks. Last time I didn't do that. I didn't realize it stacked. I didn't remember that at all. Why are there attributes below them? Uh, so what that means? There, there's a set. So there's two for every hero, and if you get both set pieces and wear them on that hero. It also activates the, the set bonus at the bottom, the gray. Can we stress heal before we go home? There is a camp. Uh, there's a camp right over here. Yeah, it's the... So just set bonuses, yeah. Start trinkets are near useless. Yeah, it's weird, right? So it seems like a bit of the um, the Crimson Court trinkets, like the idea behind half of the trinket was to uh, improve on something that's not used very much. But the downside is the other trinket generally improves on the other crap, and you're you're usually specializing one or the other, right? So it's kind of weird to. A good example is like the Jesters. I don't know. The Jester has one side of the trinket that helps him in position one. Helps him on a damage build. build, build. Sorry, Cletus came out. Uh, and then the other one helps him with stress. Like, there's a lot of things like that. And I understand, like, of course, you could use Finale at the beginning. And then once you get to the back, then you can be better stress healing. But it seems better to specialize in this game. So... In my opinion. As Sorry, Cletus came round, out. <laughs> so too will resistance. Um Yeah, I mean we might as well we're in good shape. I might as well go grab some loot while we're here. Maybe we'll even go get that other trinket. Now there are some great Crimson Court trinkets, you know, but I feel like most of the sets aren't worth it. 
Uh, dividing them up can be really good, so... I mean, the Salacious Diary is fine. Uh, I really like... Yeah, so that's a camp. We'll go grab it. Uh, dissection Kit. Dissection Kit can turn the... Uh, Plague Doctor into a pretty decent melee bleed character. Shovel on that for a loot. Uh, how many times have you played the game? Have you ever used any more game-changing mods? Uh, so, hey, King Dan, thank you for coming in. Dan, I have uh, beaten the game on stream probably close to 20 times, I would say. 15 to 20 times. And, yeah, we have done modded playthroughs. So, every now and then, usually after we finish a challenge, we'll do a modded playthrough. And we have done... Uh, in, in fact, right before this challenge, we did a modded class only playthrough. So... We had a mod that got rid of all the normal characters, and we replaced them with about 18 modded classes. I've also done Pitchlight Dungeon, which is a huge overhaul mod to the game. And I'm looking forward to Moonlit Dungeon, which is another one of those. Uh, so yeah, we play with mods sometimes. For this challenge, we're not, just because of the nature of, you know, making sure the challenge is valid sort of thing. But... Flagent sets are meta-fitting. Yeah, Man in Arms, I actually like his quite a bit. Um... I mean, repost is great, and improving his repost. So we're gonna do sharpened spear. Uh, I'm gonna do tiger's eye, and then I'm actually gonna undo some stress, I think. So we'll do turn back time, and you know what? Let's just go ahead with battle trance again. Buffs are blight, which he only has one skill. Yeah, exactly. I think it would have been nice. So, like I said, some of the Crimson Court trinkets are good. Got an team ambushed. It's a 1 in 3 chance to get ambushed. This is not a good fight, either. Shuffle's not great. We'll go ahead and buff. Um, not many of the set bonuses are great. Like, not many of the set bonuses are good enough to use two separate trinkets that help two different things. Um... I'm going to go ahead and back up. Use blood here. We're now bloodlusted with extra damage. We need to kill this Chevalier. Oh, I didn't change her move out after the boss. Whoops. <laughs> I wanted to use breakthrough there. We'll stun it. But yeah, exactly like you were saying. If the trinkets had been fully geared towards making moves that weren't used very much better, I think that would be pretty awesome. And maybe even the set bonus helped otherwise, you know? But exactly the same like you were saying about the Grave Robber. You do three damage. Three's our minimum here. Perfect. I'm going to buff one more round at least. We're hoping that he does a rend. Of course, last time I said that he crit rended us, but... It's alright. What we don't want to see is Skull Toss. Anything other than Skull Toss is acceptable. But Skull Toss is a scary move. And uh, we almost lost our Vestal earlier tonight. In fact, we had a ghoul do three Skull Tosses in a row. And one of them crit. Claire's mod, the overhaul trinkets. Yeah, she has one. It's called um, Claire's Curiosities. And they're 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 like balanced trinkets too, right? There's uh there's some pretty neat ones, but they're not really like overpowered, which is nice. So yeah. That's a good mod to use. We used that when we did Pitch Black Dungeon. Now, since I started this challenge, a lot of new modded classes have come out. Some new uh, modded areas have come out too modded monsters so we'll probably try another maybe not a full mod run but like a partial mod run after this sometime hey virtually non-existent welcome back Hal it's fine Hal can give the worries though the worries of the disease that gives you additional stress try the banshee boss fight no not yet I think that came out after we were started doing these challenges 
Someone else mentioned it to me, but no, I haven't done it yet. Resist. In her bloodlust, she healed herself. And we'll buff one more time. Hers a really good boss fight. Should try it sometime. Yeah, there, I mean, there's definitely mods that have come out since I started this that I want to try. A collection created after more than 200 hours of testing and searching on Steam Workshop. It's your greatest works yet. Features 55 mods, adding a ton of classes, trinkets, two locations, bosses, enemies, guest types, expanded provision, more buildings. Um, it's possible. Does the job. Yeah, you can always send me that if you want. Just whisper it to me, or you can even post it on our Discord. So our Discord is not sub only. Uh, Expedition Discord if you want to join, and we have a Darkest Dungeon channel. So if anyone ever has Darkest Dungeon questions or want to discuss Darkest Dungeon, you can always do it there, even if we're not streaming. Uh, or you can just whisper it to me. I usually don't use anything that's going to um, change like loot and stuff, though. I, I don't mean like extra trinkets. On a modded run, that's fine. But for me, I don't use anything that expands inventory, really. Because I think inventory management is a big part of the game. Uh, having... Now, obviously some of it doesn't make sense, right? You, you have one extra ruby, you can shove that somewhere. Even if you have to put it in nature's pocket for a little while, you can take that extra ruby. You know, put it in your mouth for a while to get home. Um, but, for the most part, I think the inventory management is a big risk-reward part of the game that's pretty important to maintain. But, I might try some of the other ones. And I probably tried a lot of them. Nature's pocket. <laughs> hey, Hardens, welcome in. How you doing, Hardens? Uh, so, the large corpse eater can crit anyone to death's door if they're marked. Anyone to death's door if they're marked. Unless they have a lot of protection or something like that, but generally. The old prison pocket. We're gonna buff again. And we're going to try to keep it stunned every other round. So when you crit with a move like that, you have a 20% additional chance to apply whatever you're applying. So we had a 20% extra chance to stun there, which is awesome. Crit, crit, crit. Double crit trinkets. Crit camping buffs. Chest or crit buff. Game a lot easier. Sounds kind of meh. Yeah, I mean, I think it would make it a lot easier too. And like I said, some of it makes sense, right? But I think... I mean, obviously, it was a purposeful decision of Red Hook to limit it. Like, it's not a code-based decision for a lot of it. Um, so I think maintaining the inventory management is an important part of keeping the game difficult. Now, if you want to do it, by all means, you know? I'm very much like, play and let play. So if you want to play the game on Radiant with mods to make it easier or, you know, completely change the game or whatever, by all means... Prison Architect? I want to play that again. I'm going to put that on the poll, actually. Uh, I want to get in an extra stress heal. So I'm just going to not kill it. You can buy more things for every quest. Potions. Oh, yeah, yeah. I remember the potions and stuff in uh, Pitch Light Dungeon. Which is kind of interesting. You can even brew potions in Pitch Light Dungeon. Hey, Lieutenant. How's it going? Darkest Dungeon. Always. Well, I mean, most of the time. In the fevered pitch of battle. Speed of two. Can we squeeze in another stress heal? Probably. Perfect. So now it's going to bleed out and we can uh, get a stress heal in. Good, good stuff. A victory. Perhaps the turning point. So now we are here for loot. Like, when we were killing the Baron, we weren't. But now we want to replace our shovels, our food, and our bandages, and our antivitam. Before we leave, we would like to replace that with gold and stuff. Where are those jutes now? Give me those tapestries. Someone's going to come in and tell me I'm mispronouncing. Jute, you just watch, and it'll change my life. It's actually pronounced Hute. We don't have any herbs. 
So I'm not gonna risk it. What's 330? That's the latest we played Darkest Dungeon in a while. It's pronounced Hute. Alright, <laughs> I was gonna say you can give them blood for loot, which I was gonna do. Especially so every Discord. Oh, thank you, King Dan. Thank you for joining. Yeah, and if you ever find any like awesome mods, or if you make a mod, if any of you guys make mods, you can post it there. We have a lot of uh, people that are in the Discord, so might get some extra eyes on it. <laughs> you tay, you tay. This is a uh, really stressful fight. Good dodge. Go ahead and buff speed actually crit. We can't stall on any of these. Uh, let's go ahead and stun her if we can. Because we don't want her to buff everyone. Try that again. Good crit. Thank you, King Day. I'll check it out after the stream. Fluffkins is just like murdering this dungeon. Fluffkins is just putting everyone else on, on his on his back, on her back. <laughs> Eh, it helps having over 50 dodge, too. Buff again. Speed. Accuracy crit. Try to stun the mosquito. Not as deadly, but a lot of stress. And the lower stun or uh, stun resist, yeah. Most enemies have random buffs. Start with 40% damage, stun resist, speed, dodge. <laughs> that reminds me of... Uh, Pitch Black Dungeon. There, so I liked Pitch Black Dungeon where uh, the mobs spawned with random modifiers, semi-random. So, you know, like, for anyone that's wondering what that means, if you played an ARPG, so for instance, like um, Diablo 3, Path of Exile, a lot of times uh, enemies will spawn with, like, resistant to cold or something, you know, extra damage. And I like that in, uh, in Pitch Black Dungeon overhaul. The other thing, we wouldn't, I think the my favorite part of it was something so minor. And I don't know if there's a mod that does this by itself. But one of my favorite things that they added to Pitch Black Dungeon was that moves change as they level up. And so, for example, a move might get a completely additional function at level 3 and at level 5. Which I really liked. Dodge. How do you survive? Permit CCU enhanced effects, shorter phases. Can't die to thirst. Find a random hero. I like that one. So, an example, and it wasn't always for the better, right? So, for an example, Hound's Rush, once you get it to max the level in Pitch Black Dungeon, it pulls, and it pulls one position. So, that's not always what you want to do with Hound's Rush, right? You might have a grouper in position three that you absolutely do not want to pull, because if you pull him into position two, he's able to hit your front line so it adds like more utility to some moves really like that so we got that extra stress heal in can get one more look at that anytime you can get some free stress healing in you just do it A momentary just abatement. do it and then she stressed him so when you get a killing blow, you have a 50% chance of getting three stress heal. If you crit, it's more. So we're going to try to kill with her. She didn't get it. What? <laughs> we just got uh, Absinthe, which is a terrible trinket. Right? But it's gold. It's, actu it's actually one of the worst trinkets, I think. Like, it is honestly one of the worst trinkets in the game. Uh, there, are, there are common trinkets that I prefer to wear over this... But it sells for a lot. So we have her whole set. <laughs> Alright. Well. I'll take it. Gold in my pocket. I'm actually recovered too. Like, oh crap. I forgot there was a blockage right there. <laughs> I just threw down the shovels. Alright. GG. We did it. Baron is dead. Got three Chris Court trinkets. Shadow Blur Together achievement. Got a hero kill by a bloodlusted one. I don't think so. I don't know. I've never really looked through the the 
achievements, actually. I've never been, like, much to care about. I like challenges, but I don't really care about achievements, if that makes any sense. We did it. Resilient. 2% uh, stress healing received over Photomania. That's good, because Photomania only works in Radiant Light, and we're playing Torchless, so... Um, Photomania is useless for her, I mean, aside from Crimson Court. Wield Scrounger is okay. Ruins Tactician... It's okay. Worry sucks. There's additional stress. It's the journey that matters. Mankind hater over natural swing is fine too. Why absinthe when you can focus ring? Yeah, or why absinthe when you can literally anything else? All, pretty much. Have abated. The heirs of the estate Week 66, guys. Agreeable once again. Hey, it's an extra Dark Bracer. I don't know. There's been a couple of instances where I, I wanted a third Dark Bracer. Dark Bracer plus Moon Cloak is a good combo. We have four Moon Cloaks now. Mankind Hater. Absence makes the heart grow fonder. Not this one. <laughs> How you doing, Crit? Welcome in, Critical Path. Uh, <laughs> Messing with some settings? Are you dead yet? N no, we, di we're we didn't switch over tonight, North. Didn't switch over. Mustache cream. The curse is gone. I'm doing a joke. Didn't you see the Kappa three lines after my initial? <laughs> no worries, North. No worries, North. I got you. All right. Uh, luminous. Seeing through an ad. You shouldn't. Oh, never mind. Tosses pennies. Thanks, Narth. <laughs> Should it be easier with Crimson Court or without? I mean, the curse offers advantages. The thing is, Stygian might be... I don't know. I wouldn't mind doing Torchless Deathless Stygian. Or Stygian. <laughs> because, uh... You have a lot fewer weeks to do it in. But it's not that many fewer bosses. What would, what would be fewer? We wouldn't have to do Baron... Viscount, Countess, Fanatic, um, Garden Guardian, Thing from the Stars, Miller, First Court Quest, First Farm Quest, Sleeper. So, I mean, it, say you, you get rid of 10 weeks worth of bosses, but you also get rid of, like, how many weeks? Like 20 weeks or something? Still a good strategy. Yeah, it is. We're not going to do it, though. 